Tell me you can hear me. Tell me you can hear me, chat. Tell me. Tell me you can hear me right now. If there's going to be problems, chat. Tell me you can hear my voice. My little goo goo gagas. My little pog champs. <laughs> yeah, my man, there's nothing that can be done, my little pog champ. Yes, it's it's the effect. Oh, chat, chat. We had some uh, technical difficulties, but is there music playing now? Are we all good? Are we all good? Can we finally start? What is the most anticipated one v one tournament of all time? Uh, I need confirmation as I go to get my water. Holy chat! Holy. Oh my god, yo, chat, what are we thinking about the freaking graphics? Look at that, custom made. Oh my god, let me get my water real quick. I am so ready to see the best players in the world 1v1 right now, I did. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! First game. Holy. My little pog champs, though. Hoggy woggy, though.
Hello, chat? Can you hear me? Chat? Chat? My name told me there's no audio. I must have switched to setting. But basically what I was trying to say is, I've said this three times now as I freaking switch. It seems to be when I switch the screen, it changes. Hopefully it didn't change that time. But basically what I was trying to say is that every single person in this freaking game would absolutely annihilate me in sniping. Bro. We'll go from the top down. Apologies about that chat. It's because I was changing screen. I didn't have it set on all my screens, but now we should be good. Top down! We got Cisco versus Miney. Game one, round one. Borg versus Rush Senpai. Game two, round one. Dozzy and Doggo. Game three, round one. Kings play Space. Game four, round one. Oh, chat, don't do it. Don't do it to me, chat. <laughs> Balor and Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they could get away with it, chat. They thought they could have the beef on TikTok and I wouldn't make them play round one. <laughs> oh, chat. They thought, chat, they really thought they could get away with it. They did. Oh, chat. They couldn't. They quite simply couldn't get away with it, chat, all right? We had to put them in round one because they had to go against each other. Absolutely had to. <laughs> then we have Co-Script and Gantz. Oh, dude, it's, it's shaping up to be a saucy day on the main stage, ladies and gentlemen. A very saucy day on the main stage. After that, we've got one of the most respected pro snipers of all time. Whoopity, 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 do Versus Jesus can save you. And lastly, our last matchup for round one. Chat. Chat. It's not rivals round one for nothing. Veg versus a beast. Gah. Gah, chat. All I'm seeing is rivals, 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 rivals. That's all I'm seeing, chat. That's all I'm seeing. I can't, like, chat, wow, it must have randomly generated the, the, the people that are going against the other people. It must have randomly generated it. Who's ready for Cisco versus Miney? Who's ready? Hmm? Let's look at the prize pool before we get into match number one. First place, five thousand dollars. Five thousand. Second place, two thousand. Third place, one thousand five hundred. Fourth is one thousand, and fifth is five hundred. Oh my God, chat wants me to start so bad. Chat, moves. chat. I'll start if I, if you say please. <laughs> Actually, no. I'll start if you guys type in chat who you think's gonna win. Type in chat. Cisco's winning. Miney's winning. A beast. Oh, we got some Indians in the chat. Let's go. The beast is looking spicy now. Doggo, Borg, Zeke, Dozzy. Did I join Dozzy's stream yesterday, chat? And he was grinding. Big bro was on the main stage grinding. Going hard. I think his stream title was like, Practicing for Iferg $10,000 tournament. I was like, well, okay, bro. And then I, I woke up this morning. Bro was still live. I went to sleep. He was live. I woke up. He was live. He's been playing this entire time. The entire time. Mad Nine, can you send me a hashtag called Mobile Partner? Because my new PC doesn't have a hashtag. By the way, chat, I upgraded my PC. So now it's absolutely spicy. Whoa. Everyone's voting Zeke in the chat now. Where did that come from? 
Where did that come from, chat? Oh, a lot of ballers too. A lot of ballers too. That's... Mm, you know what that calls for? Starting up the TikTok stream. That's what that calls for, chat. <laughs> Borg, Borg, King plays. Bro, I thought did we did this wrong in ours, but apparently it's king's play it's king's play i thought it was king plays but apparently it's king's play is that am i correct in saying that i went on tiktok last night and he was complaining to me about it <laughs> bro and he was attacking the freaking huge work fan tiktok account bro outrageous outrageous thanks man man thank you my little scrum delicious Unbelievable chat. <laughs> Holy. They are cooking, Ferg. Let's go. All right, chat. You've waited long enough. Are we ready for round number one? Are you ready for round number one, chat? A lot of Rush Senpais now want him to win. All right. Okay, chat. Oh. Before we get into it, I just want to say this. The reason why the trophy looks like this. Wait, ready? See that? See that? The reason the trophy looks like that, chat. The reason it looks like this is because everyone in this tournament is cracked. Absolutely everyone in this tournament. Look at it. It's a cracked tournament. <laughs> There's levels to this! There's levels. Ah. Little voice echo? What about Nye? What about Nye, chat? Is there voice echo Nye? Little brisky? Mosquito. Ah, I echoed when I did the transition. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I got my drink. I'm ready for some entertainment. Oh, I'm ready for a good time, chat. Game number one, Mad Nine. When you're ready, I'm ready. Let's start it up. Let's start it up. Cisco versus Miney. Two Filipino goats. Cisco still lives there. Miney now lives in the UK. But I mean, bro, we got the battle of one of two of the best Filipino players when it comes to sniping of all time. Of all time. Oh my God. I can't believe it's starting. Bro, I've been waiting for this all week. <laughs> I've been waiting for this all week. Oh my, wait, they're spawning right beside each other off the bat? How does that even happen? I didn't even realize that was a possibility for Nook Town. Oh my god, straight off the bat, Mighty get a kill on to Cisco 100 MS. Of course, he's playing from the Philippines. Mighty sitting on top of the yellow high Cisco not able to land the shot. Tundra's coming out here. It looks like Tundra is going to be the main sniper of choice. We did ban snipers like the SVD just simply because that wouldn't be fun to watch. So keep that in mind. We're usually, well, all of the snipers are bolts. Every single sniper is a skillful sniper. Oh my God, Cisco versus Mighty. I can't believe it's finally here, bro. The last week, oh my God. Let's go, a little quick scope on to Mighty. 2-1 in favor of Cisco. Let me hop on board with Mighty right here. Oh, no lag in the switch between Spectator. We love to see that, Cod Mobile. You switching up the game right now. Mighty's got the spear as well. Oh, I know they're shaking, dude. You know, on the main stage, these guys are shaking in their boots. Shots come out from both. Both of them miss. Looks like Cisco's going to rotate up into the top of the yellow house. Going out the back. This is going to be a tough one for Mighty to spot. I think Cisco might have this in the bag. Never mind, he rotated. Mighty has no idea where he is. I think Cisco might have spotted him right there as he goes up top of yellow house, rotating around the back side on the alley. They're both scared for their lives. They know that if they lose this 1v1, they're going to be kicked out of the competition in the first round. And nobody wants to go out in the first round, chat. Absolutely nobody. 
Can he hit him across the map? No, he can't. Both of them are missing. Hit markers come out. Mine, he hits Cisco. There it is. Kill confirmed. 2-2 two, two on the board. Throws a nade outside of the map. All right, he must have did that because he didn't want to get any kills with lethals. Remember, lethals are banned, ladies and gentlemen. Lethals are banned. The only tactical that is allowed in any of these matches. Oh, hit marker again. No way, Mighty's getting hit markers like this 24-7, bro. The only tactical that's allowed in any of the maps or modes is hard point for the mode, and it is the smoke. Actually, sorry, it's S and D for the mode, and it is the smoke because we wanted people to be able to rotate around the map without getting sniped on the rotations in S and D rounds, like we did last year. I can't believe Mighty's been getting so many hit markers off the bat here. <gasps> This isn't looking good. I feel for Miney. Imagine going into a 1v1 $10,000 tournament and in the first three minutes, you've got two hit markers and you only have two kills. I'm, oh my God, Miney, there's no way. There's no way. It's 4-2 in favor of Cisco. Remember, every single 1v1 round is a best of three until the finals. The finals are gonna be best of five. The game modes we're playing are free for all to start it off. Then they go into hard point. If they each win one of those maps and modes, then we go into the best of three finalized game, which is search and destroy. Miney really needs to find Cisco right here. 4 2 in favor of him. He's going to camp at the back of the map, which is exactly how I would play this. Miney spotted him. There he goes. Kill down. Now only one kill in it. One minute, 37 left in the clock. Can Miney somehow tie this up? He doesn't see him. Now he finally sees him. No shots are landing, either of them. Oh my God, Cisco finally picks up the kill onto Miney. How is the echo back? We shouldn't have an echo chat. Shots go down. 5-3, still in favor of Cisco. Mining still land a shot here. It's not looking likely. He's going to go down, and it's going to be 6-3 in favor of Cisco. Mike sucks, chat. How did it change if I didn't even change anything on it? Weird. Oh, there's an echo on TikTok. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, it's only on TikTok. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, we'll fix it after this game then. We're all good. It looks like my... Wow, that was a really good shot there from Miney. Unfortunately, it looks like Miney only has 39 seconds left and he's going to lose this map number one, bringing us straight into hard point for map number two. Is he going to kick up the kill? He walked right past him. Oh, that's rough. That's rap, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be it for map and game number one. All she wrote. I'm going to see if I can fix this echo chat. We'll play some music in the background and we will test it out. I did just get a new PC, so there must be something weird about the PC when it comes to working with my microphone. But it looks like, yeah, Cisco is going to wrap that up and round game one is going to go in favor of him. Let's pull up the bracket. I'll play some music and we'll test out what's going on with my new PC. Brisket. Let's do it. Damn. Damn, chat. As you can see, we have... Uh, this might be it. Um, hold up. There we go. Muted on YouTube. See is grown. He's still young. Ah, yeah, I'm not sure what that is that's causing that when we go into the, uh, the main screen. Bro, you muted? Yes, sir. 
Second gear mode is hardpoint, chat. The second gear mode is hardpoint. What PC did you get? I got a pre-built. I'm not sure the name of it, but I made sure to juice it out. The specs are insane. Um, like 380, all that stuff. It's juicy. It's crazy juicy. <clears throat> Man, Dan, what is the hardpoint map of choice for this first hardpoint? Yeah, I can. I see you messaging me on Discord, Brisket. The problem is, Ken, that when I started, there was no game audio. And I had to, like, put my desktop audio on. Yeah, another source picking up my mic, yeah. Well, there is. I I'm looking at it right now. It's the desktop audio. But without the desktop audio, I can't have the game audio. Which is, like, screwed. And this new PC won't let me change the sound settings. Six to six. Oh, chat. I think we might be good here. Are we still... I'm going to check what Madnan says about this. It's firing range. All right. Yeah, chat, it's chalked. <gasps> Chalkarino, duh. Beep, 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 beep. All right, chat. This just got this. I could reset the stream and try it that way. They finally let me into my sound settings on my PC. Apparently, like Windows would just not let me in until I signed up to their thing. <laughs> but they finally let me in. All right. Let's, Let's go, go back, back into, into this stream and see what, what you guys are thinking, thinking about, about the audio before we continue. continue. Shipment. It's not shipment hardpoint first game. Shipment is in the map rotation chat. We've got. I'll tell you the maps real quick. We've got shipment, Nooktown. Nooktown Russia, Kill House, Raid, Crash, Standoff, Firing Range, Summit, Slums, Shoot House, Standoff, Firing Range. For free for all, it's Shipment, Nooktown Russia, um, and Kill House. SD, we've got Raid. Oh, bro, there's no way it's going to echo like this every time, bro. You got to be kidding me. I don't even know what's causing this. Broski, broski, broski. It doesn't make any sense, chat. What about now? What about, what about now, chat? Mm. I just go into this. Um, chat, this doesn't make any sense. Is it good? Is it good now? Hello? Chat? It's good now. Can you still hear the game audio though? You can't hear the game audio anymore though. You know what I mean? That's the problem. Is when I when I only have it as this, you can't hear the game audio. When I have it as this, it echoes. And then everyone's like, bro, it's echoing the freaking thing. <laughs> oh dear, dude. Uh problems of new PC. Yeah, am I right? Hold up. Chat? Here. Bim, 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 bim. Hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> I don't need a game audio. That is true. I mean, you won't really hear much game audio in this, but I would like to, it to be there anyway. Yeah, if I talk like this, there's no game audio, but there's also no, um, there's, a, there's a, what's it called? Oh my God, chat, I'm an idiot. Chat, chat, let there be light. Are we all ready? Are we all ready for this? Let there be light, chat. Ready? Did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> Did you just hear the game sound? <laughs> Bro. Uh, I don't want to talk about it, Saz. 
<laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Bad nine, you can start it up, bro. I don't want to talk. Chat, we're not talking about it. We're not talking about it. The audio is perfect now, chat. Oh, guys, I love you for being so nice to me. I, I'm sorry. I'm such a doofus. I just, listen, I got my new PC. Maybe I'll show you a photo of it. It's huge. And I didn't have it exactly set up perfectly the way I usually do. But now we have game audio. We're all good. Feel free. You know what, chat? Spam it with Ferg Stupid. You know, you can spam the chat with Ferg Stupid. All good. We got in-game audio. We're all good. Sorry about that, chat. I appreciate you guys being patient with me right there. But no! We can get back to it. Damn, Ferg! Damn! We can get back to it. Finally, we're playing Hardpoint on Firing Range. Miney versus Cisco. Apologies for the unprofessionalism right there, but we're back at it. Miney's getting the first few points on the board here. 5-0 in favor of him. Will he be able to locate Cisco and get the kill? Be straight off the bat, he is! He is able to absolutely fry him. Hopping on board with Cisco now, however. He is 20 points behind Miney. Shots go down, misses every single one, but hits the third. Now, finally getting points on the board. It's only up to 100 on hard point. Remember, there is a best of three situation on the cards here, ladies and gentlemen. First, starting off, we've got three for all. Then, secondly, we're popping on board with hard point. And if it goes to the full best of three, we're going into S and D. Miney needs to win this to take it to a best of three S and D matchup, however. And if Cisco wins this, Miney is out of the competition. And Cisco moves in to round two. Who? Well, we'll have to find out who he versus very soon. But thankfully, our audio is back. We are fixed. We are into the action, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like Maddie's going to rotate over from behind. Cisco camping. Get shot from basically around the trash can. Did Maddie just... Did Maddie... Did Maddie just wiggle something at Cisco? Was that some wiggling? I mean... Emoting's not banned. Executions are also not banned. The execution is the only way anyone... Why is Miney checking out Cisco like that? Yeah? Why is... Chat. What? Why is Miney doing that? He'd be a little bit sus, but the only way you are allowed to kill people in this tournament is through sniping and also executing. Damn, nice kill on the board there from Cisco. Can he make the comeback here, however? I'm not sure. He's just over double points behind Miney, as it looks like Miney is going to rotate over to the next hard point. Oh, he didn't. Miney didn't get him off the rotate. That means that Miney has to rotate in at the same time as Cisco, and overall just loses his advantage getting into the next hard point, but he goes up the window and snipes him through it. Well played right there from Miney. Love to see it. Oh, shot's coming out of the board. A little 360 comes in and he hits it on the second shot. It looks like this could be going to, go into a best of three, ladies and gentlemen. It definitely could. Invincible, thank you for becoming a member. Damn. I didn't expect Miney to be slightly toxic. He's not even emoting on Cisco's body. He's just looking at it. I think that's a level of disrespect that goes a little bit further than an emote where you decide, you know what? You're not even worth my time clicking that emote button. I'm just gonna stare at your dead body inside of the hard point, buddy. They're all missing shots right here. What is going on? Miley finding lands one. What the heck was that? Cisco, probably not gonna win this game as Miley, I think, will get easily up to close to 90 points here. If he lands this, it's over. Oh my God, he gets out of there. Can he hit him? Can he kill him? Can either of them land the shot here? Cisco versus Miney for the hard point game. Neither of them are landing the shot. What is going on? 86 on the board here for Miney. 51 from Cisco. Miney lands it. And then if Cisco goes across the map, he's going to be taken out of the entire game. He needs to land this thick shot. I don't think he's even going to make there in time. We're going to a best of three S and D. Never mind. Can he get in just in time? He does. Only two seconds left. If Cisco doesn't land the shot, it's over. Miney. Picks up the sniper. Whoa! Cisco no scopes him. Oh my god. Cisco clutching on for dear life right here. Can he even land this next shot on Miney? I don't think so. The shot goes down. He doesn't hit it. Can Miney hit him? No, he doesn't. Cisco lands another. There's absolutely no way that Cisco can make this comeback right now. Surely not. Surely Cisco cannot do this right here and now against Miney. On the main stage. Oh my god, he misses. Oh my god, they both missed. Oh! Miney! 
clutches! I actually thought Siska was about to do that right there and clutch up. Oh my god. That had me nervous, chat. I thought Miney was going to go home instantly out of this tournament, but luckily we get to see a map number three. We're going straight into SND, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, baby. I'm ready for that. I'm ready for that. Superb gameplay there from both Miney and Cisco. Both of these players are actually originally from the Philippines. Miney currently lives in the UK, somewhere close to where I live. But we're going we're gonna to be going into SND, and I'm ready for it, bro. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it, chat. Oh my god. What map is it? Man, man. What map do we have? Bless our ears. With the map. My little pog champs come to Liam. Just... All right, I changed the audio there for a second, but I changed it back. I was testing. <laughs> I have the chat as a test. That's sick. Don't worry, chat. We're back. Did a little test. Bad man, you're free to start it up. Whenever you want, Brisky. Whenever my little pog champ wants to start it, we're good to go. Banger. Love this song. Silence now. We hopped on board a lot there with Cisco last game, so I want to see what my actually nah. I th it was pretty even because we hopped on board with Cisco at the end, so we'll stick with Mighty first round and we'll change who we watch every single round so that you guys get the best experience of seeing the most. Of your favorite player because i know a lot of people love miney i know a lot of people love cisco so i want to watch them both equally it looks like cisco's going over to the bomb straight onto the a site miney has absolutely no idea that he's gone there this isn't good Cisco's gonna get this bomb down probably interesting bomb he's not gonna go for it he's gonna rotate the whole way around into miney's spawn and not go for the plant with only 23 seconds left in the clock I don't know if that's the play. Miney's rotating over to A, however. What way will he go? Oh, he's going up B. This is going to be close. Miney has no idea that Cisco's planting the bomb right now. He scopes in. He's trying to find him. Does he see him? He doesn't see him. He doesn't have the chance. But he gets the shot. And Cisco falls for round number one. Remember, it's only up to five. Whoa. What the frick? <clears throat> I put up my... Uh... Game audio to be a massive echo, so I'm good. <laughs> All right, round number two. Miney. Now on planting. I'm gonna go straight over to Bombay. Cisco planting, sorry. They both know that they're here. I think they heard the audio. They definitely heard the audio. Miney can hear Cisco right now running around the map. I don't know if Cisco knows that he's there, though. What did you just hear? <laughs> I don't think they know, chat. Oh! Cisco landed a snipe from his spawn. Applied to him. 1-1. One, one. Let's hop on board with Cisco this round. See what he has to offer us. Each player landing one shot, one kill with the snipes. If you just joined the stream, the only way that these players are allowed to kill each other are by their snipers and we're letting them execute each other just because seeing somebody execute somebody in a sniper 1v1 would be absolutely hilarious and i'm completely down for it what the heck is bro look at the way miney looked on cisco's pov when we get when we had the wall hacks to see him through the wall i look kind of sus Miney. not gonna lie cisco finally getting the bomb down you should have done that in the first round but I digress as Miney's going to go to the opposite side of the A-bomb site. Go in there with using the smoke onto S&D. That is allowed. That's the only time a tactical is allowed. Miney gets the hit marker again, but lands the shot. And it's going to be a 2-1 lead for Miney. Damn. We started this fight 
Cisco dominated. Then in game number two, Miney did great. Almost lost it at the end. And now, game three, Miney is pulling ahead. However, we go into the next round. Can Cisco make something happen here to take this round? Everyone better subscribe. You can if you want to. Hit that sub button. $10,000 on the line as Cisco's now holding his spawn point. We're going to hop on board with Miney this time to see what he has to do. See what plan he's going to offer us here when it comes to a 1v1 S&D sniper tournament matchup. The free-for-all and the hard point have already been played if you just joined. The modes are free-for-all, then hard point, and if they make it the far, that far, we go into S&D. So if a player wins two maps in a row, we get no S&D. If each player wins one map, we go in to search and destroy, which I think is the most tense 1v1 mode. Miney using the smoke disadvantage there to get the cross straight onto the bomb site. Cisco has decided to rotate around back laundry. He's not even watching where Miney is right now. I don't think he even understood where he was, but the shot goes down. Cisco misses. Can Miney hit it? No, he can't. Cisco and Miney both miss, but Miney lands the shot, and that now extends his lead to 3-1. Oh my god. Chat, we're not talking about stream sniping, all right? As far as I'm concerned, they can have the stream up. I do not care. They can use whatever advantage they want. It's $10,000. You're trying to tell me if you were in this $10,000 tournament that you wouldn't have a little stream up on the side to see what I'm looking at? You're trying to tell me you wouldn't do that? I know damn straight you would be doing that. I know for a fact. You would be doing it. And to be honest, I don't even think Cisco was stream sniping because he was looking the other way uh, pretty much the entire time. Either way, the bomb's gonna go down on Miney. Cisco now has to rotate across the entire map. Looks like he threw the smoke across it as well. Bomb has been planted. Cisco knows where it's at. Miney's gonna be setting up here to try and catch Cisco as he rotates onto the bomb site. Miney looking the wrong direction. He has absolutely no idea where Cisco is right now. Holding top, Cisco rotates in from bottom. Miney's going to the cutout. The sniper spot, as I used to call it back in 2019. He spots him. Miney has been spotted. Cisco doesn't land the shot. Can Miney land the rotational shot, though? No, he can't. He's going over the head glitch. He's not able to land that either. Both players missing an incredible amount of shots, but Cisco lands it. 3-2 on the board. Cisco able to retake the bomb site. And this is getting even closer than I could have ever imagined. Game three of the first matchup in the entire tournament. And it's 3-2 in round count. Oh my god. Both of these snipers, two of the best in the world, coming together to burst off against each other in this rivalry round one matchup. Mighty moving into mid-stairs. Woo! -hoo! I don't think... Cisco had to see him. He had to have seen him, but did Miney see Cisco? I'm not sure. Miney threw the smoke right there. He's going to use it to plant onto the A site. I don't think Cisco heard the smoke go down. The bomb's going to be planted. Cisco needs to rotate onto that A bomb site. He's going to throw the smoke over and across onto pool side as Miney rotates up the stairs. That movement from Cisco might have been heard from Miney. No, it wasn't. He might get a free shot on him. No, he doesn't. Oh my God, the card timing in this matchup today has been insane. This is only matchup number one and the card timing we are seeing. What? Damn, there's not much to say to that other than that Miney rotated in from behind. 4-2 in favor of him. Is Cisco going home? This is match point for Miney. He could go straight into round number two if he's able to kill Cisco right here. Both players looking to go over to the pull side and middle. Yep, Miney rotates over to the pull stairs as Cisco Ops to take, bank the smoke, goes in. Can Cisco shoot him through the smoke? No, he can't. Shots don't land. Cisco, please don't die right here. The Filipinos are counting on you. Saying that, Miney is also Filipino, so... There will still be a Tagalog speaker in round number two, no matter what, in this tournament. But this round could settle the beef of Miney versus Cisco, which did start in the last Ferg $10,000 1v1 tournament. Bombs getting planted here by Miney. Cisco has absolutely no idea as the smoke goes over onto the A bomb site. Little does he know, it's not there. 
Mighty bomb down, rotating around the ring side. He's going to go into art, it seems, into red. Top sniper spot position. Top red. Looking at the doorway. I think Cisco might die here. Yes, he does. And that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Cisco gets eliminated from the tournament in matchup number one, round one, game three. Can we get W Miney in the chat? An F for Cisco. Even though he's going home in the first matchup. I mean, come on. It was against Miney. How many of us could have beat Miney in that match? I don't think there's many people in chat that could have taken home that W right there. So congratulations to Miney for making it into round number two. And salute to Cisco for even coming in to this $10,000 1v1 tournament in its entirety. He's one of the best players in the entire world. He streams on a regular basis. You should definitely check him out. However, for now, we're going to pull up the bracket. As you can see there, chat, showed you the bracket on the board. We have Rush Senpai versus Borg for the next matchup. I'm incredibly excited to see what Borg has to offer us in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. We're back, Burskis. Showing you the bracket. Let's go, Borg, chat! Who do you guys think is going to win, Borg or Rush Senpai? Oh, dude, I want to say... They're both really evenly matched. Borg definitely has the cult-like following on TikTok, though. Borg definitely has the TikTok cult following. Whereas Rush Senpai, I feel like, has more of you guys on YouTube as opposed to TikTok. Saying that, there's a lot of... There is a lot of you guys saying Borg. Damn, there's 5,000 people in TikTok as well. What the frick? That's the most I've ever had on TikTok. Hey, TikTok, I didn't realize you guys were here, but I'm... Uh, hi! Yes, it is a real $10,000 1v1 tournament. We did three of these last year. We're doing another one to rally it all off. And we invited the best snipers in the entire world to join it. I know, it's insane. Well, a lot of people are saying rush now. A lot of people saying rush. Chat. I'm 50-50. I'm going to need to vote somebody to win this. All right. My vote for this. I'm going to go with Borg. I'm going to go with Borg, chat. I'm going to go with Borg. Simply because I actually, I watch him on TikTok. <laughs> Bro, he makes good TikToks. What can I say? What can I say? I watch him. I watch Borg, chat. I gotta go with him, man. I, I love Rush Senpai, too. Like, I love you, Rush. When you see this clip and you, like, say that you hate me because I didn't vote for it, bro, like, listen, dude. If you do win, then you can take the clip of me saying that Borg was gonna win, throw it in an edit. Hundreds of thousands of views. You can start it off like this. Hold up, hold up. You get This is how you can do it. I got you, I got you. <clears throat> Got you, bro. They doubted me. They thought I couldn't compete against Borg. Even Ferg said this. Oh my god! Oh my god, chat. You can't tell me that I wouldn't go hard in an edit, chat. Come on, you cannot tell me that I wouldn't go hard in an edit. So regardless, whoever wins this is a W. Whoever wins... W. We're just waiting for one of them to join. And then we're straight into it, chat. We're straight into it. Honestly, when I came into this, I really didn't have an expectation of who I thought is going to win. And I still don't. Yeah, I really have no idea. Usually in these, I pick a player who I think is going to win. But because all of these guys are so equal in skill, 
I don't even have like a professional answer for you guys. I really don't. I, I have no idea. I have no idea who's going to win this. Absolutely no clue. No idea. Aim over movement. Oh my god. Are we going to have this debate, debate live on the stream chat? Chat. Aim or movement. Aim or movement. Aim or movement. Permission to spam chat. Aim. Movement. Aim. Movement. Chat, you already know how I feel about this, bro. Oh my god. Who would have thought, dude? Everyone on TikTok. We wait, 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 I'm taking that, chat. Chat's... <laughs> I didn't expect that whatsoever. I didn't expect it. <clears throat> Batman, if Rush is not answering, we can... Oh, never mind. He's here. <laughs> Rush wasn't answering Batman, chat. But he's here, though. Oh, he joined. Batman, which one is Rush? And which one is Borg? This has got to be. This has got to be Borg. He's got a shotgun named Bogo. Oh no, never mind. I see him. Ado Borg. <laughs> what does Ado Borg mean, chat? Hold on. Does Borg have a girl's name as the name for one of his guns? Borg. Borg. I'm keeping an eye on you. I know you're new into the scene. Oh my god, there's no way we got shipment. Chat, the random generator of maps, give us shipment. Oh my god. Morgenstein! Ado Borg! Ado Borg! Versus Santi. Santi is Rush. So if anyone's wondering, Rush is San. Oh my god, Borg hit him straight off the map. Shipment! Free for all to start off this 1v1, ladies and gentlemen. A shipment free for all. Turn off the music. We need to be locked in. Lock it in, chat. Shots go down from Adaborg. He misses, unfortunately. Rush looking around for a second shot. See if he can pick him off. Not going to happen, however, as both of them miss the next shot. Oh, Rush and Pi goes on top. I've never seen somebody do this in a shipment 1v1. I'm not going to lie. I never see this in a professional main stage on any of the shipment. What the hell? 1v1 tournaments. Usually people stay on the grind, but that was a great play right there from Rush. Superb. Can he land this, though? He went up top again. Okay, these guys are really tryharding. Like, Rush is going for the high grind. Usually when I see shipment 1v1s, they're just chilling on the bottom, but there is no rule. They're allowed to go up top, take the high grind like that. It definitely plays to the advantage of the person on the high grind because they can use a head glitch, use a heady, and basically become a very small target for the person below them. So I'm interested to see if they will do that more often. It looks like Rush is opting to go into a camper strat here as he's already got the lead. Rush already has the lead versus Borg. Come on, Borg. TikTok is rooting for you right now. Rush Senpai has YouTube right behind him. Oh my god, no! He got the hit marker! Let's hop on board with him because Borg is getting smoked on the main stage. Rush 4-1 up in this free-for-all shipment. No shot. Borg gets annihilated in free-for-all. No shot. Oh my god. Oh my god, chat. I might need to take back my words of thinking the Borg is going to win. Rush Senpai took this personally. He thinks he's Michael Jordan. He thinks he's him. Shots go down again. Each player both missing. Rush looking behind him. Borg's going to rotate right into him as soon as Rush moves away his reticle. Bad timing there for both players. Rush deciding to jump on. Can he get the kill? No. Borg says absolutely not. Looks at him. P 
People aren't even emoting anymore. Forget emoting. The new most disrespectful way to do things after you get a kill on your enemy is to just look at them. You don't emote, chat. You just look at them. They're not worth your time. Do you emotes anymore? It's 2024. All right? We're just going to look at them now. We're just going to stare them out. Rotating around the side. Rush definitely playing this like he, there's $10,000 in the line. He does not want to take any 50-50 fights. He want to have the advantage on every single fight that he takes a part in. Which, to be honest, it kind of reminds me when I'm going on nuke streaks. I don't want to take any 50-50 fights. I only want to take fights that I know I can win. And if I don't win them, then I just play trash. That's exactly the way that Rush Senpai is playing. And Borg, I mean, the movement. Key. Key right there. Ladies and gentlemen, he's just... Are you being serious? There's no way this is becoming a thing on the $10,000 1v1 tournament. Where people, instead of emoting, you're just looking at them. I've never seen this before, ever. Every oh my god, he's seen him. He's seen his gun. <gasps> no shot. No, you shouldn't have pushed that. Why would you push that? You shouldn't have pushed that, Borg. Rush Senpai. 7-3 up in a free-for-all against Borg. Is this the end of Borg's reign? Oh my god, that was such a good blank scope. What the heck? Really well played by Borg right there. Now 7-4. There's only 1 minute 13 seconds left on the clock. He needs to do something a little bit more than this. He needs to go full rush mode and land pretty much every single one of his shots. He doesn't know that rush is there. He lands the shot. This is starting to get close right now, ladies and gentlemen. There's only 1 minute left on the clock. It's 7-5. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's looking one way so he spawns in a different side of the map. That's why they're doing it, chat. It's not as a disrespectful thing. Oh my god! They're looking one way so that he knows where he's going to spawn. Oh my god, the plays. Chat, I did not realize that's what they were doing. I thought they were disrespecting each other, but it turns out they're just doing it to find spawns on shipment right now. Borg knows what he's doing. Oh no, he didn't see him. Rush Senpai playing that camp stat to the next level. No! No, Borg predicted, but he missed the shot. And I think that's going to be all she wrote for this round. This map is lost. Borg has taken the L. As Rush Senpai goes for the ultimate strat of camping up top of the high ground. Meaning that Borg cannot hit him whatsoever. 10 seconds left in the clock. There's nothing that Borg can do right here. It's GG's for this map and this mode. FFA goes in the way of Rush Senpai. Well played. Well played. As weird as that was to watch, chat, I gotta give it to Rush Senpai. He played that like there was $10,000 in the line. And you can't say otherwise. He was making sure that every fight that he went into, he had an angle, he was positioned correctly, he had an advantage. There was only really times where he didn't play like that, and every time he didn't, he died. The only time I can think of when it really stung him was when he was holding the angle in one of the boxes and Borg literally slid under his crosshair and killed him. Other than that, Senpai played that almost perfectly. That was really well played by him. Good job. Bro is scared. Absolutely. Chat, I'm not afraid to say it. Rush Senpai was playing, he was playing scared. But, bro. Let me, you know what, chat? Let me look up what first place prize is in Filipino pesos. For, because, you know. Because that's where these guys, you know. That's where Borg's from. Let's look it up. So if you're from the Philippines and you win this event, you win 281,073 Filipino pesos. 281,000 Filipino pesos. You know what? I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up how much it is in Indian rupees. Just out of curiosity. If you win this and you're from India, you will win 414,440 Indian rupees. You know what? Let me look up. Let me look it up in Nigerian Nira. Oh my god! Whoever wins this, if you're from Nigeria, you're a millionaire. Eight million. It's eight million Nira. You have got to be kidding me. That is outrageous. Oh my gosh. I did not realize that's how much it was. Damn.
All right. Ready for map number two, chat. Hardpoint Shithouse. We haven't had this map before yet in this 1v1 tournament. This is a first Borg versus Rush Senpai. If you're wondering who San TT is, it's Rush Senpai. You may know him from TikTok. You may know him from YouTube. If you're wondering who Ado Borg is, that, ladies and gentlemen, is Borg. Hashtag Borg versus question mark. Borg versus Rush Senpai. <clears throat> Oh my god. Hard point. We all know where the hard point goes in this map because it's in ranked rotation. If you don't know all the hard points for shit house, I'm sorry, but you may be considered a noob by everyone in chat. As everyone who is watching this tournament right now is probably highly competitive. First kill goes in the way of Rush Senpai. Shot goes down. No shot lands. However, second shot goes down. Neither of them land. And hit marker comes out for Rush and Adaborg. boy gets the kill let's hop on board with him as he is able to secure more points onto the hard point we want to see borg win this map i want to see this go to an s and d i need to see more borg versus rush oh off the heady well played to rush senpai right there as borg is going down the middle i think he's seen his oh, did he see his gun oh my god he missed no way borg missed he's gonna get world starred oh no borg not on the mean stage you gotta make a comeback right here bro this is not looking good for you brother you missed and flunked straight on to Rush, Senpai. He also flunked last map too. If you lose this map, you're out of the competition. Borg is gone. We want to see more of you. So you make sure to win this map so we can take it to your best of three. Rush, Senpai. Over to the left of him. Borg has no idea where he is. He's going to take that scope out. Yes, he is. What's he going to do? Using the movement to his advantage. Oh, God. There we go. That is what happens when you combine aim with movement. We can talk about aim versus movement all day, but every single one of us knows in chat that it's aim combined with movement, which creates the best players in the entire planet. Not that movement isn't needed and not that aim isn't needed. They're both needed. I just think it's 60-40 aim over movement. But when you combine them both, that is when you see the best players in the planet. Let's take that off the screen. I'm going to hop on board with Rush Senpai. I've been watching Borg for a little bit. Oh my god, Borg's pushing in. Can Rush Senpai defend the hard point? No, he can't. He gets a hit marker right there. Borg, you need to land your shot right here. He hit markers. You know shots landed from Borg. That was just unfortunately awkward. <laughs> on the side of Borg. As he's rotating into Rush Senpai right here. Rush Senpai landing another shot onto Borg, and now gets free easy pickings on the next hard point rotation. Borg moving into it. Can he land a shot right here? It looks like he will be able to, as Rush Senpai got hit with the COD timing, looking over at the wrong area of the map. Thought the Borg would rotate a little bit later than what he did. Six kills on the board for Senpai, four on the board for Borg, but Borg has a chance to pick up the lead right here. On hard point. Oh my god. Please, Borg. What are you doing? What are you doing? You gotta line your shots, Borg. There we go. Both of these players are deciding they want to use the Locust over the Tundra, which is surprising. This is the first time we've seen it in the matchup so far. Everyone thus far has been using the Tundra as Borg able to pick him off once again. Now in the lead, 75 to 60. Oh, 74 to 60 in favor of Borg. He finally gets in the hard point again. He missed out a couple of seconds right there. I don't know if that was a play. He probably should have just stayed in it the whole time. Shots go down from each of them. Hit marker comes down in the face of Borg and he drops. Senpai now able to get off a couple of seconds of scrap time. Borg rotated into the next hard point. It looks like Senpai is going to rotate right in after him. Can he land a shot? Neither of them landing it. Both missing their first shot. Can they land the second, however? Shots go down. Both of them missing that one again. Movement coming out. It doesn't look like either of them are going to land this shot right here. Borg finally picking it up onto Senpai. 85. This is going to be the last push that Senpai is able to make here. If he doesn't land this shot, Borg is going to win this map and take us to a map number three. Hit marker goes down. Shot goes down again. Two for two on the side of Senpai. Can he make this comeback? However, there's still 39 seconds left in the hard point. Borg is spawning in the complete opposite side of the map to where Senpai is looking. Borg's going to land this shot from behind. Never mind, he misses. He turns on him. Oh my god. Borg, don't tell me you're going to choke in the main stage in the final hurdle. Not right here, Borg. You can't be doing it right here. You need to land this shot as you turn around that corner. Right now, the shot goes down. Borg misses once more. Borg might be kicked out of the competition here, ladies and gentlemen. Shots go down from each opposing player. Can he land the shot? It doesn't look likely. Hit Borger so down and it's... Ah! Borg hits it! 91. 94. Can Senpai even get there fast enough? Oh my god, there's not enough time. 
There's not enough time. 99! Oh my god, he got it! Oh my god, I didn't think there was enough time. Chat Borg secures map number two, and we're going to game three. Ladies and gentlemen, I need a deep breath after that one. Hold on a second. I need a deep breath after that one. I'm feeling dizzy. <gasps> oh my god. I did not expect that to happen. What? I did at the end, bro. I swear it said three seconds left in the hard point and Borg got five seconds of tail time. It said three seconds. Borg got five seconds. Rush Senpai was thinking the same way I was. There's no way Borg can secure this map count with that old hard point. And for some reason, he did. And that takes us into a map number three. Borg versus Senpai. Oh my god. I was not expecting that chat. I was not expecting that, bro. I'm so happy it went to a freaking game three, dude. I did not want to see any of these guys get kicked out there so soon. Search and destroy on crash. Now, this is where smokes come into play. Everything is banned other than snipers and executions other than in the game mode search and destroy. The reason we're allowing smokes in search and destroy is because it's so easy to hold lines of sight in certain maps. The one question I have, however, is will anyone try and go for the wall bang? Will we get crashed multiple times? It'll be interesting to see as we go into map number three. Rush Senpai versus your boy, Borgarini. Let's go. Round one. Oh, exactly as I said, it looks like he's going for the snipes across the map. I don't think Borg is going to challenge this as he's decided to stay up and spawn. He doesn't want to go through that. Nobody going to hit the wall buying this time. I think we may see that a couple more times in this matchup. DLQ33 coming out on the side of Rush. Borg opting to use the Tundra Knight instead of the Locust. He did flick between them both previously. Senpai camping at the back of the map. Borg is on the attacking side. Oh my god. No, Borg's going to die here. He's going to get shot from behind. Did he see him? He didn't see him. Rush Senpai sees him. He's going to shoot him underneath the freaking truck. Oh my god, he doesn't know where he is. Borg didn't even see him. Rush Senpai able to land a hit marker there. He's going to throw the smoke. He is. Smoke comes down. Borg gets cut off. Shot is going to go down right here. Damn! Senpai hits the shot onto Borg. Well played for round number one, ladies and gentlemen. As we go into round two, Senpai now up. 1-0. One zero chat. This is incredible. The best snipers in the entire planet playing in this tournament. I feel like this needs to become a yearly thing where we host this tournament now. Too many people are invested in this, myself included, as I want to see who is the best sniper in the entire world. Voted for by you guys on TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter. We hand selected these. Oh, oh my god! God, Senpai able to pick up that round, but what was that out of Borg? Bro went for the trick shot. I've never seen that before in my entire life. I've never seen that before ever. Oh my God. Well played Borg. Well played Senpai for winning that last round. Now using the strat of camping at the back of the map. We've seen this before from him in the same spot. He likes to go behind the car. It seems to be a common trait of Senpai, where he plays very passive. Borg definitely has been the most aggressive sniper that we've seen thus far. Rush Senpai not able to see the plant of the bomb here behind him. He's going to turn around, not see it, however, because he plants on the opposite side. I think Borg kind of realized that that's the best way to plant this bomb, because last time he planted it from in front... No way. No way. Oh, I thought he was going for the ninja. No way. Oh! <gasps> He's not going to go. He should have did it. Borg. No. He's doing it right now, Borg. It's wrapped. Borg's not... Borg hasn't got the read. Rush Senpai gets 
the ninja defuse after waiting for 15 seconds to do it. He still got it. 3-1 up in favor of Rush Senpai right now in the final map of this 1v1. I will say, even if Borg loses this, my God, what a shot. What an exceptional play. Rush Senpai just is the better passive sniper. I got to give it to him. He has been ultimately great at playing passive, holding angles, understanding how to use a sniper to the best of his abilities. Remember, it's not all just about movement and running around and playing aggressive. There is ways to do sniping in COD. Whoa! Without being that aggressor. And obviously, Rush Senpai is showing that right here. <laughs> chat. Chat is so mean. Oh my god, I'm happy I'm not playing in this. I would get absolutely toasted. I would get absolutely toasted, ladies and gentlemen. 4-1 in favor of Senpai. If he lands the next shot, it's all over. But Borg able to finally make something happen. Able to finally make something happen. Oh my god. Borg, we were voting for you. I thought you were going to win this. Rush Senpai might be our dark horse. He might be the person that we didn't think was going to win this. And he could just win it all. Both of these players from the Philippines. Both representing their flag. Speaking... The language of Tagalog. And unfortunately, for my Borg lovers out there, he's gone. That is Borg out of the competition entirely. Congratulations to Rush Senpai. Make that edit, bro. You'll get a sick, you'll get a sick edit from it. That's all I'm going to say. I thought Borg was going to win. Rush Senpai, you proved me wrong. Congratulations on beating Borg and making it into round number two. That no scope was absolutely incredible, Borg. Well played to you as well. But unfortunately, this time, you are falling to Rush Senpai. Next up on the board, I'm going to take a little quick voice break. And you're going to see the bracket. For anyone who just joined the stream, this is a $10,000 1v1 sniper tournament. You're only allowed to get kills with two things. A sniper and executions. We are yet to see anyone execute anyone else in this tournament. However, for now, Luce is going to give 50 gifted in the chat and I'm going to pull up the bracket for a brief moment so that you can check it out and see who's playing. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen. Dossie versus Doggo. I'm going to say it again. I've said it once. The tournament trophy looks like that because everyone in the tournament is cracked dozzy versus doggo this is a huge rival match when i first seen both of these guys i'm not afraid to say it i thought they were the same person doggy and doggy young doggy dog young doggy mr dogmeister and dozzy i thought they were the same person and then as I went further and further into the TikTok caught M sphere, I realized they're completely different. And not only are they completely different people, they also have an insane rivalry, which gets hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views on a regular basis every time they verse each other in ranked. So this rivalry runs deep. Both of them really want to win this matchup. And if they don't, I know they're going to feel embarrassed. Well played once again to Borg, but unfortunately he's eliminated alongside Cisco in round number one, which means Miney and Rush Senpai will be playing together in round number two. What's up, Rabala? Vague about to get toasted. $50 from Rabalo chat. Vague saying nothing to counter Rabalo's statement. Big about to get tossed around by a bees. Also, W Dozy, Doozy Dozy Doozy, he about to cook Doggo. Chat, who's winning this? Doggo or Dozy? Write your answer in the chat right now. Both of these guys are really known in TikTok. If you're only watching on YouTube, there's a completely different scene on TikTok, and both of these guys are some of the best ranked players in the world. Chat, remind me. 
Remind me right now. Who was in the trio that got number one at the start of the season? Which one of them was it? Let me see if you're fans of Dozzy or Doggo. I want to see. Who got in the number one trio at the start of the season? I'm ready. I'm, re I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see if you guys actually love these dudes or not. I'm waiting to see. I'm waiting to see. Killer Kitten in the game right now is, of course, Dozzy. And then Eat Doggo is Doggerino. They are the same for me? Oh, 50-50 split, chat. A lot of people voting for Dozzy. King plays in the chat. He's not playing yet, Solomon, but he will be here. He will be here for sure. He is playing today. It started up. Free for all on Kill House. This is our first Kill House matchup of the entire tournament. Our first Kill House matchup of the entire tournament, chat. <clears throat> Madman, I just clicked stream vertical. Can you go on to the live channel and check if I just actually went live vertically on YouTube? Just out of curiosity. And if it is live, then... Oh! Set it up for me. Do me a favor. Add the thumbnail. Add the hashtags. Do all the good stuff. We'll see if we can stream on all platforms here. Vertical and horizontal. As Doggo's able to pick up the first kill onto Dozzy. Oh my god. Shot from behind. No! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh my god! Not like that! You can't tell me that Doggo just world star Dozzy on the main stage to go 2-0 up in Kill House! Shots go down, both of them are missing aim and movement coming into play right here. Can they land a shot this time? Doggo going 3-0 up in the first matchup for this round one. Doggo versus Dozzy. Competition. No way. 4-0? 4-0. Straight off the bat. FFA on Kill House. Doggo trying to shoot him to the ball, not landing a shot. Dozzy doesn't land a shot either, however. Both of them shooting multiple shots in a row. Tundra coming down here for Dozzy. Oh my god, we're hopping on board with Doggo. This is absolutely ridiculous. I've never seen something like this in my entire life. A rivalry going down like this. 5-0. Oh, oh, I wish I'd seen that POV, to be honest, because he slid off shot in mid-air. That was unbelievable. Unbelievable. You don't see the vertical man now? Thank you for the update on that. Check like private streams and stuff. See if it's over there, whatever. Check all the channels as well. See if it went to a different channel. Just out of curiosity. <clears throat> it switched the main to short? Damn, what? Damn, okay. It switched the main live stream to a short stream? That's insane. Hopefully it switches back. What the heck? Hopefully it switches back. I stopped it now. Thanks, man, for the update right there. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, I stopped it, chat. Hopefully it will refresh. Just refresh your stream if there is a weird glitch where it turned to a short. Sorry about that. But just switch to your... Switch, uh, uh, refresh your stream. It should switch back automatically, but just in case it doesn't. We we're just testing short stream out right there. Oh my god. Doggo's decided that he wants to camp for the rest of this round. And honestly, I'm here for it, chat. I'm here for it. 6-2 up. 6-2 up. Killer Kitten, aka Dozzy, needs to push. You need to be the aggressor right here. You need to become a player like Borg and go for those no-scopes across the map. Doggo's not landing a shot. Doesn't land two in a row. Can he land a third? No, he can't. Three shots missed in a row. He lands the fourth. Doggo, 7-2 up in this matchup. I have never seen an annihilation like this in a 1v1 tournament before in my entire life when it comes to snipers. Especially with $10,000 on the line. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, Doggo, 7-3 up, not gonna push. I don't know what Dozzy's doing here. You need to push this. You're four kills behind. The longer you leave this, the less likely you have a chance to win entirely as Doggo lands another shot. I did not expect this whatsoever. When I watch these guys' TikToks, they are so similarly skilled, it's unbelievable. And now they're bursting off in a 1v1. Doggo is coming out on top massively. Double the kills from Doggo. Let's hop on board with Dozzy again as he needs to make some sort of a comeback. When your back's against the wall, you need to put everything into your gameplay. And I'm telling you right now, Dozzy's back is definitely against the wall. Chat, if you have a vertical stream, just refresh the stream. Refresh the stream. If it's still vertical, just refresh your stream, you'll be back. You'll be all good. Oh my god, shots coming down over there by Killer Kit and AK Dozzy not landing any of them. He's trying to snipe him across the map. It looks like Dog is just playing with his food right now. 
He doesn't even care anymore. He's just holding like the spear for dear life. He doesn't even need to land a shot anymore. There's absolutely no way that Dawson can make this comeback, and it's going to go in the way of Doggo. 9-4. Yeah, just refresh the stream, chat. It'll be all good. Refresh the stream. I'll tell you what I will do, actually. Oh my gosh, shell's coming down. Neither of them are able to land anything right there. Doggo's going for a trick shot. There's no way Doggo's trying to embarrass Dozzy right now. I'm going on with him. I need to see this. There's no way, Doggo, you go for a trick shot right here, right? He's doing it again. Nope. Oh my gosh. Hold up. A little bit of an audio function there. I'll take that off. Why is it there? All right, GG's. That was insane. Doggo absolutely crushed it. We can't say anything other than it. Well played. Yeah, chat, just refresh your screen. Refresh your screen. You'll be all good. We'll not do vertical streaming on YouTube. We'll just do it horizontal. The next map is going to be standoff. Hard point. Yeah, don't worry, chat. The echo's gone. Don't worry about it. For nigh. For nigh, my little scrumptious. Let me test this. Hmm. Damn, we just got a Liam the Lion on TikTok. Thank you very much, Lost. I appreciate it, bro. That's 5,000 coins. Much love, bro. All right, we got standoff hardpoint up next. Boom. Do this. I can hear an audio bug here. All right, we're not going to stream vertically because it's just causing too many bugs. Hmm. All right. Hard point on standoff. If Doggo wins this, he goes straight into the next round. If Dawsey wins it, where's my mic? There we are. We're good. Is he emoting? All right, let's turn off the music. Let's focus up, chat. Let's focus up. If Doggo wins this, he's straight in. If Dozzy wins it, he has to go to a best of three and it needs to go to S and D. I really don't know what's going to happen here. Again, Doggo is absolutely cooking Dozzy. This, oh my God, bro. I feel bad for Dozzy because this is going to throw credibility down the sinkhole for him. Especially when it comes to the Doggo versus Doggy to be of who's the better D. I didn't say that. You can't rewind the stream. Who gives the better D? I mean... We'll find it out here, Doggo or Dozzy. 55 on the board already off the first hard point. This is probably the biggest upset I've ever seen in a rivalry matchup of all time in a 1v1. Absolutely ridiculous. If Doggo lands this shot... Chat, this is outrageous. There is a chance that this turns to a 100 to 0. There's actually a chance for that. 100 to 0 right here. Oh my god, never mind. I was really hoping for that at the end. I was thinking, no way. 100 for 0 would go for a crazy edit on Doggo's side of things. But well played. The Dossie finally getting a kill. He's not going to be able to kill this one, is he? No chance, right? No shot. Doggo's going to let him have it. No way. Nope, not going to happen. Doggo gets another kill on the Dossie. And it, honestly, chat, this looks like it's over already. Doggo wins this. I There's not a world where I see Dossie coming back from this. No shot. Yep, he tries to land a no-scope. He's not Borg, unfortunately. Next one. Nope, still not going to land it. Ooh, gets the no-scope that time. Going to rotate into the next hard point as Doggo spawns across the map. Sad moment. It's a sad moment for Dozzy right here. I, I love you, Dozzy. I appreciate you. I was in your stream yesterday. You're a great guy. Oh, okay. All right. It's, I mean, I don't think... 
think he's going to win, but that was a sick shot. Like, there's no shot he wins this game, right, chat? There's no shot he wins this game. Oh, dog was in it. They both know where each other are. The question is, who's going to push? I don't think either of them want to push this. Every time the Dozzy pops off that hard point, he's put in a position where he's given Doggo time. And that's really bad. I think Doggo might try and go for an execution here. I think he might... Look, he's got, he's got a spear out. He's going to go for the execution. He's just standing there. What the heck? He doesn't even care, chat. He's too far in the lead to care. I really thought he was going to go for the execution, but unfortunately he did not. Come on. Oh, he is. Is he? No, he's not. He's not going for the execution. Oh my god! Doggo almost just trick at him. But he unfortunately got the hit marker as he jumped off the map. Shots go down. He's going to hit the no scope. He's not going to hit it. Bang! Dozzy gets the kill onto Doggo. I really feel like Doggo's only playing with him right now. I feel like he's toying with him. He knows he's got it in the bag, so he wants to get a clip. Oh. Yeah, he's emoting. That is so disrespectful. Is he going to hit any kind of trick shot? I feel... Oh my god, he's going for the execution! He's going for the execution! Oh my god, don't do it to him! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> they both go for an execution! Oh no! Oh my god, neither of them can get it! Oh my god! I don't know who's gonna get it, bro. But they're both going for it. I, I think that Dozzy knows that he's gonna lose no matter what. Bro, neither of them are landed the execution, bro. Bro, you gotta hit it! How hard is it to execute somebody? He gave up. <laughs> he gave up, chat. Congratulations to Doggo for beating Dossie in that rivalry matchup. Doggo, you make it into round number two. Congratulations. Fantastic effort from you there, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, great performance. I really didn't expect a rivalry matchup such like that to go so heavily favored in one direction. But there we are. Well played to him. Outstanding. Outstanding gameplay. I'm going to pull up the bracket. I won't be talking. You'll just be able to see the bracket so that everyone can understand who's playing in the tournament, who has played. It's going from top to bottom. You just seen Doggy and... Doggy. <laughs> Doggo and Dozzy play. As you can see from that bracket, ladies and gentlemen, next up, we got a, a juicy one say the least it's king plays versus space yeah i know i know he knifed him mad man it's all good dozzy's already eliminated it's already eliminated so he, he was gonna lose anyway i think he just knifed him because he gave up chat. obviously he wasn't gonna win and obviously chat knifing people uh if you don't know you're not allowed to knife the only way you can get kills is sniping using bolt snipers and also executing if you knife that map is gonna go to your opposing player it's gonna go to the person you're against this time we have spius who was actually the sniper for tribe gaming in the last championship against the nigerian's very own the person that nigeria wanted to play the most you guys know we don't discriminate against any country or region we wanted african participants in this tournament they get left out sometimes so we were like we need to see who the best african is who the player that people want to see from africa play the most and the majority of you said King plays from Nigeria. So we picked them up. Take it back. Doggy just cooked. <laughs> Bro, doggy. On young doggy dog. Little doggy doggy. Doggy did cook, chat. He really did. Young doggy doggo. Mm-hmm. Waiting for King plays to join the rim. And then we'll start it up. Mad Nad, send me over. What maps we are playing for these modes. Zeke versus Balor. Can't wait. Yo, I mean, did. Good chat 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 listen why do you think why do you think doggo went against dozzy why do you think balor is going against zeke why do you think it was miney versus cisco and by all means chat at the end of the day why do you think vig is versus a beast why chat why why? Because I wanted to give the most entertaining matchups of all time. Chat. The biggest rivalries ever. These rivalries run deep. A beast versus big, big. This, bro. That isn't even a country rivalry. That's a global east versus west rivalry. And I'm here for it. 
I can happily say, being from Ireland, being from the West, that the East absolutely fried the West this year in champs. But can a bees keep it up? Either way, it's Africa versus North America this time. It's Nigeria versus the United States. It's space versus King Place. Space needs to make something happen here. He needs to at least get into round number two. As unfortunately, after his champs performance, he was getting cooked in the comments section of absolutely every YouTube video, every live stream, every TikTok. And right now, this could be his revenge arc. Is he vengeance, chat? We'll find out here. Nooktown Russia FFA. Back in the day, I didn't like Nooktown Russia as King plays lands his second shot and his second kill on the space. But nowadays, I feel like it's quite nostalgic. And that's the reason we actually decided to include this map inside of today's tournament. Just simply because it's been a while since I actually decided to play it. I, I really, I never touch it, ever. And back in the day when it was first added, I just liked it. And, and now it just reminds me of 2021. It just reminds me of those OG seasons, those OG years of playing Call of Duty Mobile. As Space now finally gets a kill. And it's 2-1 still in favor of King Plays. This map, I would say, is a lot more strategical than Shipment. I feel like Shipment is definitely the better map for people who are good at movement. And then when it comes to actually IQ Plays and aim this map is better i don't know how that missed maybe this is the reason why space performed like luster in the champ series because i just seen him land a shot and it missed i've never seen that in my entire life when it comes to spectator but he definitely landed that shot and it did not hit king play still up one zero against space the nigerians want king plays to win so bad and i'm here for it However, Space has a lot to prove. As we've talked about in the past, he had a disappointing performance. But King Plays has the pressure of the entire African continent on his back. Forget country. This is an intercontinental ballistic missile 1v1. The entirety of the North America region is voting for Space, and everyone in Africa is on the side of Kings. 3-3 three, three, as Space landed that shot on the King from behind. Remember, we have now called him King's Play <laughs> instead of King Plays. <laughs> he's going to rotate out the side. I don't think Space seen him right there, but he should have. Oh, he's seen him now. I think Space just seen him underneath that tire. Please. There's no way you're going to play like this and not see him. Very passive approach. We're going to hop on board with Kings. If we watch Space for the majority of this 1v1 so far, and now it's the halfway marker, we're going to head on board with Space, our favorite Nigerian content creator. Just playing in this tournament. Ooh! All right. A little grab off the headie. Now, 4-3 in favor of Kings. You see some... Oh, my God. Kings landing two shots back to back. Unbelievable play there by him. DLQ is being used by Kings, which I'm actually super surprised about. I think he might be doing that to avoid getting hit markers like we've seen from the Locust and Tundra players in the past few games not saying that the tundra doesn't have a great hitbox when it comes to one shot sniper kills but everyone knows that the dlq is the og legendary sniper the prone play i don't think this is the play i'm surprised i don't know that was questionable i think the king is actually using the skin that i helped design he is that's the champ skin chat if you weren't there for that back in the day space is going to pick up the kill onto him right there oh my god what just happened Space just put Kings in the blender with a spawn trap, and it's now 6-5 in favor of Space. Did he shoot him through the wall? Either way, back to the skin reference. We actually helped design this skin that King Plays is using right now. Back, I believe it was the 2020 COD Mobile World Championship. Space is now going and opting for a camp approach here. Kings has no idea where he is. Will he be able to go up there and find him? I don't think so. There's only 40, there's only 53 seconds left, chat. He's representing Africa well, but I don't think he's got it in the bag. 44 seconds. He has no idea where Space is. Space obviously opting for the play that is going to give him the best chance at winning this, which obviously means he's camping. King, now going up. Is he going to check this corner? 
He's not going to check it. Space is going to get a free kill right there. And that's going to be all she wrote for game number one. It looks like the comeback from Space came through. And he's still going to play this super passive approach. Camping at the back of the map here. That's it. That's it. Map number one goes in favor of the main man Space. Well played to him. Unfortunately, King Fall... Oh my god. Nigeria. It's not looking good, bruv. Listen, I'm not from the United States. I'm not, no. I, dude, Space <laughs> isn't even in tribe anymore. I didn't tell him to do that. Chat, bro. Chat, I didn't. Chat, I did not tell him to actually. Did Nigerians, please don't attack me. Attack Space. Go for Space. I don't want this beef. I, <laughs> dude, I do not want the beef. Peace and love 2024, chat. Peace and love. Peace and love from me, but Spears absolutely just annihilated your African player. Wait. King executed Spears? I thought it was Spears that executed King. Therefore, I want all the smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Nigeria on top. Yeah. Yeah, chat. Yeah. Yeah. Nigeria on top, chat. Nigeria on top. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. W Nigeria. Holy. As far as I'm concerned, it's 0-0 zero, zero because Kings executed him. <laughs> Hide and seek. W. All right, King. You got the entirety of Africa behind you. I may have misplayed the casting here. Listen, I haven't casted in months. Cut me some slack. That was a fantastic execution. Now we need you to take it home. All right, we need you to bring it back. U.S. on top. Oh, man, we got some beef. We got some beef, chat. King, you need to make this comeback. We want to see this go down 1-1. Space lands the first shot on to Kings and extends his lead. He's going to go into double digits straight off the back on the first hard point. Kings goes over the wall we're going to stay on board with him as we watch space the majority of the first game so we'll watch kings the majority of the second he's emoting on him <laughs> bro how are you going to execute an emote when you're losing king huh how are you going to execute an emote oh shots go down neither of them land can he get the shot this time though no he can't neither of them landing the shot movement and aim not coming through right here oh my god where's the aim neither of these guys are able to land multiple shots back to back as space finally hits king from behind and we want you. I, I, not in that way. I don't want you in that way. Like, chat, please don't clip that. But we want you to win. All right? We want you to win this game. We want you to win this map. We want you to take this to an S and D. The most tense game mode in all 1v1s. Oh, my God. You know what? Proning might be the play. Proning might be the play, chat. I dogged on, dogged on him a little bit before for proning, but it worked right there against Spice. And now he's finally... Ain't no way you're still emoting, King, bro. Come on, bro. There's no shot. Please land this. Oh, my God. Midair snipe headshot off the heady. That was insane from space. Let's hop on board with him again. As he's able to land a fantastic shot. King, you don't have time to work with here, bro. You're dying 1-0. You're literally dying 1-0. You're going to die here. Yep, space is going to land this. I knew it. That's just like a free, easy kill for a guy like space. I knew when he was going down those stairs that there was nothing he could have done. Space is landing that shot 10 out of 10 times. It was a freebie for Spears. Spears is also opting for the prone strat. No way! A hit marker comes through! <gasps> he lands it. Well played to King Plays right here. I'm surprised he got a hit marker with that DLQ. Spears now getting the better spawn point. King Plays knows he's back there and he lands the shot! He's hoping that Spears lands back there again. Yes, he does. He spawns a little bit further around the corner. But I think Spears might get this rotational kill onto him through blue. King, you're gonna die. Yep, I knew it. But that actually might give King the better spawn here, chat. I think King might actually get the better spawn. He doesn't get the better one, but he gets a good one. It's not a better spawn than where Space is, but it's definitely a good one. He gets a nice rotation. However, Space is in. You need to shit through that, bro. You need to shit through that. Land the shot, but he gets the hit marker. <gasps> no! Oh my god. Space is going to eliminate my African brother, King, plays. Not like this, King. Not like this, bro. You got to get... Oh my god, he's going to... He landed the shot. He's 
double down in points. Space has twice as many points as King plays. I don't think he's got it in him. Nigeria, I'm sorry. But I think King plays is going to get eliminated here. I don't think he's got it. Oh my god, this could be the comeback. This could actually be the comeback. 15 seconds left on this hill. If he, if he holds all 15, this would be an insane play by him for a comeback story. For the Nigerian prince. For the player in everybody's hearts. King landing every shot. Now stay in the hard point, please. Get it. Space is already rotated. He's going to watch this rotation. Can he land this shot? Oh my god, he knows. He knows. He can't hit it. Oh my god, he gets turned on. No, you need to get a good spawn here. He gets the worst one. Not like this, chat. Oh, oh my god! Through the wall! You need to land this second one. Ah! Oh my god! Kings, make this comeback! Make this comeback for the entire continent! Please! We want to see this go to a best of three. We want to see this to go to an S and D. No. Please, land it. Wall bang it. Do something. Oh my god, both of them missed it. Oh. They have to slide around. Movement coming into play here. Accuracy needs to come into play too. And Kings falls. Space not able to extend this lead. Can Kings do anything here to savor this moment? No! I think that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Kings is going to be able to get to the hard point fast enough in order to kill Space. He spotted him. It's going to be all she wrote. The shot goes down, but it gets a hit marker. He lands the shot, 98-77 on the board. There's only two seconds left of this hard point. Kings cannot die again. If he dies one more time, that is going to be wraps, ladies and gentlemen. Kings has absolutely no idea that Space is behind him. This is going to be it. Space is going to kill him from behind. Space is going to kill him from behind. It's it. Space has got it. Ah! Oh my god, he hit markered. Oh my god. There's no way it all comes down to this. Kings, you just need to get one more kill. No, Space is going the other, other side. The hit marker. The kill! Oh my god! The best comeback I've ever seen from any African player in the history of African esports. 100 to 98. Oh my god. Map 3, best of 3, S and D. Holy. Oh my god, chat. I cannot believe he did that. I cannot believe he did that. I did not expect that at all. Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! <laughs> oh my god! What a play for the Nigerian prince! That is ridiculous, chat! That is absolutely outrageous! Represent Africa, King! We love you! <clears throat> S&D on Summit. The final mode, the final map, the final matchup for these two players. Whoever loses this, out, eliminated, dominated, annihilated, and decimated. Here it is, chat. Best of three, Summit, Search and Destroy, North American region versus the entire African continent. Space. Versus King plays. Both players. Opting for a slightly passive approach. King, King definitely being a more passive player. Space moving his way around the map. Albeit slowly. Which is definitely the way you want to work with S&D. The reason why we have all three game modes in this tournament. Is simply because all of them provide a different way to play. Hardpoint, you gotta be aggressive. S and D, it's all about positioning and timing. Free for all, the movement comes into play. Right here, we're seeing a lot of positioning, a lot of timing, a lot of map knowledge. Space rotating over to the bomb site. He knows if he checks around here that the only other place King could be is behind him. He's going for the ninja. No, he's not. That ninja play would have came in and he would have been able to win that round if he had just defused that bomb. But he doesn't go for it. And King is now right beside him. King just seen him right there. Let's hop on board. I'm pretty sure King just seen him. Go for that bomb. All he needs to stay is... All he needs to do is stay alive for five more seconds. And King wins this first round. Space is diffusing. Space is diffusing. Space is diffusing. Ninja defuse comes in. Oh my god. King unfortunately did not plant the bomb in the exact position to allow him to watch it. And Space diffused with the ninja. 
That's the second time in this $10,000 1v1 tournament that we've seen somebody ninja defuse. And not only ninja defuse, but go for a defuse, stop it, and then before the bomb explodes, they go back and then they ninja defuse. So they bait it, they fake it, and then they do it. Space down below king. Both players a little bit more aggressive in this round as opposed to last round. Space definitely the more aggressive player here, I would say. He's right inside of king's spawn, and he might be able to get... King from behind here. It's looking likely. I don't see King landing this shot. Nope, Space didn't land it either though, which now gives King information when Space had the entire advantage. Shot comes down, King kills him. That's right. Eliminated. Decimated and annihilated. <clears throat> one, one on the board. Both players representing country and continent. On Summit Search and Destroy. Well played to King last game for making that insane comeback. Like I said, I've never seen anything like that from an African pro player. And that was inspirational from the broski. Especially with a life-changing amount of money on the line. And remember, the winner gets $5,000, right? It's a $10,000 tournament overall. $5,000 simply just for winning. You want to know how much that is? We said it before. It's 8 million Nira. That's the Nigerian currency. So if King wins this, he gets 8 million of his own currency. Nigerians in the chat, if you want to type in what that could buy you, feel free to do so. As Space is about to kill him, never mind! King plays! Even though Space had a slight high ground advantage there, and something covering his lower half of the body, King hits him in the top half and takes him out. 2-1 in favor of Nigeria. <clears throat> well played. Keep in mind, chat, I think both these players are playing on my server. So I see that a couple of people are saying ping. They both don't have their original ping. They're both on a ping disadvantage, which actually evens them out. Ooh, nice shot there from Spears. All right. All right. Well played. I'll give you that. Well done. Let's hop on board with Spears. If we've been checking out Kings for quite a while here. As the S and D continues, round five. I think the chat wants King to win, but I will say, if Spears did, it would be quite the underdog story to follow, because he did get slated four weeks after champs. So if he could come back, beat King, and then win the entire event, that would be a comeback story for the ages and really put him on the map when it comes to being one of the best snipers in the world. However, King needs to go on the map for the entire continent. Shots go down from each player. Eight King plays, tries to land it, doesn't. Space can't land his shot either. Tundra not doing work. King has been spotted. Shots go down again, still not landing any shots. Movement is coming down from Kings. He's going for the execution onto Space. Oh my God, he's actually playing for it. I did not expect to see something like that come into play when they're both in such a tied up game. King's going for the ninja. He's not going to get it. He doesn't have the time. Yep, no time. This round is going to go in favor of Space. Dots go down. Space gets killed on the king with a headshot. And that's going to be all she wrote for round number five as we go into round six. <clears throat> Why are they using default skins? I believe that people are using skins that are slightly less colorful so that they can hide in the map. Because there's a lot of money on the line, they don't want bright colorful skins. They want something that can blend in. Especially when you're playing on a map like Summit, where there are a couple of hard places to see if you're a dark colored skin. King does take a shot at Space, but misses it. Can he land this one? No, he can't. Space doesn't land it either, but it looks like King's going to turn on him that time. Land the shot with the DLQ, and we're going 3-3. This is a very close matchup. This has to be the closest. What was it? 7-6 free-for-all. 198 in hard point. And now it's 3-3 three, three in Search and Destroy. We've never seen anything like it, chat. We've never seen anything like it in the history of the $10,000 1v1 tournaments that we've been hosting over the last year. This is the final conclusion. We're finding out who's the best sniper in the entire world right here. And Space and King are two of them. Voted for by you guys. King rotating up across the map. He doesn't know that Space is planting. He tried to go for an engine defuse before and he didn't get it. Space did, however, secure it. Neither of them haven't got an execution in this game, but we did see one from King come in the past in FFA. Space not even checking for the Ninja Diffuse. 
King hasn't went for it now. He's been walking the entire time. He doesn't know where Space is. There's been no info given for each of the players. Space is playing this interestingly. I'm not I'm not sure what this play is. Can he hear the bomb from there? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea, but Space has decided to rotate around, check the bomb site. I don't think King has seen him. Space now opting to shoot. Never mind, he doesn't take the shot, but King shoots at him. The bomb plant goes down. Does Space see him? He doesn't see him! King gets the ninja defuse, and that's 4-3 in favor of King! Both players have planted the bomb in the wrong location in this map, and now King is on match point. All he needs to do for Nigeria and the entire continent of Africa is win this round, get one more kill. Your entire brand relies on it. The credibility of King plays comes down to this very moment. As Space opts to go through middle. He's flanking him from behind. Space going down to the bomb site. King. Oh, this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, King is going to secure it. No, he's not. He made a movement. Space heard it, but it doesn't matter. King and Nigeria go through to round number two. Holy, with the comeback and the hard point. And also a great search and destroy performance. King has secured his spot in the next round of the $10,000 1v1 Global COD Mobile Tournament. Absolutely outstanding plays from both players, but Kings and Nigeria come out on top and we bid a farewell to our first North American contestant. You played well, Space, but unfortunately, King wraps it up here. Well played to King. I, I mean, I didn't expect it to happen. I'm gonna be, at, I'm gonna be honest, but I think the tides turned when King executed him at the end of that game. It looked like Space was dominating. King executed him. And since then, it's been wraps. 20 gifted from Liss right there. Thank you very much, Liss. I appreciate it. Brusque. Much love, gamer. All right, chat. I'm going to display the next matchup for round number one on the screen. We're going to take a quick breather. I'm going to take a drink so that I can continue to talk because I'm so excited about this tournament that I'm shouting and my voice it's going to go by the end of it. So we're trying to stop that from happening by taking as much liquid down my throat as possible. And no, I'm not talking about that liquid. So don't clip it. Chat. You seen it. You seen it. I seen it. I mean, guys. It's Balor versus Zeke. It's literally Balor versus Zeke. It wasn't two, let's, it was like two, three months ago when they were beefing. They were beefing on TikTok. I went on TikTok chat. I opened it up. They were freaking both on the same TikTok live talking about how they were disrespecting each other over social media. And now we got them in a 1v1. Chat, who else was going to do it? Who else was gonna do it? You think I haven't been waiting for this chat? You think when I put that TikTok up that I didn't already know Zeke and Balor were gonna be in it? Bro, they're one of the reasons this event is even here. They're one of the reasons it exists today. I had the opportunity, thanks to Call of Duty Mobile for sponsoring the event, to host any COD Mobile event that I wanted. And the first thing that came to mind was Rivalry 1v1s. And this right here is a big time rivalry. The biggest of times of rivalries. There's not many that come close to this. In fact, in the last year, I'd say this is the biggest one. Zeke versus Balor. And oh my god. We get shipment as the free for all map of choice. Could get any better chat. I might actually cry. I might shed a tear. I might shed a tear chat. Zeke versus Balor. Two of the goats. Zeke from the Philippines and Balor from Syria, now living in Germany. He's got one of the deepest voices I've ever heard from any player in Call of Duty Mobile. He gets the first kill onto Zeke. Zeke trying to close in on 200k subscribers. Balor just trying to be the flick god that he is. Shots come down for both players. Tundra in the side of Zeke. 
Balor will check right now. He's also using the Tundra 2-0 off the bat in favor of Balor. On the main stage, shots come down again. None are going to be hit, but Zeke finally gets a kill on the board. This is what we wanted to see. We want to see a close matchup. We don't want to see anyone washing over anyone else. And the hit marker comes down in favor of Balor. Unfortunately, he's going to die to Zeke. He's, he's not going to get a hit marker. 2-2. Two, two. New spear. You guys definitely should buy the spear. I'm just going to be honest with you. Did like the spear is sick. See when they see when they release an insane couple of skins for that. It's going to be a raps Reno. Little lucky draw. It's a banger chat. It is WRL spear skins chat. WRL spear skins. As Zeke now four two ahead of Balor. Remember, Balor started off this 1v1 2-0 up, and Zeke has just went on a 4-0 run. So you already know that Balor is nervous now. Zeke is feeling confident. He's landed the last four shots easily. But Balor able to take him out right there. 3-4 in favor of Zeke. He's going for the spawn trap play right here. Can he lock it in? No, he can't. He's not locking it in right now. Who's going to land the shot? Movement's coming into play. Aim's coming into play, and Balor's able to get the kill. On to Zeke. Now a drawn matchup. Three minutes, 20 seconds left in the clock. Shots go down once more. Holy, this movement is insane. Fowler's movement is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. This is what happens when you combine movement with AM chat. You get stuff like this, ladies and gentlemen, as the shots go down. And unfortunately, Zeke is going to hit marker Balor. Can he land a couple of more shots? No, he can't. Zeke is going to kill him. Balor gets eliminated right there. And it's 5-5. Five, five. Still a draw in map number one. Free for all shipment. We all wanted to see this. And I'm glad that it is came on this matchup. He knows he's up top. He doesn't want to take that fight as it's a heady glitch. Whoop. Damn. Well played by Zeke. Using that high ground two as advantage. We said it here when we watched Rush Senpai play earlier against Borg that the, the high ground plays definitely work to your advantage on shipment. And if you do play a 1v1 in the future against your friend, make sure to take the high ground. They don't expect it. You get a little heady in favor of the high ground position. Shots go down. Balor gets eliminated right there. Eat five in favor of Zeke. Balor needs to make something happen here. You need to make something happen here or we're all going to be disappointed by your performance if it's not a close one, Balor. All right? I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I know that the whole chat is going to spam L Balor if you don't make something happen here. Zeke. Opting for the passive approach now. I don't know what Balor's doing. This is not going to really work for you, bro. you got to be the aggressor. You're the person that's behind in kill points. In KP. Zeke still opting for the passive approach. I don't know what Balor's doing right here. Zeke is finding a way to just not be found. I'm going to blame Balor on this. He ha Wow. I think that that was a complete misplay by Balor. He just teabagged him too. He stayed in one half of the map the entirety of that minute and didn't even see him once which ultimately has led to his demise. And I think Zeke is going to land this final shot right here. And yes, he is. Balor gets destroyed in that first game with double the kills going over to Zeke's side. Of course, that's not the end of this 1v1. However, this rivalry series, this Zeke versus Balor, this beef that was made before this idea even came into fruition, we're going into map number two. We're going into game mode number two. And you already know it's Hardpoint, which so far has been my personal favorite game mode to watch this 10,000 dollar 1v1 tournament as there has been some incredible comebacks well played to zeke for winning that matchup next up we've got hard point on raid it's first to 100 points here we get 100 points first whether it's zeke or Balor will decide the fee of both of their ten thousand dollar 1v1 tournament if zeke wins Balor is eliminated out instantly if Balor wins we go to our round three map three Best of three, S and D. Good luck, gamers. Good luck indeed. We're going to start off the map with spectating Balor. Hopefully he comes through right here and takes us to map number three. I would love to see an S and D come through for Balor because I know he's good at S and D. That's his game mode of choice. We all know. We all know who Balor is. If you play and watch COD Mobile, if you go on TikTok in any capacity, you will know who Balor is. Zeke is a tip warrior. A sniper warrior. He recently got back into sniping after a little break with this $10,000 1v1 tournament coming in. He also 1v1'd Borg recently as well. Snipes coming in. Balor able to hit the hit marker, but not get, able to get the kill shot. Zeke gets the kill shot, however. Shoots him a little bit higher. Secures the one shot, one kill. Zeke now in the better position. Also is about to get more points from the board than Balor. Takes the lead finally. Ooh, Balor just avoid avoided that, but he's still going to drop to Zeke, unfortunately. This isn't looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, the Flick God might get eliminated right here. Left, right, good night to Balor. 
That's what's going to happen if he doesn't land some freaking shots right here or execute Zeke in a very good fashion. Well played to him. Another kill coming on the board. With Zeke on 38 to Ballers 11. He has absolutely no idea what he's going to do right here, but he's going to rotate into the next hard point. Zeke is going to come in later, 42 to 11. Baller's not playing this well, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like if Search and Destroy had been the second game mode, he would have been in a better position. But now, Zeke is still double the points ahead of him. If he can take it to a game three, he may be able to secure the win. But if he doesn't and he goes out here, he's eliminated. That's all she wrote for Baller's $10,000 tournament experience as Zeke lands another shot. Oh my god, he's shooting his body. No way. I can't believe he's disrespecting him like this. I knew that there was beef. We all knew that there was beef. They live streamed their beef back and forth. And then they came to the solution that they just didn't care anymore. And it's wraps. I, I really, yep, it's over for Balor. He's not going to win this, ladies and gentlemen. He's not going to win it. I just don't see it happening. I do not see it happening. Balor used to smoke in hardpoint also. So I just don't see him getting this win, chat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Yep, there's absolutely no chance. There you go. When it comes to snipers, Zeke is the better player. And the beef is one-sided. Balor is going to get eliminated here. Especially since he's using smokes and hardpoint. <laughs> I like this. There's, there's, there's nothing to say. There's literally nothing to say about it. It's wraps. Oh, Zeke is dead here. I don't see him surviving this. Absolutely not a chance. Wow, Balor. Balor, please, come on. There's got to be something. There's got to be some sort of retaliation here. Oh, my God. I, did, I don't even know what to say at this point. What am I even looking at? Ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Zeke eliminates Balor. Yep. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, for any Balor fans out there, he gets eliminated in round number one of the $10,000 sniper tournament. Oh, he got another kill. Unfortunately, Zeke gets the spawn, and I don't think he's going to win. Balor, I think it's over. Yep, he doesn't have the time. GG's. Unfortunately... My Balor fans, it's over. He's gone. 2-0. Balor is a great player, chat. He is an outstanding sniper. But unfortunately, in this occasion, Zeke came through and pulled off that W. So congratulations to Zeke for making it into round number two. Superb performance from you. And unfortunately, Balor, I love you. I remember reacting to you back when you were at like 20,000 followers. Now I think he's close to 400k on TikTok. You're still a goat in my eyes, broski. You're still a flick god. The best Finnick user. But unfortunately for this event, you have been eliminated. And the Filipino player, Zeke. The Tagalog speaker, Zeke. Moves into the next round. Mahal Kita, Zeke. Let's go. Up next chat, I'm going to pull up the bracket. At the end of this round, we will update the bracket and you will see who everyone is versing in round number two. But for now, I'm going to take a drink of my whatever this is. I don't even know what this is. It's like a strawberry drink. And I'll show you the bracket. There will be no sign. We got Co-Script versus Gantz. Now, if any of you guys are Brazilian, I love my Brazilian brothers and sisters, chat. You already know it. Gantz is from Brazil. I made sure to get as many different continents, regions, countries as possible. Anything that you guys wanted to see. If you guys voted for people, I made sure to bring them into the tournament. And so many people wanted to see Gantz in this. And also, you know what's crazy? I didn't invite CoScript, and CoScript made a TikTok about it because I didn't I didn't know people wanted him in it, right? I didn't know people seen CoScript as a good sniper, but he made a TikTok, and I swear to God, that TikTok got 200,000 views in like 10 hours, and 
everyone wanted him in it. So he went from me not even considering him to him being one of the key highlight star par players because of you guys. Because you guys seen him complaining about not being in it. So we added him to it. And everyone wanted him in. I will say, Coscrip is the most... The most infamous player in terms of having a lot of fans and a lot of haters. So no ma matter what happens here, there's going to be a lot of people happy and a lot of people sad. Regardless of whether he wins or loses. Because his haters are going to be happy if he loses and his fans are going to be sad. If he wins, his fans are going to be happy and his haters are going to be sad. So it's, a, it's definitely not a win-win situation, chat. It's definitely not. Raging Cactus, we did ask Raging Cactus to participate in this event, but unfortunately he said he did not want to partake in it. I'm not going to say the reason, I feel like that should stay um, private, but we love Raging Cactus, he just didn't want to participate in the tournament. And uh, if he wants to talk about it himself on his live stream, I'll let him do so, I don't want to put him on the spot as to his reason of why he didn't attend the event. We did invite him, he was one of the people I really wanted to be, uh, I wanted to have in the event. And looks like the Brazilian. The Brazilian worth a million, chat, gets the first kill. The Brazilian million, can he get the second kill? Let's find out right here as he turns on Coast Script, gets the hit marker. Can he secure the kill, however? Yes, he is. Gonna be able to do so. Chat, I need an update. Why do people put E at the start of their name? Does anyone know why people put E at the start of their name? I have absolutely no idea. Follow and subscribe? Go for it. If you want to follow and subscribe, we'll be doing more of these in the future on another COD on mobile. I'm not going to say what COD on mobile that is, but you can put it in the chat because this is hashtag COD and partnered. It's another COD on mobile. I will try my best to make sure that we do stuff like this in that game as well. Hashtag COD mobile partner. We love Call of Duty on mobile chat, don't we? Yes, we do. As the Brazilian worth a million gets three kills off the bat. Fantastic play from him. Coast script. 3 0 down. Let's hop on board, see where he's at. He's got a diamond locust. I love this skin. The electron locust skin. I personally can't use it well. It's just something to do with the iron sight for it. It just doesn't vibe with me. But when I see other people use it, I love it. It just looks so clean. You know, I love the color blue. Hit marker comes out, unfortunately, for Coscript right there. And it looks like Gantz is going to go for the retaliation play right here. But he's not going to be able to do it. As Coscript finally gets a kill on the board. 3-1, still in favor of the Brazilian million. Coscript going for the snipe across the map. Not able to do it with the spawn trap. And Gantz now knows where Coscript is. Is he able to land it? No, he's not. Woo! Well played to Gant. If you didn't know, Gant is actually a top 10 Tundra player in the world. Last time I checked, he went into the top 10 um, for the Tundra leaderboard. So well played to him for doing that. A very, very big achievement. Getting anywhere on the leaderboards is a huge achievement. And if you've done it in the chat before, make sure to let me know and what gun you've done it with. As Gant is now top 10 with the Tundra. Coast script right below him. Gant 4-1 up. If I was Gant personally, the Brazilian million, I would be playing passive. Exactly what he's going to do here as he secures his fifth kill on the board. I would not be pushing anything. Wow. What a kill coming out there from Coscript across the map. Let's hop on board with him as we know he's going to be the aggressor now. Considering Gant has the lead by around three kills. We want to see some aggressive snipes. Listen chat. You're going to see a lot of people play passive when they get a lead like this. But Gant, he's still getting kills while playing passive. So that is a big W on the side of the Brazilian worth a million the goat of the brazilian region shots are going to go down here are they going to get them off the head glitch no he's not as gant lands another we've never seen this in the competition oh my god he waved the white flag he waved the white flag a little bit of disrespect coming from the latin america brazilian million player onto the north american coast script with a white flag telling him to surrender it's over 9-2 as instead of playing passive, Gant is going ultra aggressive mode and taking it straight to Coscript. Top 10 Tundra player definitely showing why he's on the leaderboard right here, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to say it, but Coscript bodied. Absolutely fiddled with. Played like a flute chat. I mean, come on. Outstanding performance. From the Brazilian that you guys voted for to enter this tournament. I got nothing but love for him. That was a great play, chat. 
That was a great play. Outstanding. I agree with Boom. His profile picture is enough. That is a fact. That is a fact. Next up, we're going into hard point. Do you think that Gans can keep this up? Do you think the Brazilian worth a million can keep this up? The GOAT of Brazil? The top content creator? Also, I believe that the the other top content creator from Brazil is watching this chat. Japa? Japa? Are you here? Huh? Are you? I was told he was going to watch. Dan asked me. Japa, I got nothing but love for you, man. If you don't know, Japa is one of the best Brazilian YouTubers. I, I'm turning the music off for this so you guys understand what I'm saying. Japa has been nothing but lovely towards me for the last four years of my life. And dare I say it, I feel like he knew me at the start of COD M or before COD M even launched. He was right there. I, I remember him being right there at the start of COD Mobile by my side. So shout out, Jappa. I think you're watching the stream. I hope you are. I love you, bro. You've been nothing but lovely towards me for the last four years of my entire life. And I want to reciprocate that. So W Jappa in the chat. I think he's watching the stream. I hope he is. Much love to you, man. And obviously, obviously, chat, much love to all Brazilians. But Jaff, Jappa especially. Season 2, there he is, he's in the chat, he's in the YouTube chat. Season 2, I knew it was super early. I knew it was super early. W Jappa chat. As we go in to hard point on firing range for game number 2 of this incredible Brazilian versus United States matchup. Latam versus NA. Tundra coming out here from Gant. Of course, we're probably going to assume that Gant is going to use the Tundra the entire event simply because he's top 10 in the world with it. He's one of the best Tundra players in the entire world. Damn, people are calling CoScript fraud script. I wouldn't go that far. CoScript is a great player. I've watched him a couple of times and he's amazing. Oh my god, but do you know who might be better? The Brazilian worth a million. That's my boy, Ganth right there. To get the second kill on him though, that's the question. Can he land the second shot on the Coast Script? Shots go down, he's not able to land it. Coast Script, can he make the turn on right here? He's not gonna be able to do so. No scopes are coming out. Some of them might try and go for an execution right here. Not gonna happen as Coast Script finally lands the shot with his Locust Sniper. 1-1 one, one in terms of kill count, but Ganth is still ahead in terms of points. Fantastic play from him. Coscript, remember chat, Coscript is a fantastic player. He is one of the best players in the world. So if Gant can beat him 2-0 in this matchup, that would be a massive upset. Any 2-0 victories are crazy upsets. We've only seen one so far with Balor and Zeke, and Balor is one of the best flickers in the entire world. So that surprised me, but this would surprise me even more if the Brazilian worth a million could take out Coscript in a 2-0 victory. Fantastic play right there, but the round, sorry, the hard point is rotating. He needs to get these early points and then take Coscript off that rotation. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do this. The play from Coscript is actually quite confusing here for Ganth because he's moving around the map and rotating very, very well. It looks like he might kill him from behind, but never mind. Ganth sees him after he shoots, gets the turn on kill, and that's going to be all she wrote for that. Life. Ooh! Damn! That was a huge kill from Coscript. Let's hop on board with him as he's now the defending hardpoint abuser. Can he get the jump shot? Like Ganth tried to go for and missed, unfortunately. Doesn't look likely. Ganth, now trying to open the way up of the hard point. Gets the kill on to Coscript. Fantastic. He's shooting up in the air now. Ganth is a troller. Keep in mind, chat, we do not ban any kind of toxicity. What a blank scope from Ganth right there. These players are allowed to be as toxic as they want. They can literally be as aggressively toxic as they please. We love that here. Oh, another kill coming in the board from Ganth right there. And 1,500 Indian rupees coming from Tafik. Thank you very much, Broski. I appreciate it. Oh, shot goes down. Doesn't it get the hit? Oh, my God. Chat, Ganth is really surprising me. Just how good he is at sniping. I did not expect this from him. You know, there's a, there's a common stereotype when it comes to content creators that they're not as good as pro players. And I feel like in the last... I'm going to say since COD Mobile came out, that content creators have been as good as pro players. Like, Ganth is incredible. Ganth is an incredible player. 
Oh my god. Is he gonna land it? Yes, finally. Well played to him. <laughs> He's gonna emote, isn't he? He did. He emoted, but it didn't come up in our spectator footage. He clicked off it too quick. I think he might have did the white flag again. It's not every day you see a Brazilian say to a North American, hold the surrender flag. It's not every day that you see that happening. I mean, oh my God, when is this gonna stop? He just has all the angles and hits all the shots. Oh my God, he's doing the glow stick. He's an OG. Thank you very much, Run for the Galaxy. I appreciate it. The shot's gonna go down. Woo! Toast script making everyone know that he's still in this competition. However, if he does lose this game, he is eliminated entirely. So if he if he dies one more time, it's over. If Toast script dies one more time, it's over, depending on a spawn point that he gets. Gans, the Brazilian worth a million, only needs to land one more shot, and he does it! He does it! That's it. Gans, the Brazilian worth a million, eliminates the North American player known as Coast script Wow. Wow. Brazil makes it into round number two, chat. Round number two. Well done. And another North American player is unfortunately eliminated. There's only, I, chat, I, I believe there's only one more North American player in the entire tournament left. There's one more North American player out of everyone left. Actually, if you count, if we go by North America and not United States, we have two North Americans. But there's only one more United States of America player, and that's Jesus Can Save You. However, there is another North American region player known as Veg. And Veg versus a Bees is actually our final matchup for round number one. However, there's one more Filipino that has to take the stage, chat. One more Filipino. Can you guess who it is? Can you type in chat? Who's the last Filipino player? I'm going to show it in the bracket. There's going to be no audio because I'm going to take a drink as my voice is absolutely fried. <laughs> That's right! It's Whoopi! Whip Skinny! Whipperino! You can add it, Mad Nine. Yeah, go for it. Go for it, Mad Nine. Yeah. I think that would be a, Yeah. I think that would be good. You know what, chat? As we wait for Whoopi to join. Let me turn my music down real quick. As we wait for Whoopi to join, let me. Just update the bracket so that you can see what it's looking like. And that's the bracket. We got Whoopi. Oh my God, he's only level. He's level 69, huh? <laughs> he's level 69. Mia, thank you for the galaxy over on TikTok, man. I appreciate it. Much love to you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Guys, you don't need to donate to me, by the way. Just, I, I don't need any money. Trust me. Like, I'm a COD Mobile partner. It's all good. If anything, wait until the guys that compete in this tournament stream and, and donate to them. Donate to them. Trust, like, I, I don't, I don't need and I don't want you guys to give me your money. Just feel free to give it to the people competing in this event. I'm talking about people who got eliminated. Like, Space streams. I know Balor streams on a regular basis. We already know Dawsey streams. Like, anyone who didn't make it, if they're live, like, who help them out? Who help them out? You know, I, I'm, I'm, thankfully, I'm in the position to where we've been grinding COD Mobile for four years. You, you guys know I was playing it before it launched. I was right there, number one in leaderboards when it launched. So it put us in the position that we don't need donations. So you don't need to donate. Don't, don't bother. If you have any spare money, give it to the guys in the competition that didn't make it far. They, they, they didn't get into the next round. Help them out. Help them out. Trust me. Trust me. You do not need to... Donate to me, but I appreciate it. Trust, I, I do. I appreciate it, but I think the money would be better spent over on the uh, on the people co competing. Yeah, you got me. All right, that that sounds good, chat. You got me. You got me. All right, Whoopi's in here. Jesus can see if you is in here. Let's get it. 
Let's run it! <clears throat> We're doing a last second edition of a map. We weren't going to do Rust, but because a lot of people were saying it in the chat, they said, do Rust. Mad Nabs came to me in Discord and said, listen, people in chat are saying do Rust in the middle of the games. So we're adding Rust into the map pool for this map. If you guys think that's a W, type W. If you don't want Rust, type L. For this, one map will do it. And we'll, we'll see what you guys think. Aerith's watching your stream. Oh, no way. The best girl? The best girl player chat? Oh, oh my god. She's almost making me as nervous as my girlfriend. <laughs> much love, Aerith. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching the stream. Also, hashtag combo a partner, right? <laughs> Vig asked the exact same thing as you. <laughs> he was like, can I do hashtag combo a partner of this? I was like, yeah, go for it. Damn! First kill coming on the board from Whoopi right here. Ladies and gentlemen, First game, Whippy versus Jesus can save you. The last United States of America player. All other players have been eliminated from the event. Oh, a lot of W's coming in from Rust. I'm glad we decided to put it in for one map. And um, chat, you know, just a little bit of variety. Back when I was a kid, I used to play 1v1s on Rust on Modern Warfare 2, believe it or not, back uh, when I was 10 years old. So I'm actually kind of happy that this is going to be an addition into the game. And if you guys didn't play, back in the day... Rust was actually a ranked map. Rust was a ranked map. I, I know, it seems weird now because it's such an unbalanced map when you get top control, but uh, it was. It was indeed a ranked map, and if you didn't play back then, now you know. You just can see if you get in the shot onto Whippy. Fantastic play from him right there. Fantastic play. Jesus, now 3-1 up in the FFA on Rush. This is a last second map change. So these two players will have not practiced this map whatsoever. So this is pure skill at the end of the day. Whippy does not see him on the head glitch. FFA in favor of Jesus can save you now. 4-1 advantage. Jesus seems to know the spawns right here as Whippy's getting dominated on the main stage with his level 69 account on the global app. Whippy, one of the best players in the entire world when it comes to sniping, but Jesus just knows this map so well. Jesus just knows it so well. Wow. He knows exactly where... I did not think he was going to know this map. Nobody plays 1v1s on Rust anymore. It just never happens. People haven't played 1v1s on Rust in, in I want to say, years. But unfortunately for Whippy, it seems like Jesus is clutching. Absolutely dominating, but thankfully... Whippy put something on the board. Whereas Cisco, Cisco has unfortunately been eliminated by Miney. Miney eliminated Cisco in the first matchup of the day, and Miney has went into round number two. Cisco has been eliminated. After this matchup, I will make sure... Actually, after this and the next matchup, I'll make sure to hold the bracket on the screen for around five seconds. If you want to screenshot it so that you have it in your phone and you can hold it, Whippy getting another kill right there. Fantastic play by him. But if you want to screenshot it, hold it in your phone, send it into your group chats, whatever you want to do. Um, so that you can see the bracket, feel free to do so. I just don't have the bracket up while they're playing because I want to see the gameplay as much as possible and I know that everyone else does. So in between um, this and the next round, we'll show the bracket where everyone is. Hit marker coming down in favor of Whoopi. Finally able to get that kill. 7-4, Jesus still ahead slightly. Oh, the shot comes down. Can he land it? He doesn't, he, oh my God, he's not able to land it, but he does have a good head glitch right here. I think he's going to die. Never mind, Whoopi. Oh my God, the comeback of the Filipino. He's not going to be able to kill him here. No way. Jesus now playing way more passive, knowing that Whoopi is making a comeback here. Interesting camo choice by Jesus. He's obviously opting for the subdued camo, the bland ones, the dark ones instead of bright ones, so that you can blend in with the surrounding area. He's just still playing super passive here. 1 minute 32 seconds on the clock. Whoopi going around the map trying to find him. I don't know if it's going to be possible right here to do it in time. There's only 1 minute 23 seconds left in the clock. Whoopi is going to go right into Jesus' scope here. He's not going to know this is a free kill from Jesus. He misses the shot! He actually missed the free easy kill. This could go in Whoopi's favor right here. As Jesus tries to find the rotation, but it's not going to come as Whoopi doesn't have a head glitch right there. And Jesus is able to take him out with a chest shot. Now going for the camping strat once more on the FFA rust map. Jesus moving his way into the pipe. Unfortunately for Whoopi, it's not looking good. 
He has no idea where he is. This is an insane spot. Very few people know that this spot even exists. So I really doubt that Whoopi's going to check this. He might, though. He's, he's going to walk around. Let's hop on board with Whoopi. Is he going to check it? Yes, he did. He checked it. But he didn't see him. Jesus, able to get another kill on the Whoopi. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all she wrote. I don't think that Whoopi can get four kills in the last 40 seconds of a game. Jesus is not going for the play. Going for the trick shot. Hit marker comes down from Whoopi. Not able to land it. He's only going to be able to get that hit marker. And that's going to be all she wrote, I think, chat. 30 seconds left on the clock. Unfortunately for Whippy, he's going to fall in map number one. Unless he gets three more kills, makes it a tiebreaker. And then we have to go and redo the FFA game mode. I don't think that's going to happen. No, it's not. Jesus clutches map number one with his passive play style. If you guys don't know this player, he has competed in the world finals multiple times. I think it's three or maybe even four times Jesus has competed in the world finals for the Call of Duty Mobile World Championship. And right there, you can see why, as he eliminates the first round away from Whoopi, it's 1-0 in map count as we go into map number two. A lot of you guys loved the Rust map, so I don't think we'll bring it back again, but it was a good addition for the one time. Maybe we'll do it in a different round, but as for these round one matchups, that will be all you'll see from the Rust map. I actually really like that. I like that map. I just don't think that it will maybe play as well However, we're going to play a map that does play very well in 1v1s, and that is Shoot House, as there's lots of angles that you can use and lots of positions that you can take and definitely a load of rotational plays that you can do in order to get into the hard points on these, on this map, on these maps. I mean, we did pick maps that are very good for 1v1s. I will say so myself, but this is definitely my favorite hard point map to watch in a 1v1 because there's just so much upset potential that can happen. A lot of upstate potential. A lot of L Jesus is in the chat. Damn, chat, you really want Whoopi to win this. You really want Whoopi to win this. Okay, all right. W Whoopi in chat, I guess. Is a beast playing? He is. He's playing next up against Vague. Mm-hmm. How long is the stream? Until we cry in a winner. The stream will be live until we cry in a winner or until Whoopi dominates. Jesus, too much. I mean, god damn. Let's hop on board with him as he's able to pull the lead out. He looked at the wrong area. Jesus is going for the hard rotation right here. I think by the time he rotates around, oh, Whoopi will know he's there, but that's not going to help him at all as Jesus lands the shot and Whoopi misses. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hop onto the defensive side of things. Jesus still opting to use his very subdued bland camo, his more military themed style so that he blends in with his surroundings. Another shot coming down for him. Jesus able to take off Whoopi again. 2-0 in, actually 2-1, sorry, in kill count. 2-1 in kill count. Remember, chat, there is many more Filipinos still in the tournament. They actually, I will say this, the country of the Philippines have performed very well up until this point when it comes to the Sniper 1v1s. It all comes down to Whippy. Can he get in to round number two and make it a Filipino-dominated tournament? It's yet to be seen. Also, what's yet to be seen is the Abyss best sniper from India playing in the 1v1 tournament, will he be able to qualify against Veg, which is probably the biggest rivalry of the entire event outside of Balor and Zeke? Whoopi, trying to see if Jesus is going to peek him. He's not going to peek him, but Whoopi still gets him off. I thought Jesus would have peeked that way earlier than what he did. So well played to Whoopi for be being able to secure that kill, especially considering that he pushed up without any cover whatsoever. Another kill coming in the side of Whoopi. This could be a tasty comeback with both of them having four kills on the board, even Stevens in terms of kill count and death count. Can he land this? Yes, he can. Wow. All right. It seems like Whoopi really knows the angles. This is a heavily played ranked map, which would obviously be the reason why Whoopi is so good at it. He loves to play some ranked here and there. Another kill coming in the board with Whoopi. This is actually turning into domination. I know he's only like 10 points ahead, but when you consider how far ahead Jesus was in both points and kill count, this is a very good comeback from Whoopi. It's only up to 100 points, remember, chat, because it's a 1v1. Damn! This is an incredible performance from Whoopi. Okay, he might actually do this. He's already made the comeback. Now he's pulling ahead in a solid lead. He thinks that Jesus is going to rotate around the back. That's exactly what Jesus is going to do. He's holding the angle. Oh my God, if he landed that. Oh my gosh, he still killed him. It's almost like Whoopi knows exactly what Jesus is going to do before Jesus even does it. 
He understands the spawns because this is a ranked map or hardpoint. And he also knows the rotations. He might be counting in his head that if Jesus doesn't appear at a select location, that he's going to go to the next location of rotation. I think that's exactly what Whoopi was doing here, and it played to his advantage dramatically. If Jesus doesn't secure, actually, he can't win the round off this hard point, but if Jesus doesn't secure the next one off spawn and get all the remaining kills, Whoopi will win this game and take it to a 1-1 matchup. The only way that doesn't happen is if Jesus makes one of the craziest comebacks that we've seen since King's comeback earlier in the tournament. This, There's no way this happens. There's no way Whoopi chokes in the final hurdle. Whoopi, I need you to take this to a, a, a map number three. We can't be seeing this from my Filipino brother. From my Pinoy. Oh, there it is. It's going to a map number three. Ladies and gentlemen, Whippy is able to clutch it 100 to 75, and we're going into S and D. Fantastic play there from Whippy. I almost thought he choked it at the end, but he did clutch up and well played to him. Search and Destroy will be our next game mode. It is by far the most tactically positioned based game mode out of all of them. That's why we kept it for last because it's extremely tense. If you hear me going quiet throughout the S&D, you know because I'm so locked in and seeing what happens that I don't even have the ability to spit out any factual information. Search and Destroy on Crash. Crash is the map. They're allowed to use smokes in this. Remember, S&D is the only mode they're allowed to use smokes. You've seen Balor use it earlier, but he lost and he would have been DQ'd for that map anyway because he used smokes in hardpoint. The only mode you're allowed to use smokes in is search and destroy and you will see them using this to rotate around the map. The only reason we actually did this is because it's kind of unfair when you're the attacker and there's a defender holding an angle and you don't have a smoke. You need at least one smoke to get in to certain locations on this map, especially a map like Crash. Crash and Standoff are two of those maps. So, waiting for Whippy to ready up. As soon as he's readied up, we're going to go in and see who comes out on top. The United States of America or the Philippines. Hiding can't save you is the uh, nickname that chat has given him. I'm surprised by that. Very, very surprised. That, I mean, if you guys want to make nicknames for them, go ahead. I'm not going to tell you not to. You can call him Hiding can't save you all you want. I think he had that nickname last time we invited him to a $10,000 1v1 tournament. Again, I'm pretty sure we gave him that name back then as well. But game number three for this matchup in round one has commenced. Jesus versus Whoopi. Whoopi has rotated. Did he see him right there? I think he might have seen Jesus, but he decides to rotate around and not go for them. They're both playing extremely passive here. They both know how to use positioning to their advantage when it comes to search and destroy. Surprised that Whoopi is using the Locust. I'm very surprised by that. I would obviously have thought that everyone in this tournament was going to use the Tundra, considering it's the best statistical sniper in the game, hands down. It's close now. After it's after it's nerf, it's it's it is closer. But let's be real. The Tundra's the best sniper in the game. When it comes to bolts, the plant's gonna go down right here, and Jesus might actually go for a wall bang here on the plant spot. He's not gonna do it, he's looking at the wrong bomb, and unfortunately for him, he's gonna have to rotate into the bomb site with Whippy already planting. He has to retake that site. The smoke goes down from Whoopi as well. That's going to be it. Jesus into thinking that he might still be in that area. Jesus is now going to use his smoke as well, I believe. Never mind. He's just holding on to it. I wonder why he's just holding it. He's going to go for the ninja. He's going for the ninja. Jesus playing for the ninja right here. Whoopi didn't hear it. He didn't even hear the smoke. And that's it. Round one goes in favor of Jesus. That's like our fourth ninja defuse for the day. A lot of people rely on their teammates to watch for ninja defuses. And when it comes to 1v1s, they don't check the bomb. And that's ultimately what happens when you don't check it. Whippy thinks he's Vince right there with that ninja defuse. Sorry, Jesus thinks he's Vince right there with that ninja defuse. Whippy being the person that got ninja defused on. Sadly for him. He's going to go over to the same bomb site again. I don't know if Jesus seen him right there. He didn't. He didn't see him. See, that's, that is why using a dark colored skin is so, so beneficial. Because of Whippy's skin. Look, his dark ghost skin... Ghost Stealth, I believe the name is. It used to be a rare skin until he gave it free to play. But because of this skin, Jesus didn't see him rotate across over here. Even though he had an angle which he could watch him from. Whoopi, speaking of angles being hold, held, he gets killed by Jesus holding that angle. Surprised Jesus even checked there, to be honest. Very surprised he even checked there. Another defuse coming down in favor of him. 
Remember, this is the last match. Whoever wins this goes into the next round. This could be an elimination. <laughs> Vince got mentioned W Ferg. Of course we love Vince. I believe Oxy is in the chat as well. W Oxy. 2-0-N round count for Jesus. Whoever wins this gets through and whoever does not is eliminated from the entire competition. I would love to see Whippy put out, Whippy put out a fight here. If he loses, I'm going to call him Whippy for the rest of his life. That's just how it's going to go. He's now only known as Whippy. But if he loses, I'll let him be called Whippy. He whips other people's ass, but I mean, Jesus is whipping him up. Let's hop on board with his angle right now. Zero kills in the board for this game. He does have the bomb. He could go for the plant here. Looks like he is. Jesus is in the other um, bomb site. I think Jesus will rotate it after. Definitely not before, though. He's holding down the A site, and that's all he wants to do. Tundra in play. Whoopi's got that Locust still. Still surprised that he's using the Locust over the Tundra. I don't understand that play, to be honest. Jesus is right below him. I think Whoopi heard the hit footsteps from him. He might be able to get a free snipe right here. Yes, he is. He gets the hit marker. That is terrible. He's going to get turned on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, chat. Whippy just got dismembered in front of over 10,000 people. Absolutely obliterated in front of 10,000 people across TikTok and YouTube. Yikes, dude. Yikes. Let me correct myself. 18,000 people just seen Whippy get turned on. I am so happy I'm not playing in this event as Jesus can take another round. Is Jesus going to 5-0 Whippy in Search and Destroy? Whoopi is one of the best search and destroy snipers in the entire world. And he's going to get 5 owed. My Filipino. Malkita to the Philippines, chap. It's not looking good. He misses again. Oh, he finally landed a shot. There's no way he makes this comeback, chat. I just don't see it. I just don't see him making this comeback, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. He almost got 5 0'd. A search and destroy me and Sniper. Holding the same angle this time. I think Jesus is going to see this one coming. Oh my God. When we talk about passive plays, I mean, going on that angle and search and destroy might be the most passive play you can do. The most passive play. Slowly moving up the map. Jesus. Now the attacker. He has to plant the bomb. Of course, Whippy is holding an angle right here for the bomb site. But it's the wrong one. He's holding it for A. Does he have a position here? Ah, he's perfectly positioned to where if Jesus shoots, he's going to get hit markered. However, Whippy's not watching that bomb site, And Jesus is about to ninja defuse it. Or plant it. Whippy would be the ninja defuser. Whippy. Can you kill him or are you going to hit marker him again? He's not even going to hit him this time. He's not even going to hit him. Jesus now has the advantage. Whippy's going to die here. I knew it. I knew it. Whoopi's out. Whoopi's eliminated. Couldn't get the ninja defuse. Couldn't get the shot. And that's Whoopi completely out of the game. Completely gone. But we still got more Filipino players participating. And they are in the next round. Unfortunately for Whoopi, that's all she wrote. I'm really happy that you decided to participate in this tournament. So W Whoopi regardless. Of course, he is usually on the Garena app. And he decided... To come in and play on the global version of the game. So W Whippy, in my opinion, he's still one of the best snipers in the entire world. And has been since his blow up many years ago. I think the first time I heard about Whippy was probably 2020. Maybe early 2021. When he was considered one of the best players on the entire planet. When it comes to sniping. He still is that. But unfortunately, Jesus is just going to take home that W right there and then. Ladies and gentlemen, well played to him. Good Game. Next up, chat. Chat. We got something special for you. We got something absolutely insane for you guys. We're talking India versus Vag. I mean, Vag. Good freaking luck, buddy. Good luck. 
Good luck. Jesus plays for a USA team. I believe he's actually from Canada. However, I believe he actually lives in Canada. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Because I've seen him, Veg, and Aerith all play in the same game on Ranked. And that's the Canadian server. So, Jesus could be Canadian. I think he is, but he plays for a United States team. Just to avoid any confusion there, chat. Oh my god, they're here. They're here, chat. This might be the biggest match of the entire tournament. 7-0? Oh, hell no! There's no way people are trashing already. We've seen this in the COD Mobile World Championship. Veg talked a lot of trash versus the entire Indian country. The entire East region. He stated, East is ass. Then, they went in and they absolutely dominated. But now, we are continuing that storyline right here, right now, in a 1v1 with India's best sniper and COD Mobile's best trash talker. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Start whenever. Start whenever. The entire YouTube chat is spamming 7-0. The entire YouTube chat... TikTok obviously is banned in India, so <laughs> there's nobody in TikTok from India spamming 7-0. But let me tell you, TikTok, the entire YouTube chat, that's all it is. That's all it is. It comes down to this, though. The continuation of the storyline, East versus West. Veg versus a bees. 0-0 zero, zero on the board. It's free for all on Nooktown. Veg lands the first shot straight onto a bees. I feel like there might be some body shooting. There might be some emoting. There might be some freaking shooting in the sky done by Veg in this game. Depending on how he plays, shots go down. He misses that one. Abiz crucially needs to land one right here. That's exactly what he does. Let's hop on board with him as he just got the other kill. Abiz decides he wants to fist Veg. Didn't say that. Body in COD Mobile me don't clip it please please don't clip it and put it on tiktok <laughs> everyone clips it everyone puts it on tiktok one one on the board the egg versus the bees four minutes 11 seconds on the clock both players playing extremely passive they know what is on the line here they understand the gravity of this situation as Veg is able to take out god's likes very own bees one more time making it a two one Three, one, favor for Veg. This is not what I expected. Veg is not even the sniper for his own team, and he's currently winning in a matchup against godlike Abyss, the best Indian sniper of all time. I will say, Learn is his IGL, and and Learn's the best Indian IGL of all time. So may maybe, maybe Learn's the carry. We'll find that out. We'll find out if a bees can hold his very own. Every player on Godlike is sensational now at the game. I remember back in 20... It must have been 2022. They were trash. And I feel like they used that fuel to form their fire and become one of the best teams. And not every single player on that roster is amazing. Vegas spotted him across the map. He misses the shot onto a bees. Luckily lands the second one. A bees now down. 5-3. Vegas up. They currently winning. Showing North America that they are still a region that should be feared. A beast finally landing another shot right there. Five, four in favor of Veg. However, still. A beast, he's not there, bro. He spawned the other side. A beast does not know the spawn locations for Nooktown. He must not be used to 1v1ing on this map. Tries to land the shot. Misses twice in a row. Can he get the third one, though? He doesn't. Can he get the fourth? No, he doesn't. Not even able to get enough time to do it. Veg shooting bodies. Vegas said, screw you, a beast. This is my tournament to win, and North America is back on top. The only way that the Indian region can survive is if a bees comes in clutch. It's not going to happen right here. I don't think it's going to happen in this map. Veg is still shooting bodies onto a bees. This is absolutely ridiculous. Finally, a bees lands another one. There's only two kills in it. A bees could definitely make a comeback. If he gets three in a row, he will go into the lead. He just needs to watch that top window. Please, please. Oh my God, Veg seen him. Did he? Oh. <gasps> Shots go down. Let's go! A beast lands the shot for the entire country of India. All 1.337 billion 
people want to see a bees win this game for the entirety of the western region myself excluded because Listen, bro, I'm Irish. I might as well not be part of the Western region. We are completely irrelevant when it comes to COD Mobile Champs. <laughs> I don't even have a bias in this. I'm just trying to see the best snipers play. But the entire Western region, apart from me, wants Veg to absolutely dominate a beast. I just want the best storyline. I just want to be entertained on the main stage. As the shots do not go through the wall, if a beast had a shot a second earlier, he probably would have got that kill. And it looks like Veg is going for that challenge right there. But a beast decides to play the passive approach, and he might go for the... Blank? Oh my god, this is not good for a beast. Veg is gonna peek this. <gasps> oh my god, he lands it. That was very COD timing ask right there, chat. I did not think that was gonna happen in favor of Veg, but that's exactly or in favor of Bees, but that's exactly what happened. I thought Veg was gonna be able to get the kill if he just camped in the corner a little bit more. I don't think a beast would have even have peeked that corner. Could be wrong, but we'll never know. Like Kanye said, I guess we'll never know, chat. I guess we'll never know what would have happened there if Veg had held that angle. Both of them rotating around this green turquoise house. Shots are going to go down here. Both of them are going to miss. Can they land the second one? No, they can't. Both two first shots are going to miss. Veg lands the third, however. 8-7 in favor of Veg. 27 seconds on the clock. Veg is going to hide at the back of the map. That's exactly what he's going to do. Look at this. I don't think a beast is going to, going to realize what Veg is doing here. Oh my god, he didn't see him. He didn't see him. Veg's going to peek this. Yes, he is. That's going to be all she wrote. Veg wins map number one. Veg actually wins map number one, chat. Oh no. Oh no, and he's emoting. He's emoting on the side. Oh my god, emoting is not the move. He's not gonna be able to kill him. Well played. Well played to Veg. He takes map number one. I am so surprised. I am so surprised that Veg actually took the map off him. I honestly thought that Veg was going to get 2 would I thought Veg was going to lose the first two games. We wouldn't get an S&D. And Abyss would just get a quick rally straight into round number two. And that's exactly what didn't happen. As Veg is able to pick up that next first map. And we, we're going into map number two. I'm actually scared for Abyss. I'm scared for him. I'm scared, chat. Who do we think is going to win this? Who do we think is going to clutch this up? The rivalry has started and been locked in again. It's East versus West, chat. It's East versus West. I don't know. I don't know who's going to win. I have no idea. Hardpoint is a completely different game mode. If you weren't here earlier when I explained this, we picked these three different game modes because they play differently. They're all unique. FFA is a completely different play style. To how people play hardpoint 1v1s and search and destroy is vastly different in comparison to how those first two game modes play as well so i have no idea even with the first game what to base this off in terms of who's gonna win this map i have absolutely no clue shots go down from big they both miss however both miss their second shot again movement and aim coming into play right here can they land the third no they can't but a bees does big drops straight off the bat five points straight away going in the favor of a bees can he clutch up this comeback and take it to a game three on search and destroy a bees one of the best indian players in the game and definitely the best indian competitive sniper as Veg has no idea where he is a bees lands the shot but doesn't connect it there it is, a bee's picking him off again. Can he pick him apart, however, in this map number two with 23 points already going in the favor of a bee's? This kill would be huge. He lands it. This is absolutely what the Indian region wanted to see when going against Veg right now. They want to see him eliminated. They want to see him decimated. They want to see him annihilated as the shot goes down again but Veg gets the hit marker lands the second one is able to get his first points on the board in this hard point p1 bang a bees and Veg obviously both no spawns because this is a hard point ranked map also one of the favorite maps for all of comp in the history of call of duty not just in call of duty mobile i remember playing this map back in black ops 2 over 10 years ago if you guys don't know a little bit of history about me i was number one on the leaderboards back in black ops 2 if you go on to my uh history video which i uploaded about three or four years ago you will see the screenshot from back then my name was f v r g i e as the shots go down damn a beast landed another one my name was F-V-R-G-I-E because I couldn't get my second name. My second name is Fergie. I go by Look Fergie. That's why my name is Ferg. And the F-V-R-G was just to replace the E with a V because somebody had already taken the name Fergie. A little bit of history, background knowledge on me. 
Couple of shots going down there in terms of vague, but a beast is gonna take an out. And I think this is going exactly where I want it to, ladies and gentlemen, which is straight to a map three. I'm ready for it. Give me a beast. We want it. We want this map number three. Hit markers coming down in favor of both of them. It's it's wraps. A bees. A bees chat. He's back. He's back. That's exactly what we wanted. We did not want to see Vague 2 or Bees right here. We want to see this go to a game number three, a map three. Will it happen right here though? Can he get the kill? Vague is watching this rotation. He lands the snipe. Vague could make a comeback here and still get this 2-0. It's entirely possible, as Joe Rogan would say. Another snipe goes down in favor of Vague, and this is not looking good. Suddenly for a Bees, he's lost all momentum, and Vague only needs to get a couple of more kills until he actually makes the comeback and wins. If he takes him off this head glitch over there beside... The alley, it's going to be wraps. I don't know why a bees is shooting through the wall, but they glance another shot and it's not looking good for this Indian. It, the entire Indian region could fall right here in the bag of a bees. He's still going for the wall banks. I don't think this is the play chat. I think that he just needs to run in and try and get a kill. If he keeps doing this, Vague's going to know exactly where he's coming from every time because he's shooting him without knowing where he even is. He's just giving away his position. This is not what you want to do. If you're a beast, he's completely misplaying this in the second half of this map. He might even die here. Oh my god. Chat, this might be the fall of, of a beast. This might be the fall of a beast, ladies and gentlemen. It might be right here. The rivalry matchup. The matchup everyone wanted to see outside of Balor and Zeke. Oh my god, a beast finally lands a shot. He absolutely needed this. But they got a very good rotational spawn to get into the hard point again. It just comes down to this final kill. He gets it! Oh my god. A beast. I need a heart rate monitor for that match because Broski, I was palpitating. I thought you almost threw that. Oh my god, chat. Oh, thank god. I need a drink after that one. That was ridiculous. That was absolutely ridiculous, dude. The perfect song to describe a bees right here. It's Conroe Fighters. I'm feeling like a radio host. I'm feeling like a DJ. Congratulations to Abyss for winning that map. And that takes us into a map number three, which is S&D, the most intense mode, because it is the most passive. And I know what you're thinking. Why is it not aggressive? These guys are playing for $10,000. Every single decision that they make, every single shot that they hit or miss in this search and destroy matters. It could all come down to one moment. This could be a 5-4 win for all we know at the end of the day. It's search and destroy on firing range, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck to both sides, Beg and Abyss. I, I can't lie, man. It would be interesting to see Abyss win this. It would. I think the chat would explode on YouTube. I think the chat would absolutely discombobulate themselves on YouTube if a bees won this. Chat saying 5-0. This is, in my opinion, God's Like's best search and destroy map. Now, I know they 7-0'd big in the championships, but they didn't even practice Meltdown to do that. So even though it was insane, it was slightly fluky. However, when I see God Like play firing range search and destroy, it's nothing but a masterclass of professionalism and pure destruction. Will that happen here? We're yet to find out. But let's see. Vague plants the bomb. 42 seconds left in the clock here for a beast to get over there and defuse it. He's rotating around the side. Will he be able to catch Veg off guard or will Veg catch him off guard? This is a good spot from Veg right here. I like this spot, but Abyss sees him first and gets the kill. That's round number one going in favor of Abyss. Absolutely phenomenal play from both sides right there. Bomb plant comes in, but unfortunately for Veg, he's not going to be able to pull through. Chat, you guys know I love Veg. I love my man Veg. Like, we've played a try frags together. We've done multiple videos together. I invite him to loads of my personal videos. I do love my man Veg. He's the GOAT. One of the best players in the entire game. But man, would I like to see a Bees win this? I mean, come on, chat. <laughs> come 
Come on. Come on, chat. Right? Right? That's what I'm saying. Looks like a beast is rotating around the back alley. Phenomenal. Play from him. But Vague is going to catch him off guard, I think. Never mind. He's not going to go there. He's rotating the whole way back onto A. I think he'll just go straight up for the bomb plant. But what side is he going for? All right. He's, pr he's planting for toilets, which is a respectable bomb plant. Chat spamming 5-0 here. Are we going to get a throwback? History will repeat itself, question mark? Possibly. He didn't see a bees. I think a bees seen Vague right there, but Vague didn't see a bees in bottom wood. A bees rotating around for the bomb site plant. He sees the bomb, so he knows that he can get it now. Oh, Veg seen him. He missed the snipe. I don't think a bees even had a chance to snipe right there. He's on the head glitch. I think a bees could clutch this. I really do think a bees could clutch this, but no! Veg comes through off the head. Perfect shot from Veg. That's a really hard shot to hit, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got to give credit where credit is due. And Veg comes out and gives a beezy the whippity do. Round number three. Each round has a one minute counter. It's best to five. Best to five rounds. Vague, obviously still an attacker. Abizi, holding the B bomb site. We'll hop on board with him. We'll watch his POV. Have we been watching Vague this entire time? So what's Abizi up to? What's the broski playing at here? I think he's going to give Vague another free bomb plan, which I really don't agree with. Saying that. 1v1 S and D games are extremely hard to predict and play. That's what we like to see from a beast. A little kill while Vig is planting the bomb. Perfect play. Now we're going into round number four. Remember, whoever wins this map is into the next round, and whoever loses this map is completely eliminated. They're out. Gonzo, bye bye. Not to be seen or heard of again. It literally all comes down to this map. And a beast hits the jump shot. Whoa, bang! Couldn't ask for a better snipe from him. 3 1. Like I said at the start of this game, Godlike is phenomenal on this map. And I, listen, I remember watching a beast play personally on this map in Champs this year, and he was crushing it. He was absolutely dominating it. So I'm not even surprised. He is 3-1 up right here. However, Veg could easily take him off this bomb site as he smoked him off. So now Veg knows that he's going in there. Ooh. Is Veg going to push through this smoke? He is! Oh my god, that play from Veg was insane. I did not see that coming. I didn't think he was going to push through the smoke. But to be honest, that was a complete misplay from a bees. He should have planted on the other side of the bomb. That could actually be the moment that throws this entire game off. And if Veg ends up winning this map, I'm going to blame that. I'm going to blame that play of him deciding to plant on the side that Veg is obviously on. Instead of the side that would have kept him safe, regardless of the smoke. He should have kept himself safe there. I don't know what he was thinking when he decided to plant on the side that Veg spawns on. That was a complete misplay. Veg. Ooh, doesn't see him. Neither of them seen each other right there. They did not see each other. Oh, Veg's rotating around. A bees. Oh, they spotted. No way. This is it, chat. This could be the fall of a god like a bees. It could be here. He misplayed and, you know, it's all falling around him. This might be wraps. A bees might get eliminated on the main stage, chat. That would be so sad for the entire Indian region. And then for the rest of the tournament, the entire Indian region is going to watch Veg and hope for his demise. It's going to be nothing but toxicity in my chat. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. All right? Don't be toxic to your teammates, but absolutely be toxic to your enemies. Smoke goes down. I think that will uh, let Veg know where Abyss is, actually. I think he'll know exactly where he threw that smoke from. Yeah. Don't know about that play. I really don't know about that play if that was the move. It's really, it's going to come all down to tactical positioning here as a bees needs to catch Veg off guard. Whoever wins this round will win this map, I feel like. Oh my god, he doesn't have time. Veg's going to win it. Oh my god. Cat. 
Beg's going to win this game. Beg is going to win this game. I can't believe it. I actually cannot believe it. He's going to get sniped here. Beg's going to snipe him. <gasps> oh my god. Veg eliminates a bees in front of 17,000 people? Oh my god. I said it, chat. At the start of that game, I said, what did I say, chat? One moment. It would come down to one moment. And what was that moment? A bee's planting the bomb on Veg's side of the bomb site so that he could walk through and snipe him in the smoke. Completely shifted the entire matchup. A bee's, I would argue, would have won that game if he had not died there. Completely messed with his mental. He would have known that that was a mistake that he made, start questioning his decision making, and ultimately cause him the loss. Cause him the L. Chat is now spamming 7 0 who? Yeah. That is, I mean, ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put the bracket on the. As you can see, the Cracked Trophy is up on your screen as the transition effect for today's stream because everyone in this tournament is cracked and up as our first matchup for round number two. We have Rush Senpai versus Miney. This is actually two Filipino players, I believe, going up head to head in our first matchup of round two. I'm excited for it and you should be too because Miney has been known as one of the greatest snipers. He took a slight break, but now he's back to compete in this tournament and he's here to prove everyone but he's back for good. Will he prove it? We'll find out. In this 1v1 $10,000 COD Mobile tournament. Sponsored by yours truly, COD Mobile. Chat, I still can't believe it. The entire chat went silent. Wow. I mean, Abyss played well, but... He threw. He did. It's unfortunate. It, it, it is. It is, chat. It just is unfortunate. Miney has joined the room. I don't know why he's in spectator. <laughs> India on top 7-0. Chat, shall I? Uh, I guess it wouldn't really be. Uh, maybe. We'll discuss it. We'll discuss a uh, a godlike versus old luminosity roster rematch. How about that? Does that sound like a W to you guys? Sounds like a W to me. Either way, well played to both of those players in the last match. Unfortunately for the entire Indian region, Veg comes out on top and absolutely obliterates in that final round. We're ready to go when um, Madman picks the map, and it looks like it's going to be shipment for this first map. Free for all on shipment. A glorious map for a 1v1. Definitely movement coming into play here. And you guys all know that Miney was known for movement back in 2022, 2021 era of COD Mobile. So it'll be interesting to see if he can come through in 2024. Maybe one of the best movement snipers. This is one of the hardest maps to win, I would say, if you're not extremely skilled. The best players win these maps. However, we did see from Rush Senpai the last time he played this in the tournament that actually playing effectively up top works really well as well. So it'll be interesting. W Veg love from India. Wow. W India for supporting Veg. Wow. Well played. All right. India showing support towards Veg. I guess we all gotta be friends now, right, chat? Miney's inside the crate. He was just started. Nobody got to kill off the bat. Miney finally. Wait, 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 wait. What was that, Miney? Did you just inspect your gun? Also, why he doesn't have any skin in his tundra either? Everyone seems to be using the spear today. Miney looking good on the movement side of things. He's gonna inspect the spear. Go for the 360. Doesn't hit it. Gets sniped by Rush Senpai. If you've never heard of Rush Senpai, he's pretty big on YouTube and TikTok. He gets another snipe onto Miney. 
Two in a row. This is going to be bad for the mental health of Miney right here. He, he gets sniped again. It's going to be... Chat. Chat. This is not good. This is not good for Miney. Three in a row from Rush Senpai right here. Veg tweeted out that he beat. No, he didn't. Oh my god. Nice shot from Miney, though. No way. Right, I'm going to check this real quick, chat. I will keep you guys... Chat. Veg tweeted out. A godlike player. <laughs> Holding the L. West is best, east is ass. GG's. What do we have to say about that? That's what Veg tweeted. I mean, it got 100 likes in four minutes. That is absolutely ridiculous. I'm, I'm going to say no more. I just had to bring it up. That's what Veg said. The quite... But hold on, hold on, chat. East is still in this tournament. East is still in this tournament, chat. There is still potential for East to take this win. I mean, we've got multiple Filipino players in here. We'll count Miney as a West player because he technically lives in the UK. But he is actually part Filipino, if not full Filipino. Let's get back into the game. 6-3 in favor of Rush Senpai. Just had to bring up what Vig tweeted so that everyone knew he was being a goofball. In favor of Rush Senpai. Dutch are going down. Both sides. Whoa! Rush Senpai. 7-3 against Miney. This is a complete dismantle of Miney's movement tactics. We all know Miney is a movement player and Shipment is a movement map. But the way that Rush Senpai plays the 1v1 is just completely different. It's just vastly different to what everyone's used to. He plays it super passive in free-for-all. And I'm personally, I'm not against it. There's $10,000 of prize pool on the line. So it completely makes sense why he would do this. But no, it seems like Miney almost knows what he's playing like. And trying to use this play style to his advantage to rush in super fast, get info and get the snipe. Because Rush Senpai can't react quick enough. 8-5 in favor of Rush. Rush is cooking. Chat has now called him Camp Senpai. Rush from Philippines. Miney from the UK, but has got Filipino heritage. Bang, shot goes down. It looked like a hit, but it didn't. 9-5 in favor of Rush. The first map is looking like it's going to go in his side, in his favor. Ridiculous. Did not expect that whatsoever. My name a little scrum dilly. I'm just pog champ shots goes down and it looks like that's all she wrote for map number one. W Ferg L Veg. I am not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything, bro. All right. I just, listen, listen. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. All right. I'm, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Unfortunately, Miney's going to lose map number one. We're going to be taking it into hard point, which is the most aggressive mode out of, out of all of them because they have to get in the hard point. That's all that matters is the points in the hard point. It doesn't matter about kills. You can get zero kills as long as you get 100 points first. This is going to be the most aggressive hard point. I think we'll probably see because Miney's in it. I, I don't know. It'll be an interesting play. Sleepy, what's up, dude? <laughs> Chad's saying rematch. Camp Senpai, all right! Camp Senpai it is. Chad, they're both Filipinos. Right here. Here it is, the Filipino. The fatherland of the Philippines. Hard point on slums. We've seen a very good match of this earlier today. But will we see a very good match of it here right now? It is yet to be found out. First hard point. Obviously, everyone knows where that is. If you play ranked, you will already know. If you don't play ranked, then you definitely should because ranked is by far the most competitive game mode in this game called Mobile. Speaking of Cod M, this is actually sponsored by Cod M. I went to them and I said, listen, there's a bunch of beef in the community. I need $10,000 to host a tournament. And they were like, we got you. So that's exactly how this came to fruition. Shout out to Cod Mobile for allowing this to happen. I don't think Miney knows where he is. He has no idea. 
Couple of points going in the way of Rush Senpai. Mine is going to get shot from behind right here. And dude, this could be a 2-0 victory in favor of Rush. Literally, the different style of play could come into Rush's favor and win him. This Not only this matchup between Mighty, but the entire tournament. Because nobody else is playing the same way that Senpai plays. The closest person to Senpai, I would say, in terms of play style, is Jesus Can Save You. He's the closest. Slightly passive. Not as passive as Rush, however. Rush really is picking angles and playing for those. Ooh, 360, Broski? Oh my god, shoot the body? We like that, Miney. Oh, hell yeah. That's what we like. Love to see a little play like that. Aggressive play, movement play, bad manners play, toxic play. But speaking of plays, it looks like Rush is going for the backwards behind play. And he might be able to land that shot. Never mind, man. He dodges it. Luckily for him with that movement, he's going to land this shot possibly, potentially. No, he's not. Who's going to land it? The movement's coming out from both players right here. Miney secures it. Now in the lead, shoots the body even more. The bad manners from Miney here against his fellow Filipino brother. For everyone wondering in the chat, yes, King has made it into the second round. I've seen it a couple of times on TikTok. King is still in this. Whether you're watching on TikTok or YouTube, He's still here. Make sure to hit that follow and subscribe button if you haven't already. Miney being dominant in this hard point. Obviously, this mode fits his playstyle way more than Rush Senpai's because it's a far more aggressive mode when it comes to sniping. Shots go down. Hit marker in. Can he land the second? No, he can't. Contest comes through from Senpai. Now he needs to rotate into the next hard point. Miney's going to get a terrible spawn. And Rush Senpai will be able to get some free B rotational points here going into the next hard point P3. Fantastic. He's in there chilling. Gonna get a lot of points here, actually. Probably around 10 points, if I'm not mistaken. Unless Manny can hit that shot. No, that's a free 10 points in the way of Senpai. No shot getting hit right there for Manny until the very end. Unfortunately, Senpai hit a hit marker. And Manny's trying to predict where he's gonna spawn. Senpai, unfortunately, spawns in a different location. But Manny's gonna be ready. He's gonna rotate, wait for it, see where he's from. I think he just heard his footsteps. He did. Shots go down for both players. Nice. Senpai able to pick up the retaliation kill onto Miney. And now it's 61-42 in favor of Miney. The wall bind doesn't come through, but who can land this? It's Miney once more. Getting some more points. This will be another 10 in favor of him. If he lands this shot, it will be absolutely huge. He's not able to. Miney just threw so many points. So many. And now it looks like Rush Senpai is going to get a full 10 points when it comes to... To the final moments of this hard point. Miney's rotated into the next one. Rush waiting. <laughs> waiting for the points to run out. Miney waiting for Rush to push him. Bang. Hit marker. Wow. I'm surprised by that. A hit marker with the Locust from Rush Senpai. I mean, the, the, the Locust is not the gun you want to be using. Everyone needs to use the Tundra. You want to use the best sniper in the entire game right now when it comes to bolts. And that's the Tundra. That's the one you want to be using. I don't know why he's using... The Locust. I, I, I can't quite wrap my head around it. Shots coming down from both players. Miney finally picking up the kill. Movement coming into play right there. The aggressive sniper showing what he's made of. Can Senpai hit him through the wall? He's not even going to go for it. I don't know why. He probably should have tried to at least do it. As Miney's looking right at him. The shot comes down from Rush Senpai. Able to land it. This is a very close game. This might be our closest game yet. Rush still getting the strap time in this hard point. 18 seconds left of it. Miney finally goes in. Whoever gets this kill is going to be in a huge advantage. It's going to be Senpai. Oh my god. Is that Miney eliminated? I think it might be, ladies and gentlemen. Miney's going to be kicked out of the competition and another Filipino player falls. However, this time it's going to be to a fellow Filipino player. 95 on the board for Rush Senpai. Shot comes in from Miney. That was a beautiful play right there. Predicted what side he was going to go for. And it looks like he's going to spawn in the exact same area. Miney cannot afford even one death here. If he wants to stay in this entire competition. I don't think that he's seen Rush Senpai right there. He heard the shot go off. Is he going to get the kill? I don't think so. This is going to be a close one. He doesn't get the kill. And that's it. That's it, chat. Miney gets eliminated by Daddy Rush. Complete upset in hardpoint. The aggressive game mode goes to the passive player or the formerly known as passive player, Rush Senpai. And that is Miney completely out of the competition.
completely eliminated. That is something I did not expect to see this early on in the competition, but I'm going to go ahead and pull up the bracket so that you can see who is moving next. Keep in mind, I don't think that the mic or volume works on the bracket page, but you can just check it for a second. If you're wondering why the tournament trophy is cracked, it's because every tournament player in this is cracked. Dog Arena versus King's Play in this next upcoming matchup. King had the best comeback out of anyone, out of any match, and Doggo had the most dominant performance when it comes to playing against anyone, in my opinion, in round number one against Dozzy. You've seen who has played and you've seen who has been eliminated thus far. Mandy just got eliminated. We'll update the bracket at the end of this round being round two you've seen all of the players i'll show the bracket after each game so that you guys can keep updated if you don't take a screenshot probably much better for you to take a screenshot of the map just so it's easier for you to follow along but as for now we've got nuke town russia doggo the most dominant player thus far in the tournament versus king the person who created what was the best comeback in the entire tournament outstanding plays from both players very, very good. Doggo. Opting for the head glitch right here. Can he make something happen? No. King Plays is going to get the first entry frag. And that's going to waver mental anguish towards Doggo's confidence. King obviously feeling super confident after his major comeback. Our fellow Nigerian brother. All the Nigerians in chat want to see King win this. The entire African continent by his side. Looking absolutely dominant. We're rocking with King. But we're also rocking with Doggo as he's proved once before. And there again with that snipe that he's one of the best sniper players in the entire game. Voted for by you guys across Twitter, YouTube and TikTok. Oh my god. 2 for 2 A little wall bang there on Kingaroo. King. Now behind Doggo. Doggo doesn't know he's there, which could spell disaster. He doesn't know which side he's on. He's guessing. King playing this very passive, looking like Rush Senpai right now. He needs to be aggressive around this corner or Doggo's going to take him out. Never mind. He rotates back. Both players playing extremely passive. It's 2 2 on the board. It's a complete tie. This is North America versus Africa. In terms of region. And it looks like King is getting flanked by Doggo. He has absolutely no idea that this is about to come. King turns around right on time. Who's going to land the shot first, however? None of them have landed either of their first two shots. Can either of them land the third, however? Yes, they can. It goes in the favor of King Plays. Fantastic play by both individuals right there. As King has now got a slight lead. And in my opinion, is going to start playing extremely passive. Both of these players know the best strategy for this mode. And unfortunately, a hit marker comes through there on to Doggo from King Sniper. That is so, so unfortunate for the entirety of the Nigerian region. Because that would have put King two kills ahead. And that would have mean that he could camp at the back of the map for the remainder of the tournament. Match. It looks like they're both still playing extremely passive. We guessed it. It's going to be more so like this throughout the tournament unless we get somebody a similar play style to Miney to really be the aggressor. King might get pushed here. They just missed each other. There he is. King seen him. Just the boy had that POV angle. And now for the rest of this matchup, we're going to hop on board with King's POV to see just how he's dominating in this Nooktown Russia free-for-all. Doggo right beside him in the downstairs portion of the house. He's moved upstairs, however. I think he's seen King. He did. That's 4-3 still in favor of King. Who's going to land these shots, though? There's only 1 minute 55 seconds left on the clock. It does come down to this match. Who will get the confidence builder? The momentum going into game number two. Shots go down. Both of them miss the same shot. Can they land the second? No, they can't. Doggo misses. King still hasn't shot. Doggo gets a hit marker. And it looks like King is still not going to land a shot. Both of them are going to miss right here. Doggo gets the retaliation shot. 
And now it's 4-4. Even Stevens tiebreaker situation. 1 minute 20 on the clock. Nook time Russia. Wow! I did not expect him to get him off that head glitch. All right. King Plays, you are a better player than what I expected. I have to be honest. King Plays is definitely showing that the African region needs to be able to participate in COD Mobile Champs. Absolutely. Showing the Nigerians that they can compete. I remember back in the day, the Nigerian region and the South Africa server were on my server. The EU King picking up another three in a row from him. And there were some great players in there. Back in the day. I mean, come on. He deserves it, chat. He absolutely deserves to just emote. Without a doubt. I mean, Doggo knew he was there. But I, I, it's just not going to happen, chat. It's just not going to happen. Doggo's not going to win this. King is just going to watch the kill cam. Doggo's running across the entire map. He's not even playing. King's not even playing anymore. Oh my god. This could actually... King's BM could come back to haunt him. King's BM could come back to haunt him. No. Doggo doesn't have the time. Doggo's in the wrong spawn point and King's just going to camp there. He doesn't have the time to get across the map right now. There's only three seconds left. He's right around the corner. That's going to be all she wrote for map number one. And King takes it. Fantastic play from King right there, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic play from King. Well done. The Nigerian brother. Good job. But we're going to go into map number two, which is going to be Hardpoint. A little bit more aggressive when I say a little bit. I mean a lot a bit more aggressive than the previous uh, mode. Because you have to get in the Hardpoint. The kills don't necessarily matter. What all matters is the points that you get inside of that HP. We're playing it on Firing Range. The map of choice. I'm ready for it. Kings. I mean, King insulted him. Absolutely insulted him. After this matchup... We do have Zeke versus Ganth. That is going to be a rivalry for the century. The Brazilian worth a million or the person that took down Balor. However, now we're back into game number two. Round two. Match two. No way you shoot him across the map. No way he shoots him across. Ooh, I thought he was going to try and wallbang him there. That would have been insane. King versus Doggo. Oh, King was AFK there for a second. I wonder what he was doing. Picking a different sniper, I think. Man, then, can you just check on board with King that he's okay? It's a little weird. Yeah, Vig, I, I talked about your stream on, uh, or your tweet on stream. Don't worry, bro. I can't bring it up because I'm using a new PC and I don't have it set up in this PC to, like, show a, a thing. And every time I change stuff, it, like, breaks my audio. But we talked about it a lot. So we did. First kill coming in favor of Doggo. Okay, King is back. King is playing yet again. I wonder what he was doing. He must have been changing sniper. Let's hop on board. See what sniper he was using. Has he changed? Nope. He's using the DLQ. Doggo has full hardpoint control here. That was a miss. That was a very bad miss. That might be the moment right here for Doggo to take this hard point. Doggo is a very good aggressive sniper. And I don't see King making a comeback here, chat. I really don't see it. I just don't see it happening. The shots are coming down. 30 E and O right now. This is looking like a yikes, ladies and gentlemen. It's looking like a yikes. I don't think King has got this. He does get the kill. The 40-0 comeback would need to happen. We have said before, and we'll say it again, that King is the comeback king. That might be just where his name comes from. Just being one of the greatest comeback players when it comes to hardpoint. But we'll, we'll, we'll see when it comes to playing against Doggo. Doggo is definitely 100% playing way better than I expected him to in this tournament. He's dead again. King, unfortunately, dying once more. And this is definitely going to go for an S&D matchup. We're absolutely going to be going into Search and Destroy. Without a doubt. There's no other way to put it. Oh. Oh. He's dead. Yep, I knew it. Doggo's just watching every single angle perfectly. It's like he knows exactly where he is. And I don't think that King is going to be able to make this comeback, chat. I know he did it before, but it's Doggo. Doggo is the most dominant player in the tournament so far. 
He might have done it to Dalsy, but Doggo? Or it, but King? Oh. Oh dear. I don't think it's gonna happen here. I don't think King, yeah. King might have made that comeback, but he's not gonna be able to do it against Doggo. There's no way. There's not absolutely not a chance. Yep. I know he got a kill, chat, but I just I don't have faith in him right now, man. Like I love King, but it's 85 to 15, bro. Like, what more do you want? I don't need to say anything more than that. He's gonna die right here. That's him. He's dead. He's dead. Like, yeah. Chat. It's going to a, a map three. It's going to a map three. Doggo's taking it with the hard point. I mean, I'm not surprised because Doggo's a very good aggressive sniper. The hit marker comes through. It's no, you're not going to kill him. No. Yeah. There you go. Doggo wins in a very dominant fashion, chat. That was a very dominant fashion. We haven't seen that since Doggo played last. And he played round one when he beat Dossie. We haven't seen such a dominant performance since then when it comes to hard point. I'm not sure what King was doing there. I really don't know what he was doing. It felt like he was not firing on all cylinders. Not firing on all cylinders whatsoever, chat. Which is I mean, it's sad to say the least. He should have put up a little bit more of a fight. A 3KD comes in from Doggo. And we're going to be going to Summit Search and Destroy. Which is actually where King beat Space. Can he beat Doggo though? Put your votes in the chat. Put your votes in the chat. <laughs> My girlfriend left me food outside chat, but I don't want to eat it on this stream because I want to just like watch. You know what I mean? I don't even want to eat, bro. I just want to watch and enjoy it. We haven't had one of these like community events where you have the best, biggest, and brightest creators compete against each other in over a year. All I want to do is watch it, Brisky. All right, this is it. The decider. Game three of this matchup in round two, match two. King plays versus Doggo. Ladies and gentlemen. King is down beneath him. Doggo's winning, says chat. TikTok, what do you guys think? Thank you for the uh, cap, the gun thing. No, money gun. Ooh, the mom might be planted here by King. Never mind, he's not going for it. He's going to rotate around the map. Oh, Doggo's seen him. Whoa, Doggo had the advantage in everything there. Oh, you mad, man, for putting a vote up in the YouTube chat. Let's go, we love that. Hit the subscribe button, hit the follow button. You already know, chat. Uh, Sersky. Yeah, Sersky. New round. King up one zero. He did win summit before. Can he win it again and take down Doggo? That would be an upset. If King takes down Doggo, that would be a huge upset. A huge upset. He spotted him. Doggo just seen King right there. I don't think King knows that Doggo's looking at him. I don't think he knows that he's around there. He has absolutely no idea. This could wreak havoc for King's success. He's rotating. He might be able to hit this. What in the blank scope was that? Oh my god, chat. What? There's no shot. There's no shot he hit that. Damn. All right. Well, I guess he's the goat. What the heck was that? It's not as good as Borg's kill, but it's up there. King, go into the other bomb site. Doggo knows he's going there. Nope, he doesn't. Oh. Oh. Okay, Doggo. He's checking it. Doesn't see him. Has no idea where he is. He's looking down below. Has King made any noise? That was COD timing. Whenever you get killed like that, you just gotta pray to the COD gods so that it doesn't happen again. He was looking right at him, turned away as soon as he peeked. King got the kill. 2-1 in favor of the Nigerian GOAT. <laughs> this could be the next North American player to get dropped from the $10,000 tournament. All right. Looks like King's is lower. Might go for a bomb plum here. I wouldn't advise it. King's seen him, right? Yes, he did. Oh my God. 3-1.
Is King really going to take down the most dominant player in the tournament thus far? He's going to have the best comeback and he's going to take out the best player so far? All I'm saying is, Nigeria usually doesn't get invited to events. I decided to invite them to events. And now they're performing on the main stage in front of tens of thousands of people. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Can he continue to perform? Doggo going for the bomb plan. How can he not hear footsteps? They have dead silence on. You can only hear footsteps when they're running. So if they're not running, you can't hear their footsteps. You can't hear them at all. The snipes go down. Doggo doesn't land it. King doesn't land it either. Doggo's going to go ahead and go for the plant. King is going to go for the peak. I don't think he's seen him right there on that plant. He doesn't land it. Damn, that would have been a crucial snipe to land. If he had landed that snipe, he would have won that game. He would have been 4-1 up. There's no way Doggo would have been able to come back from a 4-1 deficit. And it looks like King is going to get sniped going around this corner. Neither of them land the shot. That was a superb peak by King. An absolutely monstrous peak by King. I think he's going to die here still, though. Both of them missing shots. Movement and aim coming into play here. And Doggo finally aims it up nicely without using movement at the end just to guarantee himself that shot. Obviously, in my opinion, it, aim is over movement. Not that movement doesn't mean anything. I, but at the end of the day, you're using a gun. So if you can hit the shot straight away, you're going to kill him. And that's all that really matters right here. 1v1 S&D on Summit. One of the hardest S and D one v one maps to play. There's so many different variables. King plays. What are you up to, buddy? What are you up to? Oh, you're coming down back around. You might be able to get the kill here on him. Oh, he didn't go for the flank, as you can see on the map at the bottom left, right there. He was right behind him, and he decided not to peek. This round is massive. Oh, and it's gonna go the way of Doggo. Doggo now has the momentum, and is tied with King. So I would say that Doggo is in the best position to win this map, unfortunately for King. I would love to see King win and bring Nigeria into the next round, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen, Africa. I don't know. It's not looking likely. Okay, Doggo's going to go for the fast plant here, straight away. King has no idea where he is. He's actually looking at the other bomb completely opposite side of the map. Bomb has been planted. Now Doggo has an extreme advantage. King, you need to land this shot. If you want to stand a chance at winning this game, you have to land this shot. The shot doesn't come in. Doggo takes him out. Nigeria could fall here, chat. Nigeria could fall on the main stage, chat. Against Doggo. No shot. Not with King. Surely not, chat. Surely he doesn't lose. Four rounds in a row. Oh no, it's, I don't want to watch it. I can't even watch this. I can't even watch this chat. Oh my god, he missed. He missed it. It's over. It's over! King misses on the main stage. And the win goes to Doggo. Wow. Wow. I did not expect that. I thought that King was really going to close that out there in the middle of that game. But unfortunately for him, Doggo clutches up, closes out, and King is eliminated out of the game entirely. R.I.P. to King, chat. R.I.P. to King. Performed amazingly for his country being Nigeria and also his region being Africa. Well played to King. Thank you for joining the tournament. But unfortunately, you're done. Eliminated, chat gone doggo did an extremely good performance there towards the end of that super well, well done to him honestly one of the more underrated players in this tournament is doggo and to be honest so was king so it was fun to watch them both play unfortunately for king he's eliminated nigeria is proud of you king i hope that uh you have a great rest of your day you probably won't because you lost i know what i would be feeling like if i lost but really did thanks for participating in this and if we host another one chat we'll make sure to invite king back Oh my god. As if it couldn't get any better, chat. It's Ganth versus Zeke. As if it couldn't get better. We got the Brazilian worth a million and a player that took down the best flicker in all of COD Mobile being Balor, aka Zeke. Ganth v Zeke. Who's gonna win? Mad Nan, feel free to put a new vote on the YouTube chat.
as did this is going to be an interesting one it is chat it's going to be an interesting one to see who can come through and pull this w out of the bag it really is we've got free for all and kill house i think that zeke might have this i think zeke is a good kill house sniper i love ganth but i feel like zeke might have this oh my god they spawned right in front of each other they are right in front of each other chat Thank you to everyone who subscribed and became a follower today. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Ferg fam. Much love. We've done these before, so if you're new here, we've done... Ooh, Gantz, going off to a great start. We've actually done three 1v1 tournaments before. This is the fourth one, and it's also the biggest of all time. There's never been a, a community-held tournament as big as this. Maybe the Dog versus Ferg. Yeah, the Dog versus Ferg was definitely bigger. Um, but, like, from just a creator-led event, this is the biggest ever. Zeke, the other side of the map. They're not moving. They're not moving, chat. You know this is going to happen. When there's this amount of money on the line, you know they're going to be playing their best. Come on. Hit your shots. Gans, hit your shots. Zeke, hit your shots. They're both missing. Both missing back to back. Damn! All right. Oh! shot too early did you see that he shot like a millisecond too early for the spawn trap i think zeke's gonna put him in it i think zeke's gonna put him in the blender oh he watched the kill cam so he didn't spawn right where zeke was looking that was a good play by gant if you don't know it's really easy to spawn trap in this map which is exactly why we put it in the rotation of map pill because we wanted to see a couple of people trying it out another excellent snipe no he hit mark with the spawn trap chat from an excellent snipe to a hit marker. That's got to be absolutely soul destroying there from Ganth. Absolutely soul destroying for the for the main Brazilian worth a million. Woo! Using the head glitch to his advantage, chat. We love to see it! Oh! Finally, the spawn trap comes in! Well played to Ganth. 5-1 in favor of the Broski. The Brazilian worth a million. Boom! Oh! Oh! All right, let's hop on board with Zeke. We've watched Ganth the majority of this game. We'll give some love to the Filipino Slayer. The player that took a slight break from 1v1s, but now he's back with the dawn of this tournament. I'm so happy we got so many amazing players in this. I was worried when I, when I announced it that we weren't going to get as many amazing players as we did, but we really pulled through and got so many clutch participants wow another jump shot head glitch kill he's not set him up for the spawn trap here unfortunately Ganth, right beside him what are you gonna do here Zeke, the ball's in your court Ganth is moving around like crazy Ganth really is moving around like crazy the shot goes down zeke misses it can Ganth hit it no he can't neither of them hitting the shot right here zeke is gonna reload Ganth might hit this nope zeke gets a hit marker though Shots go down again. My gosh, dude. Chat. I, like, I haven't felt this happy watching COD Mobile in a long time. Like, this, I know we're still... Oh, no! He choked that so badly. No way. Ah, oh, Zeke, that was a throw. But honestly, chat. What? Oh my god, he got him twice! Spawn trap back to back as Zeke is clutching onto dust! That was absolutely incredible! Wow! Did Gantz might win this entire thing? Forget, forget India! Forget North America! Brazil? Brazil? Put him on the pro team! Sign him up with Lucasin! Get him in champs! Holy! Gant doesn't miss! Come on. They're playing passive. Gant knows he has the advantage here, ladies and gentlemen. He knows that he can win this without needing to push anymore. He already done and dusted him. Zeke clutching, trying to grab whatever straws he can to make a comeback. Oh, oh, oh. And it's not going to happen. Gant's going to hit this. Unbelievable shot from Gantz. Out of the sky. Bro shot Zeke 
in the heavens and brought him back down into hell. But can he hit this final shot to secure a 10-6 victory? Zeke, it's wraps for you, map number one, bro. You're never, never winning this. Ganth, unless you get him in the spawn trap right here, Zeke, there's absolutely not a chance you win. Oh my god, he got him in the spawn trap. Oh my god, no way. Oh my god, he spawned in and he ducked. Oh my god, it's going to a tiebreaker! It's a tiebreaker situation! We gotta run it back! For the first time ever in this tournament, we're going to a tiebreaker 1v1 rematch in free-for-all. The first time ever we have to run back a map of free-for-all. It has never happened before. Zeke somehow clutched it for the Filipinos. Ganth, I mean, bro. You had that, brother. Hi. How did you throw it? Damn. Right, run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back, chat. Run it back. Come on, chat. Run it back. I'm ready. Rematch. Rematch it. Full rematch. Ten. First to ten. Again, we're running it the whole way back. <clears throat> run it 10, 10 kills, Madman. 10 kills. Just run it completely back. That is insane. They were 9-9. Nine, nine. All right, chat. Here it is. We're running it back. This is the first ever, the first ever rematch. Thank you, Noman, for the 20 gifted, by the way. Appreciate it. Daniel as well. Thanks for becoming a member. But like I was saying, chat, this has been the happiest I've been watching COD Mobile in at least a year. This has been so fun to watch this because there's so many personalities, so many great players participating in this. Like everyone really came together and said, let me hop in. Let me let me prove why my region is one of the best. Dance, obviously, -wee! promoting Brazil to the main stage. He's trying to make sure he doesn't spawn their heat. Oh my God, this is it. He might get put in the blender here. He's not. Zeke didn't get the spawn trap on him fast enough. And it looks like Gantz is going to get the retaliation. Can Gantz get the spawn trap onto Zeke? The shot comes down, but it doesn't hit. It does not land, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 in favor of Zeke. Both of them are going to go for the spawn traps here. If either of one of these guys get the kill. Spawn trap's coming in. Here it is. Bang! Hit marker. Unfortunately, not able to confirm the kill. Gantz trying to get the spawn trap straight out of the bat. So was Zeke, but both of them messed it up. This is why this map is so entertaining to me. A lot of people say that they don't like watching this, but I love it. Having that knowledge of knowing where people are going to spawn and setting yourself up precisely where you need to be in order for them to spawn there is a different level of skill, ladies and gentlemen. It's a different level of knowledge. Only the best players in the entire world know this stuff. Zeke and Ganth now looking for each other again. Zeke one kill ahead of Ganth. Three minutes, 42 seconds left in the clock. It looks like Zeke is going to kill Ganth from the side unless Ganth turns on him. Oh my god. When you talk about world star? Well, that is what you're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Ganth absolutely folds him. Completely annihilates him. Obliterates him. Discombobulates him. Shot goes down again. Neither of them land. It looks like Zeke is pushing up the right-hand side of the map into wood. Ganth, if he shot through that wood right there, he'd be able to get the kill. It would be absolutely phenomenal. But it looks like Zeke's going to pick this up. Yep, I knew that. Zeke knew exactly what he was doing that time because Ganth has been there for two kills in a row. And he knew that he could just bang! Take him out of the window. Ah, too late, too late. Yes, thanks for the 10 gifted members. I appreciate it. Much love. Ladies and gentlemen, Zeke now playing a passive approach. Both of them playing passive. They both know they've got four kills on the board. Neither of them want to push this. Brazil versus Philippines. Tundra v Tundra. Ganth using his favorite little skin. For it. Bang. Shot goes in. Ganth picks it up before Zeke can confirm it. 5-4 in favor of Ganth. Doesn't hit the shot, however, as he's... Wow. Off the head glitch. Through the stairs. Phenomenal shot from Zeke right there. Ganth is going to die here again. Zeke has the advantage. He's going to shoot him from the side. Yeah, there, there it is. 6-5 in favor of Zeke. Ganth, unfortunately, losing out here massively. By holding the same spot and not looking at other angles, it might be his downfall. That little pallet box might be the reason why he loses this because he's too... 
Oh. <sighs> He's just too used to using it, and it's going to kill him. Unfortunate, not going to get the shot inside of wood. He could try again. He could try again here, shoot him inside of wood. He doesn't see his gun. Gant's not able to predict where Zeke is right now. Zeke is going to get out of there. And so is Gant. They're both moving around. Shots go down. Gant's finally able to secure a kill. It's been a long time as he hits the spawn trap. Gant, can he put Zeke in the blender? No, he misses the next spawn trap kill. Shots come down. Zeke retaliates. Seven, eight in favor of Zeke. Zeke doesn't get him in the spawn trap either. Luckily for Gant. Looks like Zeke loves that wood area. Oh, he spotted him. Oh, Zeke definitely plays this way differently. And it's definitely working out in his favor. It's looking like Gant has lost this game. After it seemed as if he was going to win the entire thing, Zeke is now emoting it across the entire map. Misses an easy kill. Doesn't get the read of where Zeke's going. Ladies and gentlemen, um, the Brazilians aren't going to be happy about that one. I'll tell you that. The Brazilian worth a million. I mean, the kill, the shot he could have got from behind right there that he missed. That's going to rub some people the wrong way. I'm not going to say anything. I love the Brazilian community. All love here, but... Uh, I'm going to let chat handle that. I'm going to let chat handle it. Hardpoint Shithouse is our next map. We're running it back instantaneously, chat. Instantaneously. Yes, sir. Hit that follow and subscribe button. You already know the vibes. Zeke versus Ganth. This is now map two. Whoever wins this will decide the fate of the other person. If Zeke wins, Ganth is eliminated from the competition. This was a very close matchup. The closest so far. Out of any of them. Almost rivaling that of King and Spears earlier today. We'll see how this match plays, though. Gant missing his shot. Zeke is going to get a hit marker right there. Damn! That's unfortunate for Gant. He's going to fall straight off the bat, and it looks like a Brazilian worth a million might fall down at the start. Not good. He's dead again. Zeke able to clutch up two early kills against Gant and get at least 25 points on the board. I don't think this is good, chat. It's not looking good for Ganth here. Bang! Finally lands a shot. 28 points, 2-0. Can he secure anything? You need another kill here, Ganth. Ooh. Yes! The turn on comes through. World start on to Zeke. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen. Shots are going to come down. Shots do come down. Gant gets the hit marker. He doesn't need to challenge that right now. He can just play the time. Get a couple of time. Get some seconds on the board. Zeke has decided to rotate, which is definitely the right idea here. He's going to be able to land a shot onto Zeke, though, off the heady. That's the question. Bang. Shot doesn't come in. Doesn't land it. Looked very close, but isn't able to get it. Unfortunately for him. Zeke poo. Ooh, all right, Gans. Okay. You like that? Let me get the second one, though. He needs to win this game in order to get a chance to even participate in the S and D match, which would be the best of three. He has to win this chat as he's finally made the comeback. Oh, Zeke peaked as soon as he moved away. That's some COD timing for you. That was terrible, Gans. You should have hit. You should have shot your bullet. Not shooting right there is going to really ruin his lead. Absolutely destroys his lead, actually. Completely obliterates it. Damn, he doesn't even see him. You need to just run in the hard point. Yep, you should have just ran in the hard point and played for some time. Zeke, again, making his lead go even further. Let's hop on board with Zeke. We spent the first half watching Gantz. It's Zeke time. Bang, shot out of the air from Gantz. Now, this will be an opportunity for Gantz to make something happen. If he can go on any kind of streak here whatsoever. No, he's not. No, Zeke is going to kill him. Oh, never mind. I thought he was going to stay on that head glitch, but he still kills him anyway. This is going to put Zeke at least 15 points ahead. Minimum. 
Gant. There's nothing you can do here. If Zeke lands this shot, it's wraps for you. Nice! Gant lands it. Makes it an even closer game than it already is. This is incredibly close. Six, six in kill count. He's going to rotate around the corner. Misses the easy shot. Misses two easy shots. Gant is still somehow alive right now. All of them missing the shot. How are you still missing? Zeke finally confirms it. But that was terrible as it gave Gant a lot more time in the hill and a lot more contested time also. It looks like Gant is just going to rotate to the next hard point and not care about the uh, scrap time. Gant misses the shot. This is bad. This is bad. Gant needs to hit this. He does. Luckily for him, he lands the shot. It all comes down to this. If Zeke gets two or three more kills, he goes into the next round and Gant gets eliminated. If Gant can hold him off for just a little longer, then we will see them go to a best of three S and D. Both of them missing a lot of shots here. This is where aim comes into play with movement. There's a lot of movement being done, but not a lot of aiming being done. I don't even know what's happening right here. It looks like Zeke is just opting for the no-scope, but he's going to fall. Unfortunately for him, Gant is going to take the lead, and it looks like Gant could actually win this game. If he gets one more kill onto Zeke, he's going to be able to secure this victory, and he's going to turn around. Can he kill him? He gets the hit marker. Oh my god, that could be the feat of the entire tournament. Gant might be taken out here just because of a hit marker against Zeke. He needs to go right now. We're going to watch Gantz's POV for this. Can he kill him? He does see him. He has the hit marker again. Oh my god. That is all she wrote. Gantz loses the tournament position because of two back-to-back -back hit markers. And the Brazilian worth a million gets eliminated out of the entire event. Well played, Gantz. But unfortunately, that's going to be all she wrote. It is. You played well. You know, you had me supporting you. Jappa was supporting you. I'm sure M2 Games was supporting you. All the Brazilian creators wanted you to win. But unfortunately, on this very day, the Filipinos remain victorious. It's just what it is. It is what it is. Yusuf, thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. I appreciate you, Broski. I appreciate you. I'm going to pull the bracket up here really quick and take a drink. Um, if you guys have not seen the bracket thus far, there's going to be no audio or whatever, but you're going to be able to see the bracket for just a brief second. You can screenshot it if you want to, show it to your friends, whatever you want to do. And as you can see, it's Veg versus Jesus. As the next matchup, this is actually two North American players and will decide who from North America goes into play against the Filipinos of the next round. Mm-hmm. Interestingly enough, even though they both play for the USA, they're actually from Canada. Finally. <clears throat> this has been such a great day, chat. Well, while we're waiting for Veg to join, chat, I have to say, man... This has been nothing but fun. And if you think we should continue tournaments like this on the next Call of Duty on mobile, or run it back on this Call of Duty on mobile, then let me know in the chat. Let COD Mobile know. You know what? Type in COD Mobile, please more tournaments. Or actually, you know what? Type in Activision, please more tournaments. Please. Yeah, if, dude, if, if enough of us do it, they're going to do it. Chat, all right? If enough of us say that we want more tournaments in both Call of Duties that are on mobile, I'm not going to name the other title. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It launches on March 21st. I don't think... Actually, you know what? It appears in the game now, so it, you know what I'm talking about. But if you want more tournaments like this, we have to come together. Well, think of a way that we can do it to make sure that Activision sees it. I'm thinking, like, I'll make a TikTok saying, like, hey, guys, if this... Like, well, I'll... Mess you know what I'll do? I'll message Activision, and I'll say... How many likes for a tournament? How about that? Because they said after, this is the last one, chat. They said this is the last one. But I think if we came all together as the as the global community, we could get another. I think we could get another chat if we came together as a global community. That that means India needs to come together with North America. Brazil needs to come together with the Filipinos. The whole world needs to come together as one unit, all right? I know we're beefing. I'm not beefing with anyone. I'm Irish. We're irrelevant, all right? Irish is irrelevant. All love from Nigeria. What's up, iFlo? How you doing, man? Nice name, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure we can make something happen. We can definitely make something happen. We'll do a, a YouTube short. We'll do a TikTok. And we'll do a tweet about Activision. Please, more tournaments. 
Ever. As for now. Bang! Um, Beg, able to get the first kill onto Jesus. Is he going to be able to spawn trap him? Not likely, as Jesus spawns across the map. Across the entire map, chat. Oh. Jesus. What are you going to do here? It looks like they're both playing extremely passive. Extremely passive. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Did not expect that, chat. Did not expect that. Jesus can save you across the map. Veg doesn't know where he is. Jesus doesn't know where Veg is either. Jesus, it looks like he's trying to go for the spawn trap here, but he wasn't able to make it happen. We'll hop on board with him to see what he's able to do here. Veg's pushing around this side. Damn, the movement from Veg. That's where movement combined with aim makes the best players in the world, chat. We've said it here once and we'll say it again. You can have all the movement in the world, but if you don't have good aim, you're nothing. And you can have all the aim in the world, but if you don't move out a spawn, you're never going to win a game. And that's a fact. Jesus. Again, looking for Veg. Veg in a 3-1 tally against the broski that's meant to save you. Oh, Veg's movement here is phenomenal. I got to give it to him. I really didn't expect him to have such great movement when sniping. And he's impressed me. He has definitely impressed me. I mean, he took down the Indian sniper at bees, unfortunately, for the entire Indian reason, region. But he's been, he's been proving hitters wrong. He's been doing good. Hmm. Oh, Veg. Oh. He almost got Veg off that head glitch, but just wasn't able to secure it. Just wasn't able to secure it, dude, unfortunately. Damn. Damn. Madnan. If Bright's home, can you get him to make another thumbnail so I can post a, I, so I can post a tweet? So, like, make the thumbnail, like, best tournament of all time. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet out it. Uh, we need more community tournaments. And then I'm going to at Cod Mobile, Madman. When, when Bright's home, can you ask him to do that? I think he's already home. Let's, let's, let's make it. Let's run it up, chat. Let's run it up. Let's get it done. I might even, I might even record a TikTok live on stream chat of me, like saying, Activision, we need more. We need more of this glorious tournament atmosphere as vegas decided he wants to go straight into camp mode straight into camp mode chat oh my oh my oh dear chat what is this uh, what is this oh no like this is how lg lost in the championship buddy all right, this is how they lost. Nah, I'm just kidding. There's ten thousand dollars in the line. He can play how he wants. <laughs> ten thousand dollars. So it's coming down for both players. Jesus able to take out Veg right there and make the lead only one kill. Could go any way here. So we still have one minute twenty one seconds to play with. One minute twenty one seconds. Man, and I have our chat open. So whenever Bright makes that, um, you can just send it to me on Discord. And we'll tweet it out, chat. I think there's a possibility that Jesus makes this comeback. But what I was going to say is I think there's a possibility that we could get more tournaments, chat. I do. If there's if there's enough of us that band together for tournaments on Call of Duty Mobile and the other Call of Duty on mobile that's releasing on March 21st, I think we could get them. I think. I, I, actually, I know if there's enough community support. Woo! What a shot from Beg. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal, dude. Okay. Let's hop on board with Jesus again. This is actually a very close match. Very passive, I must say. It's being played completely differently to what we expected it to be played like um, out of previous matches. I will say, Jesus is usually performing similar to this, but Veg, on the other hand, does not usually play like this. If Veg lands this shot... Oh. Ooh. If Veg lands a shot, it's over. If Jesus lands a shot, there you go. It's over, chat. GG's. Veg takes map number one. And we're going straight into hard point. Straight away. The question is, what map is the hard point, chat? What map is the hard point, eh? Hmm? Hmm? Guess. How about you guess the map? Mm-hmm. 
Fantastic. Gameplay by both players. Let's put on the song Dreamers because, you know, we're all daydreamers. We all want to do this full time as a as a player. I'm sure everyone in chat wants to be a full time COD Mobile player. You can do it. A lot of these people in this tournament, I didn't even know existed until like six months ago. And now they do this full time. Your life can change like that if you just start uploading COD Mobile content. It could change in as short as six months. I know my life changed in as short as a day. The first day that this game launched, my life changed forever. You could do it. These guys right here were full-time. Big still full-time. I'm not sure about Jesus. I'm not sure if he's still full-time called mobile player. But Big definitely is. As we're hopping into hard point on sums. Damn. Some heat coming through for, for Vig right now. Some heat. Calling him a rat. Damn. Hey, man. There's $10,000 in the line. Let them play how they want. All right. A lot of points coming up the board from Jesus off the bat, which is good for him. Vegs trying to rotate around the side. It's not going to end up in his favor. I didn't think so. Jesus was going to know where he was because he looked at every single other angle. And the only angle he hadn't checked was where Veg was. So he had the information advantage. Played that to his knowledge advantage. And overall got the kill free B for him. Oh, Jesus has the heady right here. Can he land the shot? Doesn't look likely. It looks like Vegas going to take him out right there. 18 to 0. Now turning to 18 to what, chat? Guess. How many points is he going to get right here? Good morning, chat. Let's get this bread. What's up, Power? Thanks for the $50 donation. I appreciate it. Madnan, do you want to send some gifted members? Do we have any gifted members to send? Just since the stream has been so successful and it's been such a great environment the entire um, session. Jesus takes time, beg. <clears throat> Not sure if we have it. Ooh, actually, Madman, for the graphic, tell Zombie to send Bright the tournament, the trophy. Tell him to send him the trophy like that. You know that image I'm talking about? And put my face on it. Put my face somewhere in that image, and we'll post that and ask COD Mobile for more tournaments on Twitter. And then we'll ask him for more tournaments on TikTok as well. After this matchup chat, I think I'll record the TikTok. And we'll tag COD Mobile, we'll tag Warzone Mobile, all that stuff in the TikTok. And uh, we'll tell them. I I'm going to send it to the Activision people that I know and say, like, listen, you got to do more of these. This has to be a, a regular thing. Like, imagine, bro, imagine this became a weekly thing, bro. Imagine it became a weekly thing. Like, you've seen other games do it. Why not? Or at least a monthly thing. At le come on, a monthly thing? A monthly thing where we get the best creators and best players on the entire planet to hop on board and... And play against each other makes perfect sense to me and you know what else makes sense to me big being a phenomenal sniper big is cracked at the game moving his way up the map though jesus has advantage going into the next hard point be interesting to see if Veg can crack him out of there instantly he might be able to do it he is able to do it exactly how i expected he did a great rotation there you should definitely jot that down chat that was a very very good right 100 you should copy that Bang. Doesn't get the shot right there, but can he get the second? Jesus is on a head glitch. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to capitalize on that. Yes, he is. Jesus able to take out Beg. The battle of the Canadians. The battle of the USA teamed players. North America. Jesus turning around the corner. Oh. Oh, yes, he does. I knew it. I knew as soon as he heard Beg, he would be the aggressor, bro. Because he had the better angle. Beg was on top of a chair, and it's really weird. Like, the movement on that chair, it's grippy. It grips you, so it's hard to slide off it. Jesus just did it perfectly. <laughs> Jesus just did it perfectly. This is going to go in the way of him. Holy bro, skinny though. Looks like Jesus is going to win this game. Unless Veg has something to say about it. I mean, Veg could send him home right here and now. Right here and now, Veg could say bye-bye. Cue the looks maxing music chat. Bye-bye. Oh, shots go down. Veg, you need to land this. Veg? Veg. Veg, I expect more from you here. That was an easy shot as well. What are you doing, Veg? Bro. Somebody needs to roast him. Somebody, chat, please. Please roast him for that. What was that, Veg? What was that? You had like three shots that you could have hit right there. And you didn't land one. Are you playing without aim assist again, buddy? I heard you qualified for Masters without aim assist, but barely. There we go. That's the Veg I know and love, chat. There we are. We love that, don't we, chat? Yes, we do. 
Ooh -wee! Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Where is my phone? I gotta get ready to take my TikTok chat, don't I? I don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh god, Jesus took a mite. 91 on the board. He can't win from this hill, but not being in this hill for Veg would be detrimental. Ah, uh, yeah. Next time Jesus gets in a hill, he's gonna win. If Veg dies here at this hard point, he's lost this game and we're going to S and D. Without a die. Oh my god, Veg, Veg, he's behind you. Veg, he's behind you. He's behind you. GG's. That's it. That's it. We're going to game three. Veg, unfortunately. Choked it. Damn, if uh, if Jesus had a pick that, that would have been exceptional. That would have been exceptional for Veg to take him off that head glitch. All right, chat. Here's the plan. I'm going to find my phone. And we are going to make a TikTok. Asking for more 1v1 tournament events. All right, chat. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. We're gonna make a TikTok. Why is my phone dead? All right, start it up. Start it up. I got my phone, chat. We're good. Start it up, Brescia. Yeah. I'm charging it, chat. I'm charging it. Apparently, it was dead. I don't know why. I haven't used it today. I must have left it on a nap. <laughs> Probably TikTok. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Jesus versus Veg. Best of three. This is the last map. So whoever wins this goes through. Whoever doesn't win this is eliminated. Jesus picks up the first kill absolutely phenomenal performance from both of these players throughout the entire tournament thus far but it really all comes down to this do they get into the prize pool or do they not if they win this game they're gonna get some of that prize pool if they don't it's not looking good bruv it's not looking good bruv they don't mm -mm. yeah it's just not looking good all right Both players now camping, opting for a more passive style approach. As we've seen many times before, Jesus is taking Veg out too old fashioned. Because this could this be another sweep onto Veg? Last time it was godlike. This time, Jesus could happen. <laughs> Definitely could happen. 100%. There's a lot of haters for Veg in the chat because of the Indian region. Understandable. Have a great day. Feel free to uh, insult me for being Irish. I really could care less. I'm a potato farmer. That's all I do. I know I've got black hair, but I might as well be the ginger Irish person that plucks potatoes off the ground. Bap Jesus 3 0 Veg. What? What? Oh, W Stealth. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Stealth. We gotta make it happen. We gotta make it happen. Man, it's right here. Is he? Ah, yeah, he is here. Nice. Let's go. W. I just went into the chat. <laughs> Let's go. Three. Oh, I, there's no way. No shot. Jesus. Five O's vague, right? To eliminate him out of the competition? That would be kind of embarrassing. Actually, I don't even want to say kind of. That would definitely be embarrassing. 
that he gets the bomb. Dying Jesus now has to retake that site. He plants it for his side, which is obviously better because Jesus is on the other. Definitely needed. Who's going to hit the snipe first, though? Jesus? Oh, he smoked it. Jesus smoked it. No, my God. Oh, my God. I thought that he didn't. I thought Beg didn't see him, and I thought maybe he would wait. But 3-1. Still, Jesus with a phenomenal lead here. Let's take all this jargon off the screen and keep it just nice and flawless. He's still in the lead. Now he is the attacker. On to Veg. Veg's going to snipe him here. Yeah, I don't know what you were doing there, Jesus. That was a complete misplay. He got a little bit too confident. And now it looks like Veg actually might make this comeback two rounds in a row. That's going to do something to the mentality of Jesus. If Veg wins this round, I think Veg wins the entire game, chat. That's me personally. That's me personally, though. I think Veg makes this comeback if he wins this game. I really do. Oh. Damn! I feel like they were delayed there. Was that just me? I feel like they both looked at each other and thought, uh, do we shoot? Do we aim down our sight? Like, that's what it felt like to me. It's almost as if they were looking at each other for so long. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish there with that, but Jesus up 4-2. I think he still got it in the bag. It does look like the Indian community is going to be waving vague. Bye-bye. Ooh, nice shot. Damn! Jesus eliminates Veg to go on to the next round in this competition. I'm sure all of the Eastern region is happy right now. Philippines included, chat. Wow. Well played from Jesus. I mean, stopping the, uh, the most heated competitive player of all time, I would assume you could say. I mean, he did... Obviously, still heck out a bees, which was incredibly crazy to see. But congratulations to Jesus for stomping. Up next time, I'm going to show you the bracket real quick. There's probably going to be no audio over it, but... Uh... So as you can see, it's going to be Rush Senpai versus doggo we'll get an updated bracket for you just now madman has just sent it to me so i'm gonna go ahead and pull the bracket up there'll be no audio again i don't think you can hear me maybe you can i'm not sure either way we'll show you the updated bracket so that you can keep in line with what's actually Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen, and once again, there's a broken trophy on the stream because everyone in this is cracked. I've said it many times, this tournament, and I just want to reiterate it to let you guys know that these guys are the best snipers on the planet. On the planet. By far. You guys literally voted for them. You actually voted for these snipers. Ooh, damn. All right. I'm waiting for that social post, Madman W. Here it is. First round. This is technically the semis. Technically, chat. Everyone here right now is in the money. Yeah, Madman, we'll do third place. Okay. Let's turn this freaking music off. We need to get locked in here. This is a massive match. Doggo has been the most dominant player out of anyone in the entire tournament. Rush Senpai has the entire wave of the Filipino community standing behind him right now. So who will win? Free for all on Nook Town. Lucas Fuzzy Rabbit. Interesting skin choice. I actually kind of like it. I think it looks pretty sick. Yeah, I actually, I actually like this skin. I think it looks fire. Nice beat, nice shade of pink. It's got a cool white vibe to it. Those colors really match, work well together. But that's not why we're here today. We're here to see the best snipers play. And can he use this great skin to his advantage? It looks like it. 
Rush Senpai is actually one of the only players not using a Tundra in this tournament. Everyone else has really been using Tundras all the time. I'm not sure what his thesis was behind that or why he decided to use the Locust over the Tundra, but it's been his staple throughout the entire tournament so far. Yeah, no, Madman, you can just split it up or something. Or you can have it off. We, we can have that one off stream. All right, bang, shot across the map. Lovely flick onto Doggo there from Rush Senpai. Superb play. I think Rush just seen him right there. Oh, this could spell trouble. Yeah, that's miserable. He couldn't get behind the bus in time, of course. Doggo almost spawn trapped him there, but he looked at the wrong spawn. Unfortunate for him. 2-2 two, two on the board. 3 minutes, 30 seconds left. It looks like Rush Senpai is going to die from the side. Yes, Doggo takes him down. 3-2 in favor of Doggo. They're changing leads. All comes down to it. We just want to see how you're going to do it, Senpai. Oh, there it is. We're going on to Doggo's POV now because we've been watching Senpai for quite some time. What do you got for us, Doggo? Show us. Oh, he spotted him. He did see him. Oh, sliding around the side. Bang! Damn, Doggo's movement is unbelievable in this game. It's so fluid. Oh, well played. Okay. Oh, he spotted him. And didn't land the shot. God! Oh, really good play from Senpai. The movement from him, speaking of it, was superb. Getting on top of the car, jumping off, being able to hit him while he's jumping. All the good stuff right there. Is he camping in the corner? It looks like it. It definitely looks like it, chat. Oh, he's seen him. No, he didn't. <gasps> oh, no. Whoa, through the wall. No way. We haven't seen that on this map yet. Through the turquoise wall. That was an amazing shot from Rush. Oh, he's been spotted. Doggo, Doggo, did you not see Rush? Doggo, did you not see Rush? Oh. <gasps> I've seen him. Oh, they both spotted each other. Now, damn. Good shot at the end, but I mean, you guys are both really inaccurate there. Tried to go for the... Ooh, he almost hit the second one. Oh. These guys are getting a little bit feisty now. I like to see this. I like to see it. Hmm. Where is he? Oh. Damn, let's go. All right, doggo. Eat four. Definitely the most dominant player so far in the entire event. And I don't mean to be rude, but like he's quite small, you know? He only came on the scene a couple months ago. Some people put it in the TikToks. And I was like, you know what? We'll give him a chance. And I'm glad I did because he's absolutely smoking everyone. This is ridiculous. It's not every day you see such an underrated player actually perform against some of the most well-known names for the last four years of the game. Match one goes to Doggo. Well played. Chat, who's winning? Doggo or Rush? Who's winning it? I'm not sure. After this matchup, however, I'm definitely going to record those TikToks. <laughs> I'm definitely going to record those TikToks, dude. For sure. Are we still young? Okay. We've got Standoff Hardpoint. This is a great map. I love watching this map, especially in Sniper 1v1s. It's superb. All right. Man, then, how are we looking? Also, Mana, can you send me hashtag caught and partner again? Because my keyboard doesn't have the hashtag on it yet. I haven't put that setting on the new PC. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, chat. I'm not even kidding. Oh, Doggo hits the hit marker. Can he get the kill, though? Doesn't look likely. Rush, can you secure it? Yes, he does. All right. Doggo getting four points on the board, but Rush is about to overtake him with that kill. He knows exactly where he's spawning as well, apparently. Looking for him. Oh, he heard him. Damn, Doggo being able to kill him straight away there. Superb play by him. Let's hop on board with Doggy. Young diggity dog. Young doggo. All right, Doggo. How are we looking? What? Huh? He must have been up top and jumped down on him. Had to be done. Beautiful. Go in. Take him out. He knows where he is. Both misses. That was a really good blank shot. Really, really good there from Doggo. Impressive.
to say the least. He spotted him over there. Oh, he has. He knows where the spawn is. He's running out. I'm surprised by that. Damn, that really surprised me, Doggo's play. I feel like he spotted him because of the footsteps, but he mustn't have heard the footsteps like we heard them. Maybe in spectator footage, you can hear footsteps further away. I'm not sure. This is an interesting spot by Rush right here. He still gets killed out of it. Damn. I did not expect him to get killed off that spot. I would have never have checked that. What the frick? It's such a bad spot. So, like, why would you check it, you know? Doesn't make any sense. Woo! -wee! Oh, damn. I were talking. Ooh, good play for him. For all my TikTok creators who are watching the stream, clip this. Put it on TikTok. COD Mobile. Look how good these players are. We need more Ferg hosted community events. More Ferg hosted tournaments in our lives. We need it. If you agree, comment down below, like this TikTok or short, and send it everywhere. Okay, right, that should be good chat. We should get some, there will be some TikTokers that will clip that and putting it, put it up somewhere. Actually, there will be a lot. There will be a lot of them. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hop on board with um Rush because we've been watching Doggo for a minute. Oh, he's below him. Doggo definitely has the advantage here. Yeah, I knew it. I think Doggo's gonna win. I think Doggo has this um he just has it under under control, bro. This has been the most dominant player out of anyone that we've had in the competition so far. There's really not been a player that performs as well as him. He's just really good at sniping. <laughs> what can I say? Like, these are the best players in the world, and Doggo is still cooking him. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely outrageous. Look at it. He got the movement and everything, too. Granted, that was kind of a bad clip because he was missing. But for the most part, he's been absolutely frying. Good morning, Zakai. Hope you're having a great day. Yeah, Doggo is really good, chat. I believe we're watching Zeke after this, chat. Zeke is up next. Saying that, Doggo needs to win this game, and I think he's got it under wraps. I don't see Rush winning this. I really don't. Unfortunately. Oh. No! Oh. No! Oh. Yo! Well played, Doggo. I, like, there's not much more we can say about this guy other than that he's amazing. Oh, he's- Oh, he's trolling! Oh, he's trolling him right now. Damn! Damn, he's trolling him. Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. Oh my god, he's trolling him. Nope. Somebody needs to nerf this guy. Somebody needs to do it. Somebody needs to nerf Doggo. Absolutely. All right, chat, I'm going to make a TikTok. I'm going to make two. I'm going to tell everyone on TikTok that I'm live right now streaming the event, and then I'm going to make another one saying that they need to make a, no a new... They need to let us do it again. Okay. I'm done. You can you can start the game. I will only be like a couple minutes. Let's do this, chat. Can you guys see me? Okay, we're good. I'm live right now hosting a $10,000 1v1 sniper tournament with the biggest and best creators in the entire planet. Just click my face to join. All right. I, okay, I didn't say COD Mobile. I gotta say COD Mobile, chat. I gotta say COD Mobile. I'm live right now hosting a $10,000 1v1 COD Mobile Sniper Tournament with the biggest, the best players on the entire planet. You can join right now. Just click my name. All right. There's the first one, chat. Okay. We're cooking, chat. We gotta make sure that COD Bubble sees the value of these tournaments. Chat. 
We absolutely have to. Okay, we posted one. We posted one of them, chat. Okay, it's Jesus can save you versus Zeke. This is the second semifinals match. Doggo went straight into the finals, so he's at least won $1,500. We posted the first one, chat. Anyone who's on TikTok, go, go like it, watch it a couple times, all that stuff. I'm going to post the second one where we asked them to do more tournaments like this after this uh, shipment game. Oh my god. Okay, Jesus. All right. Chat, who's winning this? Jesus or Zeke? Jesus or Zeke? Who's winning? I don't know. I have no idea. I think that most people will say Zeke because he's Filipino. But in terms of skill, I don't know. I think this map actually fits Zeke more because he's better at movement than Jesus. But it's surprising to see Jesus 2-0 up at the start. That is... 3-0 up at the start? No shot. No shot. Right? Surely not. Okay. Damn, he should have hit that shot. Jesus should have hit that. 100%. Oh my gosh. Jesus is choking here. Surprisingly. Hit marker both ways. Jump shot it. Jump shot it. No. Playing passive now. I would do this too. He's 3 up. He doesn't need to push, push anything. He doesn't even know that Zeke's not there. Zeke could run right past him right now and he wouldn't even know. Damn! 4-0 up? 4-0 up? No shot. No shot. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no, Zeke. This is not looking good for you. Cat. Chat, this is bad. This is bad for Zeke. Oh my god. I see some people complaining about ping, but Jesus is also not from my region. So they are both playing on a different server right now. Jesus is not from Ireland or Europe. Oh, Zeke's blown. Six, zero. It could be seven. Oh, no, he choked. He's just getting a little bit too overconfident here. A little bit too overconfident. You gotta hit your shots, bro. Oh my god. There's no way this turns into a 10 0 chat. There's no way it turns into a 10 0, right? Chat. I can't believe what I am witnessing here. Jesus might 10 0 one of the best Filipino snipers of all time. Oh, oh my gosh. I am sure that is a breath of fresh air for Zeke right there. Because getting 10 0 would have not been the move, bro. 10 1 still terrible. I mean, that's still an absolute abomination of a scoreboard right there. 10 2, not as bad. Not as bad. 10 2 is not as bad. I mean, 10 3 would be better. Oh, 10 3. I mean, I'll tag it. I'll take it from Zeke, 10 3. I mean, he just got beat at this point. He still got destroyed, but it's not to a level where it's like, you're the worst player ever. It's just to a level of like, that's slightly embarrassing. And next. Why is Jesus sitting on rapper tape? What is that? Oh my god, Jesus. Brother. And that's all she wrote for that game, chat. That is all she wrote for that game. Zeke goes down zero to one in this best of three. In this best of three, Zeke is down zero to one. That is raps. I can't believe it. I did not expect that whatsoever. Wow. All right, chat. I'm going to record that TikTok where I where I ask them to um basically. Do more tournaments. Yeah. Okay. I know there's a game. 
But how successful the 1v1 tournament was for $10,000 in COD Mobile, I think it's just right that we do another. Hashtag COD Mobile partner, it's over to you. Make that happen. Like this, comment down below if it should happen, and maybe we can make it. Alright, we're back. I was making a TikTok. We need more $10,000 tournaments in COD Mobile. Okay, chat. I honestly, I bet you they're watching this stream anyway. <laughs> I bet you they're watching the stream. I bet you they've seen it by now. All right, chat, let's get back into you. Apologies about that, but I just wanted to get COD Mobile in on it. I just posted that TikTok. Make sure to go like it. Follow me on TikTok over there. My name's just Ferg. Comment down below it. Let it roll for a few seconds to um, more people get recommended it. But the more people that see it, the more likelihood that Activision are dying to host more of these to, to, let, me, to let me host them and give me the money in order to, to do it. Be the sponsor of the entire event. I'm sure they'll be more so dying to do that. If uh, everyone is like creating chaos of how we need more of them. But right now, Jesus is ahead of Zeke by almost double. Ooh. Man, I can't believe I'm witnessing this right now. I did not expect to see Zeke fall to Jesus. I really thought that Zeke would take Jesus out with ease. So this, I'm flabbergasted. I, I, to be honest, I didn't think that this would happen at all. It's unfortunate. Zeke still getting a kill right there. We love to see that from him. Come on, Zeke. We all love you here, Brisky. The tips and tricks giver. The sniper warrior. Let's hop on board with Zeke's POV. Chat wants to see it. Yeah, send the graphic with the cop. Sounds good. Zeke dies again. Oh, no. Zeke, you gotta hit your shots. Nice, finally. He's really down bad right here, guys. He's really down bad. Zeke might just be battling for, for third place at this point. For just a little bit more of the prize pool. Damn, that was a great snipe from Zeke. Come on. You're still in this, Zeke. We believe in you. We believe in you. We want to see you get to this S&D game three. No way Jesus goes for the same play. Nope, he's going the whole way down. Damn, Zeke. Cod timing, bro. No. He would have been able to get another, like, 15 seconds off of that. That's terrible. Woo! Okay, he's still in this chat. Not by much, but he's still got a chance. He still has a chance right here, hopefully. He can make something happen. No, he's dead. Jeez. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh, my God! No way he heard him and turned on him like that. That's insane. Zeke, we're more... Yes! Yes! Come on, for my Filipinos, Zeke. You gotta make it happen. You gotta make it happen, broski. He's now in the lead. He only has 15 more points to go. It's gonna go down to 13, maybe even 12. Yeah, 12 more points to go. Jesus is gonna hit him across the map. Well played to him. Jesus is gonna get the rotation here and probably know where Zeke is gonna spawn here. He'll get some free time also. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Zeke, this is not the play. You need to get into the hard point. Oh, wow. He's going for the cross. He hit it! He hit it! <gasps> no way he makes this comeback. I think he gets it. I think he gets it right here. I don't think Jesus has enough time to get into the hard point. Zeke, just don't peek. Just don't, please don't peek. He's not, he's not. Oh my God, it's going to be 99. It's going to be 99. Yes, bro. We get to go to a map three. Let's go, dude. We get to go to a map three. Congratulations, Zeke. Oh my God, I needed that. I needed that. We needed that, chat. We needed that. We needed that. The East versus West rivalry lives on. Next up, we've got Search and Destroy. One of the most tense game modes. I'm going to say it right now. Jesus threw that game. You got to call it how you see it, chat. He did. He did the big boy throw. Unfortunately. I don't know, Space. Me and Mad Nine are both EU. I feel like it will pick the people with the majority. All right. 
W. Waiting for the graphic pick, by the way, chat, for Twitter post. We already posted the uh, the TikToks, by the way. If you want to go like them up, make sure the Activision sees them. I'm going to send them all of it. And when I send them, they will see them no matter what. But we need to make it so they get as much views as possible, as much engagement as possible, like repost, tweets, like all that stuff. Because the more we get, the they will do it. I'm telling you, bro. Like, it just makes sense. If there's so many stuff, like, so... Uh, so many reposts, so many likes, so many shares, like they will do it again. And then we'll take the best from this and we'll combine them with the new best people. Oh my God, what a snipe from Zeke. Superb 1v1 snipe on S&D Crash. Oh, that's cool. Interesting space, didn't know that. Bang. Oh, he missed. That's unfortunate, Zig. You should have not taken that fight. He was on such a good head glitch right there. Whoever wins this gets into the finals and wins at least. I want to say it's $2,000. It's at least $2,000 if you make it to the finals. Yeah, it is. $2,000 for second. First gets $5,000. There will be a best of one to decide the third place winner. Fifth place winner will be will be uh, done off stream, but uh, we want to do the third place best of one on stream, and Zeke gets another kill onto Jesus. <laughs> Zeke, clutch for your culture and pride to come second. <laughs> All right, Gav. Yes, do it, Zeke. We believe in you, Broski. Hit that sub button. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the best of one for third. after this and then it will be the finals of who is the best sniper in 2024 for 1v1s all right zeke i hope you hit that shot he's not gonna go for it jesus isn't rotating either this seems to be a common occurrence from jesus to like camp up here and wait for the bomb to go down and then try and re-tag it's interesting i'm not sure if i would personally play that way in a 1v1 but each to their own, bro. I, to be honest, I would probably play even more campy. I'm not going to lie. It's up. Thanks very much, dude. Jesus is getting pinned today. He is, bro. He is. You guys are attacking him in chat. Zeke knows he's there. Oh, he knows him. He heard him. Yes. Beautiful shot. The East stays alive. Let's hope for an East versus West finals, chat. An East versus West finals would be glorious. Thank you, Drew. Damn, the followers on TikTok go crazy. Zeke needs to go to the finals. I agree, Flame from TikTok. I agree. Zeke's seen him go in there. Will he be able to get him out? Oh, 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 he's going to... Oh, the COD timing, bro. I feel like Zeke always has the worst timing, bro. I feel like he always gets the worst timing. Right there, he should have seen him, but unfortunately, he didn't. Oh. He knows. He knows. This is a classic Jesus spot. Just camping up top here. See, Zeke's panicking because he doesn't know where he is, but he's up top and he always is up there. Yeah. Like, bro. You should, honestly, I would have played that. I would have defused the bomb and then fecked it. Defused, stopped defusing, and just stood there. Not moved a muscle so he couldn't get any audio and just see if I could hit the shot because he... You know, the way Jesus plays, it's perfect for that bomb plant. It's absolutely perfect for it. There's not a better bomb plant for Jesus than over there on the A site. Oh. Ah, oh, the hit marker for Zeke. It's 3-2 still in favor of Zeke right here, but Jesus does have the swing trade momentum. Speaking of swing trade, I wonder where Bitcoin's at right now. I'm heavily into that, by the way, chat. I'm, I'm looking good right now. He's just on the site again. This is terrible for Zeke. This is absolutely vile. Unless you can hit him right here. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, he did it, bro. I need that East versus West finals, chat. I need it. I love Jesus. I love Jesus, but I need East versus West finals. I really do. Chat knows. YouTubers know why. <laughs> 
Oh, Jesus is deciding he wants to stay at the back of the map this time, playing a little bit more passive than what he has done in previous games and also previous rounds. Jesus has been by far our most passive player with the only secondary passive player going to Rush Senpai in this tournament. Rush is in the running for third, um, I believe, but he did not make it to the finals, unfortunately. Doggo did, however, make it to the finals, which would make the finals an East versus West if Zeke can find Jesus and kill him in this round. Doggo has been our most dominant player so far across the entirety of the competition. So it'll be interesting to see how they would stack up against each other. Zeke's pushing forward. Jesus gets the kill. It's 4-3 in favor of Zeke still, however. Jesus comes every time. Damn! Y'all didn't need to roast him that much. Y'all didn't need to roast him that much. Oh. All right. He spotted him. <gasps> this could be a really good position for Zeke to get a one tap straight on him. If he just rushes through. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Yes, look right there. Yeah, look right at him. Look right where he will rotate into. He's just camping as usual. Yeah. Zeke's gonna hit him. There it is, coming straight through. Zeke makes it to the finals. It's East versus West in the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, oh. We're cooking up a storm today. Zeke versus Doggo. However, right now, we need to do a best of one to decide who is gonna be the first place winner. And also, since we're about to do the finals, I guess it's a good time to just make a little tweet. Make a little tweet real quick of, um, we need, we need more great tournaments like this, like this 1v1 for 10,000 in COD Mobile. All right, we're going to be a hashtag COD Mobile partner on that chat, so we are. Oh, they're going to see it, chat. Ready for the tweet? Make sure I'm about to tweet this chat. Mod, spam the link in chat. We need more great tournaments like this. Like this 1v1. We need more great events. We need more great events. Like this 1v1. Tournament. For $10,000 in COD Mobile. Alright, I'm tweeting it. We need more great events like this 1v1 tournament for $10,000 in COD Mobile. Alright, the tweet's up, chat. The tweet is up. Mad Dan, we'll do third place first. Best of one, um, FFA. Yeah, Dog why is Doggo in here? Kick him out. It should be Senpai. A little best of three to find out who's third place. This is actually East versus West as well, funnily enough. <laughs> funnily enough, dude. Maybe Senpai went to sleep? Who knows? I'm gonna go into the, the server chat and see if he's talking in there. He's not, is he talking? He's not talking. We'll see. If he doesn't join, then I guess we just veto the, the victory for third place to Jesus. If he went to sleep. I don't think he realized. But yeah, uh, mods, put the tweet in the chat so that we get COD Mobile to see it. We want as many interactions on this tweet as possible because the more people that interact with it, the more views it gets, the more likes it gets, the more reposts it gets, the more quote retweets it gets. And the more likely they are to, to do this again. It's the same on TikTok. The more views it gets, the more likes it gets, the more, more engagement it gets on TikTok. The, uh, the more likely we are to get another one. All right. Yeah, Rush, you need to play third place. I'm going to mess. He's in there. <laughs> bro, Cisco. <laughs> Cisco's still awake, bro. I feel bad, bro. I'm so happy he played, though. That was great. That was great. Thanks, chat. Thank you for everyone who went to that tweet and, like, liked it and agreed and and reposted i appreciate it mad nan's there we got johnny we got coys we got jonathan we got dj music we got Hellzone. your mom curse gears there osg all agreeing to to uh to this <clears throat> zeke to shut down doggo chat who 
Who do you think is going to win? Zeke or Doggo? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just added Madman. He asked for the... Uh... Yes, for the code or whatever. W chat. That will be it for this. I'm going to get a new drink because that one is flat and it is cold. It's flat and cold, chat. All right, you joined up. Let's start it up. Let's pack them up, chat. Let's pack them up. Follow and subscribe. This is a best of one free for all in Russia. First to 10. Whoever wins this gets um, more prize pool money. I believe they get 1,500 of the prize pool, which is good. W. All right. Turn the music off. We gotta lock it in, chat. We absolutely gotta lock it in. Absolutely. W chat for promoting the um the tweet. I appreciate it. Okay. Bang! All right. I did not expect this. Rush Senpai is dominating. Jesus, right now. Two zero off the drop. Just spawned in. Don't be mad now for spamming the uh, the Twitter post in chat. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Damn, chat all thinks Dog was going to win. I did not expect this. I thought that more of you guys would say that um, Zeke would win. This is surprising. Jesus is going to kill him. Yeah, I, I, I'm just surprised that he didn't look the other way at all. He didn't know where he spawned. He just kind of guessed. Oh, fair enough. You know what? 3-1 up. I can't even talk anymore. He's still in the lead by two. Looking good. Rush is now awake. He is. He's right here in the game. This is Rush. His, his name in game is San TT. This is Rush playing right now. Rush Senpai. Some of the Filipino players may know him. One of the goats. From your side of the community. They're both holding angles. This is ridiculous. I, come on. We knew that what, how this was going to go. The two biggest campers are now off, versing off in a 1v1 best of one. On free for all? I mean, what can you say? We knew how this was going to go. We absolutely knew how this was going to go, chat, didn't we? Yes, we did. Look at them both. Oh my god. Sneal's pierce, chat. Sneal's pierce. Jesus needs to be the aggressor because he's the one that uh, is lesser on kills. Oh, he didn't see his gun. Damn, he didn't see his gun, bro. I seen it. I seen his little barrel beside the trash can. That is so unfortunate. Rush Senpai goes 4-1 up in this best of one. Remember, this is the only game they get to play. Finals, however, is best of, th of five. So it's first to three wins in the finals. And it's East versus West. Just like it's East versus West in the third place matchup. Bam, this is, it's wraps. I do not see Jesus winning this. Chat, do we see Jesus winning this? I personally don't. I don't think so, chat. I don't think he's got it locked in right now. Oh, well, at least he got a kill right there. He's going to need to rush, though. He doesn't have much time left. He's only got two minutes. Two minutes, 30 seconds, sorry, actually. Rush Senpai is not spawning in quick. He's going to watch the entire kill cam to make sure he has less time in the map so that he can survive for longer without having to get into a gunfight. Smart plays. We like that there from Rush. He's going back into his... Yep, he's back into the same spot. This is super campy. I, we haven't seen this level of camp ever in this tournament. This is the highest level of camp we've ever seen. It looks like Jesus. There's nothing he can do. He needs to be rushing around the map. He needs to be pushing as much as possible. If he's not going to do that, he's going to get wrapped. Jesus. What are you doing? You going for it? He's going for it. Only a minute, 43 left. He shot absolutely nothing right there for no reason. I think uh, Rush might kill him. Never mind. Rush pushed forward. Rush is just trying to stay alive as long as possible. That's all he cares about. Jesus is going to die from behind. There it is. 6-2 in favor of Rush. 
The only way Jesus can win this is if he gets a kill every time he sees Rush. And he needs to literally rush Rush. God damn, how many times I got to say that word? Looks like he's coming in the corner again. He's just picking his positions really well. Like awkward off angles that you would just not expect anyone to be in. Like, look at that. That is such an awkward angle. You just would not expect people to camp there like that at all. I personally wouldn't. I absolutely wouldn't expect somebody to be there. W chat on the Twitter post, by the way. Appreciate it. Much love. Make sure to repost it and everything. Oh my god. I'll do one final TikTok after um this. Actually, mm, yeah, mm, maybe we'll do it. We'll see. Damn, he didn't see him. <laughs> That's it, chat. Eat two. There's absolutely no way that Jesus can come back from this. And unfortunately, he's going to finish in fourth place and not third place. Which, to be honest, I, 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 I don't want to say I'm surprised because I'm not. I'm not surprised. But I mean, damn. At least it could have been a little bit closer, right? Nine, two, nine, three. Now, however, we're going into the finals. It's Zeke versus the one and only Doggo. Doggo's been the most dominant player so far in the competition. And Zeke has did some great comebacks and some solid work. I don't know who's going to win. If I'm judging it off stats, I'm going to say Doggo's going to win. If I'm judging it off fan base, I think Zeke's going to absolutely take it instantly instantly that's alone though it does look like dog is going to be our favorite going into this last match but you can put it in the chat right now who you think is going to win doggo or zeke doggo or zeke i'm not sure i am not sure dude i don't know it could go either way zeke's got the iq is saying that's what youtube chat is saying what does TikTok chat think, though? This is our finals, chat. This is finals. Zeke, damn. Everyone thinks Zeke. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. There's a bunch of doggos in here, chat. Man, man. Do we have any gifteds? <laughs> I don't know if we have any. We'll see. We will see. 50-50. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Zeke joins first. We'll wait for Doggo to join and then we'll get it started. FFA on. Uh, man, I changed the map. Change the map. All right, chat. We're going to get some gifted members in here. Oh, yeah. There they come. There they come, chat, the gifted members. If you get gifted a membership, make sure to spam the emotes. You have rights to spam more emotes than anyone else in the chat. The Nightbot will not time you out for spamming your emotes as much. Trust me, you can go for it. There's a bunch of emotes in there to choose from. We're going to pack them up real quick. 10 gifted from Blue. Okay, thanks, Blue. Thank you for the gifted. I appreciate it, man. Much love, bro. But yeah, if you get any of those gifteds that are going on in the chat right now, um, sponsored by Madman, <laughs> then make sure to thank him. Um, and spam some emotes. We like that here. We love to see the emotes. All right, this is it, chat. The finals of the 1v1 $10,000 sniper tournament. It all comes down to this. Zeke has performed phenomenally today, but I will say this right now. What did I just... Are they doing execution only? Oh, hell nah. How did I... Who are... Who let them get away with this? Oh, my God, chat. Ain't no way they're doing execution only in finals. In finals, chat. Nah, there's no way, bruh. 
Ain't no way! Cat, somebody gotta change the rules. Somebody gotta change the rules, bruh. You gotta be kidding me, bruh. There's no, there's no shot, chat. There Why is he 4-0 dying on executions? Why is that even possible? Bro. Bro, Zeke, come on, man. Use the sniper, bro. Come on, bro. Oh my god, he's 5-0 dying on executions. Why would he agree to this? Why would he agree to doing this in the first game? Who in their right mind would agree to do execution only in a sniper tournament? God, there, there's no way. There's no shot. We're in the finals of the biggest 1v1 tournament of all time for snipers. And they're using executions! Bro. How am I witnessing he get 7 would There's no way. There's no way. Don't, don't, don't get 10 would Zeke, please. Bro, there's like 10,000 plus people watching on TikTok and YouTube right now. You cannot get 10 would on an execution only. Bro, I cannot believe what I am witnessing, chat. Why? Why throw your chance away of 5,000... I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done, chat. I'm not done. Why? Why did he do that? Bro! Cat. These goofy ah individuals, bruh. Oh my god, bro. Ain't no way they did that. <laughs> they were sitting. They were. They were, they were sitting in Discord DM, DMs like, oh, it'd be really funny if we uh, teamed up and you know what? We only did execution for the first game. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they were saying in Discord, bro. God damn it, bro. They might as well be doing a Discord mod or something, chat. Ah, I can't even do anything because it's not against the rules. It's not against the rules. They're allowed to execute people. They're allowed to execute people, bro. I can't believe you got 10 out, bro. That is ridiculous. W Cisco, holy 20 gifted. And by the way, 20 gifted. Holy chat. 20 gifteds, though. That's what I'm talking about. All right, start it up. Pack them up. I mean, there's no way they do it again, right? Okay, yeah, they're, they're using guns now, chat. They're using guns now. What did I just witness? What did I just witness? The finals of a $10,000 tournament and they execute? Despicable. Despicable. And then if you can hear this, put finals in brackets at the end of the tournament title on uh, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're into it. So far, Doggo's up 1-0. It's, it's first to three wins. It's a best of five. Can Zeke somehow make some sort of comeback after that? I don't even know what the hell that was. 10-0? 10-0? It's just, it's wraps. It's wraps. I've never seen somebody so willingly throw away $5,000, chat. In a ten thousand dollar tour, I've never seen it happen. I've ne I, it's just like what what, what what like bro, bro, it, bro has too much money, chat. Bro has too much money. Damn. Nice. All right, all right, Zeke making a comeback. I expect it. The whole of the East wants you to win this. Oh, you see, this is what he was doing. He was thinking that he was going to lose, right? He was trying to make us think that he was out of the race. But in reality, he's right here with us. Come on, Zeke. Clutch it up. Close it out. We all want to see this. Ooh. Okay. 
Broski has been spotted. Broski does get eliminated again. Please don't 3-0. No, it's not. This is not what we, we We didn't sign up for this. We didn't sign up for this. Bro. Doggo's cooking! Oh. Oh, damn. See, you're gonna get turned on. Oh, not like this. Oh, finally. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, chat. He needs to get some big time out of this hill. Like, some seriously big time here. Or it's not looking good for him, man. We waited all day for this. For the finals. Zeke, you cannot follow the final hurdle. Oh, all right. All right. Bro's starting to cook. We like that, chat. Bro is cooking. No, come on, Zeke. Hit him. Oh, okay. Never mind. Spoke too soon. I guess he's ro I guess he's washed, chat. It's it's wrapped. Yeah, Doggo's an amazing player, chat. Both of these guys are amazing players. Nice that you needed that. You absolutely needed that. Doggo spawned really far away. It's gonna take him like eight seconds to get across the map. So Zeke will get a couple of seconds on this hard point. Not much, um, but he will get a couple. Because Doggo took the spawn really far away. I think he doesn't realize he's behind him. Oh, he heard him. He's dead. Yep, I was gonna kill that. I knew it. It's, that angle is so awkward. Like, see when somebody runs past you and you're holding an angle like that, you're dead no matter what. There's nothing you can do because they're gonna sprint past you, turn around, and kill you anyway. Oh my god, Zeke screwed up his movement. Oh, Zeke, this is wraps. Ooh, 360 to confirm the kill. All right. It's not wraps just yet, chat. He could still have the potential to win this game. And if he does, that would put them at 1 1 in terms of map kind. Zeke, he's beside you. Well played by Doggo. Again, extending his lead even further. Oh, oh, that is huge. That is a huge kill right there on Doggo. Doggo's going to spawn behind him now. Oh, is he going to peek him? Oh, he doesn't know where he is. Oh, oh, Doggo's going for the rotate. Doggo's going for the basketball rotate. This is an interesting play. I think he knows if he can hold this down, he can win the game. All he needs to do is get three kills onto Zeke right here on basketball, and he wins the game. But this works both ways. If they both get three kills on each other, then either of them can win. He's dead. Yep, that was bad by Zeke. I don't know what that what that play was, but honestly, it's wraps, I think. I think Doggo has won this, this game, and we're going to go to the third match. He's dead. Doggo's going to land a shot. <gasps> no! No! Oh my god, Zeke! That's so unfortunate! You gotta run! Oh! Oh my god, it all comes down to this. It actually all comes down to this, chat. It's 99! He's gotta hit a shot here. GG's! GG's, we're going to map 3, chat. It's S and D. S and D is the next map. East versus West. East versus West, dude. That was unfortunate for Zeke right there. Well played the doggo, though. Clutching it up. Closing it out. He had three more kills than Zeke, so... He did perform better than him. Why am I waiting for players? Chat, ignore that other Call of Duty on mobile app, please. Chat, ignore it. You didn't see it. Uh, please go over to my community tab section if you want to see how long I've been playing that game for in the last 10 days. <laughs> I don't know what that was, chat. It was glitching out. All right, we're back. Yeah, we're back. Man, and you can start it up. Search and destroy on Summit. But Doggo, one question mark. The finals, this is the grand finals, bro. The grand finals is a best of five. The grand finals is a best of five, broski. Not a best of three. A best of five. <clears throat> Who's going to win, chat? Who's going to win? We'll find out here. If Doggo wins this map, Zeke goes home 3 0'd. A big, juicy donut. That would not be good. That would not be good for East's credibility, chat. And, I mean, Zeke's to blame. 
He went for executions. I thought they were just going to execute for the first kill. They executed for the whole game. We're going to make a rule of, that, of like no back-to-back -back execution kills or something like that, dude. As Doggo takes him out in round one. Ah! Is Zeke really going to lose it? No shot, right? No shot. Loads of gifted members coming in the chat right now, chat. Make sure to spam the emotes if you get them. But there's no way Zig loses this, right, chat? Right? No shot. I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe, dude. That Zig loses a search and destroy against Doggy Doggo. Okay. Zig's down below. Yep, there he goes. I knew he was going down there. Doggo's now going down below too. Zeke went back up. I think Doggo might go for A. Yeah. Oh, Zeke spotted him. <gasps> Bro, you can't run. You can't run. He's going to know you're there. You choked it. Oh my god, Zeke. Why did you run? He could have stopped running at the end, chat. He could have stopped running at the end and secured himself the free kill there, guys. That is not good. That is not good. This is the finals, the grand finals, and he's doing this. It's not looking good for him. Ooh, that was an absolutely outstanding snipe. I'll give him that. Let's go. 2-1. Still in favor of Doggo, however. It all comes down to this. The $10,000 1v1 sniper tournament all ends here in this very moment. This very match could be the last time you see Zeke compete. Doggo, bro. Doggo is him right now he's been the most dominant player of the entire tournament can he keep it up or can zeke upset him from the philippines from the philippines looks like zeke's just rotating around the map aimlessly right now he's definitely very aggressive i'll give him that so it's doggo to be honest doggo plays quite aggressively looks like they're going over to the b site doggo planting the bomb yep he is Zeke knows it's down now. Where's he gonna go? Is he gonna hold that angle in the corner? No. Zeke smoked it. He's dead. Jesus. Damn, chat. Damn. Are we seeing the downfall? No shot, right? No shot. Get the graphic made, man. Man. Get the graphic made. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. No way the finals is 3-0. What? What? For everything just to come down to this? Where Doggo 3 owes him in the finals? It's over. There he is. He's dead. Oh. No shot. I don't think he's got it in him, chat. I don't think he's got it in him to win four rounds in a row right now after the disappointing performance of the first two games. Chat, I am... I am actually disappointed. We need to do this again. Chat, it, that's what it calls for. We gotta do another... We got... Doggo wins! Doggo wins the entire event coming in as the underdog challenger. Winning $5,000 of the $10,000 1v1 sniper tournament. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That is absolutely unbelievable. I can't believe that he won that. In such a dominant fashion. Who would have thought? Anyone that lost to Doggo, don't even be mad. You lost to the winner of the entire event. Chat, if you want this to happen again, if you want another 1v1 Snipers tournament to happen again, follow, subscribe, like my tweet that I just posted, repost it, comment under it, and then go on to TikTok and watch my two recent TikToks where I talk about the tournament. If they get loads of views, I'm going to send them over to Activision and say, hey, look at this. Look how many people were engaged in this. We should definitely do this again. And if we get a load of people to do it, they will definitely 
allow us to host another one. Doggo, congratulations. Congratulations, dude. Wow. I did not think that that would happen. What? Chat, we're posting out the results right now. Doggo is your $10,000 1v1 sniper tournament winner in COD Mobile. And again, hashtag COD Mobile partner, chat. Who would have thought? Who would have thought, chat? What? W. Damn, okay. Space just told me that Doggo skipped school for this. <laughs> Doggo skipped his classes to participate in this tournament and he ended up winning. Imagine participating in a tournament that you skip class for and then you go ahead and win it. That is absolutely ridiculous, chat. That is absolutely ridiculous. The brand new tweet is up right now. Make sure to go like, repost, retweet, comment under below it saying you want it to happen again, chat. That is all for today's live stream. W Doggo, congratulations again to him for winning $5,000. That is unbelievable. I can't believe that Doggo out of all people won that. Considering he was like one of the most underrated players in the entire event, there's gonna be clips going everywhere on TikTok about this. If you post anything, make sure to tag me on it so that I can see it and I can repost it. I can comment under it and I can like it myself. But yeah, if you want to see more of these, just any clip that you see from this event, just like it, repost it, do everything in your part to make sure that it gets to as many people as possible. If we can do this, We'll be able to do more of these events. That's that's the way it's looking. As for now, I just tweeted out the results. If you want to go see the full bracket, you can check it out on my Twitter, at Ferg. It's being linked in the chat. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so. And if you're following on TikTok, or if you're watching on TikTok, follow there as well. But chat, what a glorious day of COD Mobile. I don't think we've had a day like this of COD Mobile since Champs. It's been since champs since we've had a great day like this. And then before that champs, it was last champs since we've had such a phenomenal day of COD Mobile here on YouTube and TikTok. Fantastic. We'll have to see um, what everyone's streams got combined. If you're one of the people who participated in this and streamed at the same time as me, um, make sure to send a message into the Discord server where you're all at of your peak viewership so I can send that over to Activision. Also, just send me all of your links to anything that you post about the event and I'll make sure to show Activision everything that you did to help it be such a successful event. This is, this is, this was huge, guys. I really appreciate this. I did not expect it to be as big as what it was. It was unbelievable. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to follow the India versus North American storyline at the Brazilian Masters. Hashtag co mobile partner. This was phenomenal. Uh, I have nothing else to say other than live with purpose. Make sure to do something that will help you mentally, physically, or financially with the rest of your day. And thanks for dealing with the slight audio issues at the start of the stream. We were able to get through it, and I am so glad that we decided to host this chat. What an absolute banger event. This is probably my favorite event of all time that I've casted. Not played in, but definitely where I've like commented over and I've been the host. This is this is my favorite one uh, of all time chat. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you're from anywhere in Asia, make sure to go to sleep. It's super late over there. I'm sorry it's slightly late with the tournament times. I didn't expect it to run over as, as long as it did, but here we are. We had a great time. And if you're from North America, I mean, get to school. Like, Doggo should have been at. He should have been at freaking college, dude. But what a day. What a day. Subscribe, follow, interact with everything. Let's make this event be one of the biggest of all time. And I'll see you back here again when I decide to live stream. I have a couple more live streams planned before the next COD on mobile comes out. But yeah, chat, what a banger. What an absolute banger, chat. Live with purpose, chat. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to leave you on the bracket on YouTube. And um, if you're on TikTok, you can go into YouTube and check the bracket out. Or you can go into my...